Since I was born, but now I am getting you. I could have bought a book. I could have bought a book. I
going to be president of this country, whether you like it or not, and I will preside over the affairs of this country, including presiding over you. I think you must start adjusting to that reality. The sooner you do that, the less chest pains you'll have when that reality comes. <clears throat> and there it is. That retinue of uh, introduction uh, clips was to really buy myself time to set myself fully up. No matter how much time I uh, allow myself, I, I never, you know, arrive fully prepared. So, so there it is. Good day to you, by the way. Good day. Good to, to have you again. Always a delight in your company. One man went to the more, as you know, the eagle has landed. I've not said that in a good while. That used to be my introduction. Uh, one man went to Mo, the eagle has landed. So the eagle has landed, and I hope you're spending as much time as you can. That's usually the custom, you know. As soon as you log on to it, uh, whatever your day is, so set it, set it to the background of your day, and let us entertain, make you laugh, and anger you in equal measure. All of that will happen in the course of this session. We will make you chuckle. We will make you aghast. We will make you befuddled. We will make you scratch your head, and you will wonder what sort of people you're listening to. All of that in the mix, a potpourri, a rich blend of everything. So welcome. Good to have you. Always a delight. So... <clears throat> so we are still making that little uh, final stop, uh, hopefully a final stop, uh, with the Yes Daddy space. So the fallout of the Yes Daddy space will be picking it up uh, in the course of this session. Uh, so by the way, I forgot. Um, yes, click on the like button as you're coming in, of course. Uh, anytime I look across, the like button never looked like uh, anything. Although yesterday was quite a treat, you gave us 100 likes. So we set that as a target again, a minimum of 100. And if we start to get that with some consistency, then we, of course, racket it up again. So just click on the like button to help the uh, to, to help the platform move along nicely. Uh, and then, of course, click on subscribe as well if you haven't done that. So make that correction. Click on like and subscribe. And if you want to come join us on the screen, the hyperlink that says StreamYard, that's your opening to invitation. So it's readily to hand in the comment section and it's highlighted on the screen now. So that hyperlink that says StreamYard is an open ticket to come on the screen. Whoever clicks on it gets to appear on the screen and we're forever canvassing for new and elegant voices. So come join us and your invitation to buy your host cups of coffee, that is always ready. I've got the cup, you fill it with the coffee. It's a three easy step process. So click on there and uh, buy your host cups of coffee. So do that, click on like, click on subscribe at your discretion. Click on the hyperlink that says StreamYard to come and join us on the screen. And only if you want to buy your host cups of coffee. So all those, so as you said about all those, uh, here are the headlines that we're going to be contending with. Kiyamo, how Peter Obi's dream to lead Nigeria died a natural death. So there it is, uh, no surprises of course. Uh, very, uh, in fact, uh, what, what took him so long was really my question because in the course of the discussions of that yes, that the uh, audio yesterday, I was expecting Festus Kriyamo to stream through so that we can pick up what his commentaries are. So he took himself a moment, he allowed rather himself a moment to digest it, digest it now and he regurgitates how Peter Obi's dream to lead Nigeria died a natural death. So there it is right there, the opposition sticking the knife in family. Joe Igbokwe, of course, he came into that section as well. I find this article and bring it to you in the course of uh, this session. So the uh, side fight going on within the, and by the way, whatever you do, there's a clip that I want to play you at the end of the readout. So make sure you hang around for that clip. That clip speaks to the tension going on between the Southeasterners and the Southwesterners in a, uh, in um in Lagos. So this clip that I'm going to play you at the end of the readout, it speaks to the tension going on between the Southwesterners and the Southeasterners in uh, uh, in Lagos. And it traces back in history to ask why it is. So it's quite interesting. I'll, I'll urge you to wait for that. But that will be at the tail, tail end of the readouts, of course. So the next headline, this speaks to, this, to the little side fights going on within their Fenifere space. To the blue corner, you have Pa Fashionati. To the red corner, you have Pa Adebanjo, the contention, Nigeria. Interim government alien to Nigeria, Afeniferi. So you don't even have to 
I read the body of this headline to know the faction of Afeniferi that is coming out in this way. The faction of the Afeniferi that is coming out with this headline will be the faction that is pro-status quo, the i.e. the president-elect, interim government alien to Nigeria. So I'm presuming, I haven't read the body of it, but I'm presuming this is the faction of our power fashionality, and then, of course, poking in the direction of our uh, pa Adebanjo. So now this now next headline. So the, that previous headline was fighting from within. Uh, this next headline also fighting from within. Father Mbaka begs God to forgive the church for giving the glory meant to him to Labour Party. So so now this is Father Mbaka now backing very swiftly away from that obedience space. Not that he was ever pro the obedience space uh, in the first instance. He somewhat a reluctant drag to the obedience space. And at every opportunity, of course, he looks to poke at that space. So the opportunity now are, are presents with Peter Obi having lost an election. And now this video expose that finally nails somewhat his, uh, his ambition fully. So the enemies come in to feed on the carcass. The enemies come in to feed on the carcass. Father Mbaka begs God to forgive the church for giving glory meant for him to Labour Party. So quite what is going on there. I think the headline already a good indication of, but uh, we'll visit that space. We'll visit that space, anti Tinubu protest in White House. Murik sends message to Joe Biden. So the obedience space, they've now taken their agitation now to as far as the White House, and of course, the fight back from the Tinubu camp. anti Tinubu protest in White House, Murik, our sent message to Joe Biden. So if we pause it uh, for a moment, this music organization, they seem to have gotten uh, pretty much everything uh, they wanted, this music organization. So uh, they wanted uh, Yoruba Muslim as president, and that is exactly what is in situation. Professor Ishak Akintoye, or Akintola rather, the leader of that space. So what is going on there, we'll find out uh, shortly. Uh, so we'll find this out shortly as well. I did say that uh, Joe Igbokwe poked at the uh, uh, leaked audio space. Labour Party presidential ambition completely ruined forever. Joe Igbokwe, a traitor from within. So there it is. So plenty, as I said, APC reportedly expels Deputy Senate President Omoagege. So some of this, we may not land on it fully because uh, sometimes the readouts does get tiresome. Uh, and I want to bail out. So I might well bail out. I'll just give you the headlines in some of it. But this one now, uh, Omobolale Rahim, uh, you have a case to answer. Court tells alleged killer cop. So you'll all recall, of course, that a uh, young and uh, with a bright future lawyer female that was just shot indiscriminately at by uh, a police officer. That police officer arrested. He trying to wiggle out of the clutches of the law, but the law would not have it. Omobolanli Rahim, you have a case to answer. A uh, Lagos court tells alleged a uh, cop killer. So we spent time there as well. And as I said, there is a bonus video that I want to play to you uh, that speaks to the uh, the relationship between the Southeasterners and the uh, Southwesterners. So that video was sent in by a subscriber. So it's well worth us uh, hanging around to see that. So plenty to go through, as I said, always is the case. So lean back, kick back, take it easy, relax into it. The usual protocol, as I already invited, please click on the like button, make it look handsome make the like button, make the like uh, up looks, up takes, make it look handsome. So click on the like button so that the like looks handsome and click on subscribe as well. If you want to come join me on the screen, the hyperlink that says StreamYard. If you want to buy cups of coffee, the link is there as well. So all of that, let me take another micro musical intermission. And then when we come back, we get straight into it. I uh, will go first to the K-Guides. Oh, 
Ronaldo. Yes, uh, so so somebody was saying there's a light behind me distracting you. I I, I hope it's not the reflection of my bald head. Uh, but uh, there it is. Uh, uh, there it is. So let's get straight into it and just uh, kick off matters. <clears throat> As I said, wait till the end because it's this rather right, uh, interesting clip that I'd like to play to you. But let's share the screen first uh, for the opening salvo. Uh, all right. Uh, Kiyamo, how Peter Obi's dream to lead Nigeria died a natural death. So this, of course, fully expected. Festus Kiyamo, the Federal Minister of State for Labor and Employment, says Peter Obi's dream to become the president of Nigeria has died a natural death. He stated this on Sunday in a tweet posted on his verified Twitter page. Kiyamo, who is also the official spokesperson for the All Progressive Congress APC Campaign Council, said although Peter Obi is not blameless, the real culprit is the so-called man of God. His statement is in reaction to a now viral recording of a phone conversation between the Labour Party presidential uh, candidate, Peter Obi, and Bishop uh, David Oyeudepo, obtained by correspondence. In the recording, Obi was heard saying uh, Christian, uh, in the video, Obi was heard soliciting for Christian votes uh, from the head cleric. Condemning the act, Kiyamo said, haven't confirmed the authenticity. And by the way, haven't confirmed the authenticity. Uh, the narrative around this thing is still being wrapped around some rather fanciful deep, deep dive. What, what are they calling it? Deep dive something or the other. Uh, th there's no deep dive. The, the guy was caught red-handed. So forget all this deep dive, or what, what are they saying? Is it deep, deep, deep sea or something? They are claiming it's a deep sea something or something or the other. So forget whatever deep something or the other. It was caught red-handed. That's just what's happened. Condemning the act, Kiyamo said, having confirmed the authenticity of what is now known as the Peter Obi, yes, daddy, audio. So that yes, daddy, those two words will haunt this guy till eternity. I'm sure there are t-shirts already been made of it. Maybe I'll make one myself. What do you, what do you reckon? Uh, uh, yes, daddy, uh, t-shirts as presented by one man. Condemning the act, Kiyamo said, haven't confirmed the authenticity of what is now known as the Peter B. Yes, daddy audio. I think the real culprits here are the so-called men of God who allowed themselves to be used by unscrupulous politicians to seek to inflame religious passions in our dear country. So when they are telling their hapless adherents that they heard the voice of, of the Lord, it was actually Peter Obi's telephone calls they heard and not God's voice. This is deceitful, uh, shameful, and disgusting. Imagine a so-called man of God comparing notes with the politician as to what he said or what he would say on the pulpit in order to get him votes. I hope this sufficiently embarrasses the men of God. So it looks as though uh, Fessor Skiamo has now, and it's a non-technique, by the way, 
that once somebody has been decimated, you then reach above them to a, a higher moral learning. So this is just the decimation now. So it's now reaching above uh, Peter B, who he has left as a carcass on the floor to, to go to a higher uh, moral learning about the wayward ways of our alleged men of God. This is deceitful, shameful, and disgusting. Imagine a so-called man of God comparing notes with a politician as to what he said or what he would say on the pulpit in order to get him votes. I hope this sufficiently embarrasses the men of God in Nigeria to forthwith desist from using the pulpit for politics and churchgoers to stop being teleguided by their self-serving men of God. As for Peter Obi, who declared on election, as for Peter Obi, who declared an election a religious war. So um, let me pause there for a moment because um, <clears throat> in the course of everything that was, the yes that day was a good entertaining little mocking thing. We can have a laugh about that and poke fun at, and, and it's even more entertaining only because Peter Obi has so, that sort of low pitched uh, voice. So which makes the yes, well, I'll play the yes daddy again. It's so, it's so, it's so comical. So we can have fun with that. But the damning thing, these those three words, uh, this, uh, the, this is a religious word. Those, those five words, those are the words of damnation. And this is really uh, what uh, Festus Kiyamo is reaching to. As for Peter Obi, who declared an election a religious war, in a multi-religious, multi-ethnic country like ours, the real God has just exposed him and his dream to be Nigeria's president one day has just died a natural death. Yes, daddy is now permanently etched into the consciousness of the nation and we will never forget. I wonder if Festus Kiyamo listens to the sessions because uh, a lot of uh, what he's saying mimics pretty much what we discussed yesterday. That's the damning, the damning thing really uh, from that uh, clip where those, those now infamous words, this is a religious war. And those, those, are, those are words of, those are words of self-harm and the recovery route from that is a real work of penance. It's a real work of penance. Uh, and of course, the comical bit of it that captures it all, yes, daddy. So, Pardon me. Uh, so sorry. Uh, hold, hold on. Somebody's just uh oh, oh all right. Uh, so 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 the comical bits that are uh, captured it all are, are those now um in famous words, yes daddy. Uh Johnny, Johnny, yes daddy, eating sugar, no daddy. Uh, so there it is. Yes, daddy. So, uh, so yes, daddy. So let's go on to the next readout. Let's go on to the next readout. It's still pretty much the responses to the yes, daddy bit. And by the way, there are spaces, <coughs> pardon, me, pardon me, there are spaces opened up on, on the screen if you want to join us. Don't wait till it fills up and then you're scrambling to get in. Uh, Labour Party presidential ambition completely ruined forever. So this is Joe Igbokwe, of course, a man that has been sent to purgatory by that space. Uh, Joe Igbokwe, the special advisor for drainage and water resources to Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu, has reacted to the leaked audio conversation between the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter B and the founder of Living Faith Church, Bishop David Oyedepo. Our correspondents report that the audio clip released by online news by an online newspaper has set the social media on fire since Saturday. In the audio, Obi could be heard pleading with Oye Depo to help him mobilize Christian electorates ahead of the February 25th uh, election, especially those from the North Central, declaring the election was a religious war. The phone call re reportedly transpired on the eve of the election. Igbokwe, whilst reacting to the conversation, said the Labour Party presidential, uh, said the Labour Party's presidential ambition has been completely ruined forever in Nigeria. He wrote on his known uh, Facebook page, please note this and have inner peace. The Labour Party's religious war agenda planned in Nigeria 
has been busted and the presidential ambition rendered uh, nug uh, nugatory, crushed, decimated, and completely ruined forever in Nigeria. So, so there it is right there. There it is right there. So there has to be a real walk back from that audio space for so forget the presidential election that's gone but the reputational damage on peter ob is the real thing that he has to rescue from this so there has to be a really clever and a very well orchestrated and calibrated walk back from this uh, there has to be uh, because uh, this monica you know what people know of you last is how they remember you forever so he has to try and recover his reputation from that now in famous words, this is a religious war. So that is where he is now. So forget anything to do with the election. That was gone a long time ago anyway, but that now completely out of any consideration now. So it's now a reputational, uh, a, a reputational recovery drive is essentially what Peter Obi is, is embarked on now a reputational recovery drive. That is really where he is now. So uh, let's go on from there, uh, but uh, still matters somewhat election related. Let's go to this piece. Let's go to this piece. Uh, interim government alien to Nigeria, Afeni Ferry. So there was a moment that considerations was being murmured and rumored, even highlighted by the DSS, that there were uh, shadowy figures trying to orchestrate some sort of a chaos within the country to then lead to an interim phase of government. That, of course, not known to the Nigerian constitution. Uh, so, so there it is. So that is what uh, inspired this headline. Interim government alien to Nigeria. So this is Afeni Ferry now. <clears throat> The Yoruba Social Cultural Organization, Afeni Ferry on Monday, said an interim government is alien to Nigeria. To this end, Afeni Ferry's National Publicity Secretary, Jare Ajayi, and by the way, if we pause for a moment, that the, the, because there's internal fighting for the uh, own, for the leadership and control of the Afeni Ferry space. So this Jare Ajayi that now issues this uh, public statement, he being the publicity secretary of the Afeni Ferry space. He was suspended uh, by the power, power Adebanjo faction of Afeni Ferry. He was suspended by the power Adebanjo faction of Afeni Ferry, but per fashion or he, he overrode that, uh, that suspension and reinstated him. So if he's continuing in that post now, that then tells you what the hierarchy is. Uh, within that Afeni Ferry space. So the overall uh, leadership of Afeni Ferry still lies with our uh, fashionality just by virtue of this little cameo. To this end, Afeni Ferry National Publicity Secretary, Jare Ajayi, said the Department of State Services, DSS, should arrest those agitating for an interim government in Nigeria. Ajayi said anything short of following due process in swearing in winners of the just concluded elections would constitute grave dangers for Nigeria. So uh, I'm not sure that the the space or the state is even giving anything, uh, any any consideration to anything outside of just following the process to its natural course. Because the the process has not stopped. In fact, uh, sorry, I'm I'm keep, I keep jumping in source. Let me have a sip of water. The process of this election, it has not broken stride at any stage. The process of this, listen, pay attention because I'll, I'll, I'll bring it uh, bring it home in a moment. The, the process of this election, it has not broken stride at any point in time. The only time that it did actually break stride was the governorship election and we know why. The sequence of events as fleshed out by INEC followed one after after the other in a logical sequence and that is somewhat uh, uh, is somewhat anomalous to the nigerian space because often instances elections are moved with a week's notice even with hours notice under good dr nathan they will say it will take place then they will move it on they will do this and the other but the this particular election it followed a logical sequence of order the, the dates that they said the elections will take place, they took place largely on those dates, bar the governorship one for reasons that we all know. So that, that happened. The sequence and order that they said the elections will flow through, it flowed through largely to an 80% of that sequence and order. 
So there is nothing to suggest that anything outside of norm will happen. Come the 29th of May, you all know what will happen. So let me just show you what will happen. Sorry, I can't help this. Uh, so on the 29th of May, this is what will happen. I'm going to be president of this country, whether you like it or not. And I'll preside over the affairs of this country, including presiding over you. I think you must start adjusting to that reality. The sooner you do that... Oh, all right, I couldn't help that. I couldn't help that. But uh, let's carry on. So, yes. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, let's take it from here. To this end, Afeniferi National Publicity Secretary Jari Ajayi said the Department of State Services DSS should arrest those agitating for an interim government in Nigeria. Ajayi said anything short of following due process in swearing in winners of the just concluded election will constitute grave danger for Nigeria. In a statement, Ajayi described an interim government as an ill wind, an ill wind that will blow no one uh, any good. According to Ajayi, as for those who are pushing for an interim government, this should not be allowed to happen first because it is alien to our law books and also because we have had an experience of it in the past. Not only was the experience unpleasant, it was retrogressive. Since we know that it is froth with danger, it is very necessary we make it known that it will be unacceptable. The DSS and the police should apprehend those they suspect as being behind the nefarious plot. So, so there it is right there. I mean, perish the thought of any interim government. There, there is not going to be any interim government that's not going to happen. Uh, there's not anything that's going to break the stride, as I said. So, uh, and it's eager to do it, by the way, come the 29th of, uh, of, of uh, May, uh, bit, um, what, what's it called? Buhari with both hands, just hand over Nigeria to, to uh, Tinobu, because I think Buhari is at the state of surrender. He wants to get out, and he already has a successor, and that successor picks on the baton for another four years so 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 that that's that's clear so no 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 absolute chance of anything like an uh like an interim uh government so let's go on to this uh uh let's go on to this father mbaka one uh it, it, there's a clip that actually comes with it I, I wonder if i downloaded it so uh let's go on to father mbaka <clears throat> Hold on one moment. Uh, I want to download the clip that goes with it uh, just so I can play it as well. So let me do that as I talk in this rather retarded manner. So let me just start uh, Instagram download. Uh, so th these are just some of the things that you do have to do. Just grab some of these things just to prevent it for the purposes of the conversation. And I'm just talking just to give myself a moment to download uh to download this. Uh hold on. Uh a yendeba, a yendeba, by the way, whatever that means, and yendeba, a yendeba. You know that a yendeba, a yendeba, it means you take yours, I'll take mine. So a yendeba, a yendeba. So uh Yes. Uh, le le let me just wait for that to download. Uh, let me not hold up the space. Let me go to this Muric uh, narrative. I'll go to this Muric uh, narrative. Let let's come here. So let's uh, let's put that on the screen, uh, and we put that on the screen. So the uh, push against now the elections gone, uh, it shows no signs of abating. Uh, it's going global, by the way, and they seem to be taking it to the White House. anti tinubu protest in White House. Murik sends message to uh, Joe Biden. The Muslim rights concern uh, has urged President Joe Biden of the United States to compare Nigerians protesting in front of the White House against the presidential election in Nigeria to cynical, deluded, and fanatical Republicans who still believed that Trump won the US election. Murik said this in Abuja on Monday in a statement by its executive director, Professor Ishak Akitola, 
Professor Akitola said, a few misguided Nigerians have staged a, prote a protest in front of the White House in the United States of America against the outcome of the 25th of February election held in Nigeria. We appeal to the United States President, Joe Biden, to ignore the protesters. The Nigerian election was free and fair to a large extent. Ours may not be a perfect system yet, but it is neither brutish nor undemocratic. In what, uh, in fact, it was the best election ever conducted in Nigeria. So a lot of people concede that, that it was the best election ever conducted in Nigeria. A lot of people concede that. A lot of independent standing spaces concede that. The processes was the clearest and most transparent we've ever had. Um, we appeal to the United States President, Joe Biden, to ignore the protesters. The Nigerian election was free and fair to a large extent. Ours may not be a perfect system yet, but it is neither brutish nor undemocratic. In fact, it was the best election ever conducted in Nigeria. The ruling APC did not win a landslide, but lost sensitive areas during elections, including the including National Assembly seats. So uh, those, again, factual spaces, who would have ever imagined uh, under, under the uh, previous systems, Kano State could never have fallen because it's too strategic a uh, 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 space for anybody to let it, let it fall. And what we saw in Lagos would never have happened. So that shows the progression that we've uh, had in our electoral processes. An election has been held and the winner has been declared by the electoral body. We have a president-elect, and that is sacro sacrosanct by all democratic rules. Our stakeholders are, therefore, expected to accept the outcome or approach the cause if not satisfied. So that is the pushback then against the protesting going on uh, in, in, uh, in America by the obedient space. So the protesting going on in America by the obedient space uh, let me give you one last readout because I tire somewhat of the readouts and then we'll see if there's anybody in the room. Uh, we only have, uh, uh, we, we don't have sufficient enough people in the room to make a conversation. So this might as well be a short lived session. So a short lived session. Uh, we could do with one of those. Uh, Omar Balanle Rahim, uh, you have a case to answer. Uh, Lagos court tells alleged killer cop. So, so let's, let's see now. Uh, Justice Ibironke Harrison of the Lagos uh, High Court, sitting at Tafawa Balewa Square, TBS, has dismissed a no-case submission filed by the suspended Insp uh, Assistant Superintendent of Police, ASP, Drambi Vandi, who allegedly killed a pregnant, a pregnant Lagos-based lawyer, Omobolanle Rahim, on the, uh, on the 25th of December, uh, 2022. Ah, uh, let me have another sip of water. <clears throat> Recall that on February the 28th, 2023, uh, Vandi filed a no-case submission before the court in a bid to have the charge uh, brought against him by the Lagos state government quashed on grounds of weak and inconsistent evidence linking him to the murder. So it's quite interesting, actually, that it is the Lagos state the uh, government that is actually raging and riding against this guy. So, so, uh, so, but he, of course, being a functionary of state. So, is Lagos State them versus, uh, is it Lagos State them versus Lagos State, I wonder, or Lagos State versus federal government? Uh, <coughs> pardon me. However, at the resumed hearing of the case, Justice Ibironke Harrison held that the prosecution led by uh, the Attorney General of Lagos State, uh, whatever the other SAN, had established sufficient oral and documentary evidence linking, linking the defendant to the crime, which required an explanation from him. So I just leave that readout there for of, uh, because that captures the essence of it. It's just really to uh, document progresses being made in that case now between uh, that guy, the uh, the errand, uh, probably doped up police officer and uh, 
and, and the unfortunate uh, girl that got killed. So, so, so to that. So now, let me now play you this video clip. Uh, we are almost starting to end this session uh, uh, fairly abruptly, but I uh, will see how it goes. So this is a clip sent in by uh, one of our subscribers. Watch this. The Ebos who used to dominate commerce and industry here have not been allowed back. And the River State men, however eager to take over their jobs, have not yet acquired the necessary skills. Outside the docks, I asked some Rivers men what they thought of the Ebos. It was, though we are all one Nigeria, but they misbehave themselves. And uh, we feel at the moment, at this time, they should Nobody remain in their East Central State. You don't think there is a place for them to work down here now? At the moment, we, I don't think so. Do you think it will come in the future? That Fisher can tell. But not now? Not now. The federal government has many times said that Igbos will live with their compatriots again in peace and prosperity. But whatever General Goan may say about reconciliation in faraway Lagos, it's not happening here in the River State. This is Igrita, where these Igbos have lived for centuries. During the war, they fled, and local people from other tribes who remained seized the chance to occupy or destroy their homes and seize their farmland. So now these people, there may be as many as 10,000 of them, huddle in squalid refugee camps like this, outcasts in their own towns. All their petitions to the governor of the River State have gone unanswered. There's no indication that they will ever get their homes back. How long is it that you and your people have lived here? We have been here more than 400 years ago. As long as that? Over 400 years ago. Do you have any other home at all? We haven't got any place, no home again than here, than Ikwede here. What do you think the local people want to do to you? Well, the people say they want to fight us. So because um, we ran away when there was a booming of guns during the civil war, you see, and the army people protect them, not allow them to fight us. So you, the army at the moment is keeping you and them apart? Yeah, the army people are guiding us here. What would happen if the army left you alone? They said they will fought, uh, fight against us. They'll try and drive you out? Yes, sir. One group of Igbo refugees. Oh, 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 all right. So um, that, that clip uh, is speaking to the, um, just after the Civil War space. I, I'm sure you all know that. So that was the experience of the South Easterners in the, um, in, in the South South space. It wasn't South South then, it was a query which was the local government area uh, or the uh, certainly hometown of uh, Yemsen Wiki. So, so that was the experience then, uh, but this was the experience then in the Southwest by the same set of people. So watch this follow up clip. The neighbors will be your brothers after this war. Of course, really. We are, we like them. They are still Nigerians. We want them, that's why we are fighting for unity. Do you think they will like you so much, though, after all this? I mean, I can see, but we know that we like them. But do you feel it will be easy to integrate them in Nigeria now? Well, they are already Nigerians. What? <laughs> they are already Nigerians. They are already Nigerians. They never disputed it. Well, they disputed it, though, didn't they? No, they didn't dispute it. Well, well, they were misled. Well, they set up a country of their own, called it Biafra. They were misled, not that they did. Oh, they were misled. They were misled, and they've now seen the lights. Do you feel that the Igbos in what was Biafra have now seen the light? Well, I can't say. Do you think they will now be part of Nigeria? I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. Why don't you think so? Well, uh, according to what is happening in Nigeria, as well, as I don't think. You, you don't think that the Igbos will find it easy to be part of one Nigeria? Hold on, there's a phone, there are the batting on fire. I don't think he must have. Praise the Lord. I want to know you. I want to know yes, you. Yes. I'm a policeman. I say my uh, accreditation. Yes. You're a policeman, are you? Tony. Okay. I'd like to know how you feel about the end of the war. Yeah, yeah. exactly. As for me, I feel very happy. Although, why? I feel very happy. You know, as a young boy, I would not like to see war in my country. Now, I'm very happy because the war is ending. I know that the people in the East, 
because so you could tell lies tell them lies in order to go away now they will soon come back to join us and we are going to you need to get work together in order to build our country and you think they are going to find this easy to do too ah, it's very easy very you, easy. you think not... that they only formed biafra because they heard a lot of lies do you it's a lie yeah it's a pure one it's a pure lie and i'm happy to hear the results of the war now because I'm, I'm happy to Oh, oh, all right so so those were contrasting experiences of that civil war space uh by two uh by by two different sections of the country so that was the the uh southeasterners experience in the south south versus the southeasterners experience in the southwest so so it's just the contrast between the two uh so so let's invite Ajane Koko into the conversation if it's ready and if it's not then we just uh shut down so Ajane Koko are you there yeah, I'm here. One more. All, all, all right, brilliant. Good, good to have you, Adan Lekoko. So, so the um, the the going on now with the uh pushback against the uh not the pushback, but the fallout from the uh yes daddy space. How Peter Obi's dream uh to lead Nigeria died a natural death. So, uh, first of all, I'm gonna come into that space and then kicking the guy uh as as he's on the floor. Uh, what are you making of that? Uh, yeah, thank you, one man. Um, Greetings to our listeners uh, around the world. Please click on the live button. Right up and down. So, um, well, first is um, is uh, is uh. Uh, oh, hold on, Ajale Koko. Let, let's give Alexander a moment. You know he doesn't like to spend too long, uh, but uh, let's hear from him. So, so, uh, uh, so Alexander, good to have you. Uh, unlike you to make an uh, yes. Yeah, I came on because I didn't want you to uh, to log off because you didn't have uh, participants. Uh, I uh, no, they will turn up, but maybe I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to hang around for that long. Might well be the case. <laughs> <I would say. laughs> uh, uh, it's. Uh, it's pretty surprising the difference between the uh, reaction of the interviewer uh, to uh, the questions asked of Yoruba people in the Southwest and of the inquiries in the South-South. Uh, it's a known fact. Uh, Yorubas are very, very accommodating and extremely hospitable. I know that, I said it before, my father used to tell us when we were much younger, that in the 20s and 30s, they lived with different people from all over Nigeria and there wasn't a difference. So uh, I, that video kind of touched my heart because, you know, they, they, were, they were welcomed back into the society in Lagos or wherever that part of the South Southwest is. Uh, I know for a fact that I, I had... Uh, an aunt who, when the, the civil war broke out and uh, this uh, uh, landlord uh, went back to, to uh, the east, he actually came back to Lagos and my aunt at the time, before she bought her, her own house, gave, gave him back his, I was, I was a witness to that. I, was, I, know, I saw that happen. I didn't know the significance of it, I know now. Actually, give give uh, guy the, the guy back his house and uh, and all the documents pertaining to it. So uh, it's fascinating. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I know Baba T says all the time that people take advantage of of us as a people because of our hospitable nature. But that's who we are, and uh, no one can take that away from us. Quite frankly, so. But if the contrast is so, so, so huge, you know, you can see the hostility in the river state as compared to the uh, 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 welcome uh, gesture of the Yorubas in Lagos. It's, uh, I've never seen that clip before and I was uh, surprised by it actually. Yeah, so somebody sent it in. And, and by the way, what, what madness, I saw you, you deleted quite a few, uh, Comments by HO. Uh, what, 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 what madness was going on there? 
She was cussing. She was cussing. Oh, okay. So the usual. Um... Yeah. Oh God. Uh, I, I, I sent you. Uh, I sent you a uh, message that I fed. So, uh, didn't you read it on your phone? No, no. You, you know when I'm doing the readouts, then I can't attend to the phone just at, just at the same time. Yeah, she was. Uh, Ho, you're always welcome to this platform. We're all brothers and sisters, but we don't we don't take curses here. You know, uh, essentially we. Well, you should know better. You grew up in Ondo. Yoruba people don't do curses. We don't do that. Uh, it's not it's not welcomed on this platform. So please come and pay, uh, contribute your own part. But please, this is from cursing. Okay, Mitchell? Uh, bro, uh, so uh, what, uh, 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 Alexander, what, what, what's your shirt size? 3X. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, somebody's just sent something in, uh, which you may well, uh, maybe I'll get one and send it to you. Uh, let, let me show you this. Uh, it's just too funny. I, I hope you have a screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm on my phone. Yes. Yeah. It, okay, can you see that? They've already oh, made a t shirt. They've already made a t shirt of it. Uh, yes, oh, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy, with the Labour State, Labour Party logo. If this is oh, real, I, I I want one. I, I'm going to come. I'm going to ask whoever sent this in to uh, to to confirm if it's real or not because I want one. Uh, yes, oh, Daddy. Uh, on. Thank you, Daddy. So, th so that's where we are we, now. We should we should we shouldn't be gloating on that on that issue. You know, it's uh it's obviously uh, a low point for Peter Obi's uh, 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 political. Oh, man. This is obedience. Yes. This is obedience work. Oh. They, they did it themselves. They already selling this. I, I, I want one. I want one. Yes, daddy. No, daddy. Uh, maybe I yeah, want one for I, a session. Eh? I think I, I don't think we need to overflog that. I think that uh, 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 the way he was monitored, that man's been monitored by the, uncle, by uncle, the uh, uh, It's not the APC now they are doing the shit. They are the obedient. So if you read what they wrote there, they wrote rest daddy, uh, something to reclaim their mandate or something with their logo. So it's the obedient they are doing it. Okay, so they're spinning there. Yes, they're spinning the, the whole issue. Spinning, they have spinning it around, using it against the APC. Hmm. But I, I don't know whether APC is behind the leak, though. Or what do you think, Oko? Yeah, they, they like they, you know they have they, they have debunked it, and uh, yeah. yeah, they yeah. have debunked it. So they, I don't know who's who's ever is behind it, but the truth there is that. The the um, the audio is not real. The audio, like no, the, I, I, the, no, no. That, let me interrupt you, Manu. I think that the was not that, that was, that was hold, hold on, hold on, now. hold on. That definitely was Peter Obi's uh, voice, but I think it was doctored. The only thing yeah, about it, yeah, like, so yeah, that, that is the word. Well, I'm it was it was doctored. That, yeah, that, it was uh, doctored. Well, I, that, I listened to it. Just one. Well, it wasn't mentioned the way they did it. What, what he wrote was that that the way APC is campaigning, as if the other the other Nigerians are looking at looking at it. When, when, when you read the whole text, you will notice that he said Nigerians are looking at it as if it's a religious war or something like that. So they cut and join some stuff mm. in it. So mm. the, the mm. APC people just have to you know do their propaganda in the way they know how to do it. But obedient now spin it around against them, using it to you know develop shit, buying it. This the shit is really really fun. I've seen one. Yeah, they are selling it everywhere. Someone is going to make a lot of money out of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, oh. uh, but uh, it, but it was it was it was rather politically naive of uh, of Peter B not to have uh, thought of the uh, of the fact that his phone could have been monitored. Though, don't you think? I th I think it's even against the I don't know who, the, if they actually get the person because I think it's against the law, right? To invade somebody's privacy. Yeah, it is. It is. But that's that's if it's not if it, that's if, it, that's, if it, that's, if, that's if that that's if that crime wasn't perpetrated by the state. Because I think yes. only the state I think only the state has the uh yeah, where with all to, take to one that. That. that's where it was ringing. You know, it's not mm. possible to to record if um something when it was ringing. So the, the the that place was dictated as well. It wasn't ringing, and they never the the yes sir yes sir wasn't there, and uh, some part of it not all it wasn't there. So the there's some cut and join 
whole stories there. But I think the, the fact that what's even giving APC headache and all these spokesperson of APC is that people will be ignore them. That one, they are crying every day that OB should come and talk. And for the fact that what, what, what actually, but what actually, Emmanuel, what actually gave this uh, this whole scenario oxygen? Because I didn't believe it when I first heard it on uh, on another platform. But what actually gave it oxygen was when uh, uh, Ken Okoko actually confirmed that yes, that conversation took place. He shouldn't. He yeah, shouldn't have done yeah, that. He yeah. should never have done that. It's if you no 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 if you read the if you read the test Okonkwo said Okonkwo said that was a manip as if you read what he said that was the way you get the real test of what that conversation is all about no but that was that was when that was when he came to clarify the first thing he said was that it was a, a conversation between and uh, uh, PO and uh, the, the the man of God he didn't actually go into specifics that was where he made the mistake. You should have gotten the clarification. No, yeah, knew exactly okay, yeah, what was happening definitely. before he said definitely. anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what yeah. man is woman still there? Or am I, 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 there? I, I, I am. I am still here. I am still here. I was just listening to you and Emmanuel. So, 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 so. Um, th that civil war space. Um, and how the uh, country um adjusted to to the uh southeasterners. Uh, uh it, it was just interesting to see how, especially the Yoruba people. You just welcome yeah. them into the fold. So, yeah. so, uh, uh, so I'm not quite sure uh, where this uh, enmity came from uh, because uh, it, well, it, 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 I, I, I had a. Let me say this before parting. Uh, 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 I had this conversation with Ajale Koko. Uh, the the relationship, uh, the Igbo Yoruba relationship, has gotten bad in the last. Uh, 20, 30 years, and I don't know why. I, I know that uh, in the 70s, while I was still living in Lagos, uh, I, I, my best friends were Igbos. We played soccer together. We didn't see a difference. But I think uh, with this present generation, I think it's it's not quite the same anymore. We, we didn't quite know the difference between uh, the Igbos and Yorubas back in the days, what I'm talking 15 years ago. But these days, there's a huge demarcation. And I, and I think it's because of uh, the, the Igbos have become more, more empowered financially uh, in Lagos now. They, they control a huge commercial space in Lagos now. And I think that uh, with that comes that for lack of better expression, that reservation, you know, uh, this this new talk of uh, nobody owns Lagos started in earnest. It, it's always been there, but not not this bad. It started in earnest about twenty years ago, and every time the average Lagosian hears that, it just rubs him the wrong rub him rubs him the wrong way. I think that was what happened. It was never like that. In, like I said, when I was much younger. I, I never heard that. People knew where they belonged. Lagosians, we, we weren't very many. We were about, in the 70s, 72, 73, 74, we were about, in Lagos, Lagos was about 3 million. And Lagos was just a Butemeta, a Lagos Island, um, Bar Beach, and Ikeja. There was no Ogba. You know, that was Lagos, essentially. La going from Lagos, going from Surulere to Badagri, because I had families in Baragri. My father used to take us over there. Uh, going to Baragri was like traveling an hour and a half, two hours back in the day. All this place you call Lagos now was essentially a village. So the, the whole place is developed. When I knew it, it was essentially another village. Uh, so I think that's where the, 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 the hatred is coming from. Uh, but we need to, we need to stop we need, like uh, Zita was saying, we need to calm down the rhetoric. This thing that uh, people say that no one owes Lagos, people don't like it and people need to stop saying that because the owners of the land take offense to that statement. And I, to be honest, I actually do. But it doesn't bother me as much as someone like Abdul Mumuni or someone like Fatai. It doesn't bother me much, but I understand if they feel like that because... 
I don't think I can go to Umbano or go to Mbise or go to Owere or go to uh, Emekuku or go. These are uh, 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 villages and uh, cities in, in Imo State or go to Walu or, or go to Zita's place in Oguta and say to them, nobody mm. owns this place. It's it's out of order and we need to desist from saying that. So, Omar, let me let you carry on with your show, okay? Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. Th thanks for turning up. So that's the mighty right. Alexander Gomez. So that was Alexander Gomez. So uh, le le let's move the conversation back to Ajane Koko. Uh, and um, uh, um, Ajane Koko, actually, le let me move you away a little bit from that obedience space for a moment. This are uh, Omar Balanle Rahim, uh, the lady that was shot uh, in Lagos on Christmas Day last year. So the case continues, and they are saying this uh, this uh, policeman has a... Uh, has, has a case to answer. So what sort of faith are you hoping will befall this uh, police officer? Uh, it's actually the Lagos State uh, government that's prosecuting him. Well, one man, um, I think uh, he should be charged for and uh, with no uh, percussion for that, um, particularly with, uh, the way she he terminated the life of that uh, uh, woman in the presence of her of her daughter. Uh, that was very and um, they should they should face the issue issue face the ultimate. Um, sentence uh, you know and what i mean by that it should be sent uh, so that uh, that can serve as deterrent to other police officers that are reckless um, when they are on duty uh, the lady did not commit any offense uh, she didn't do anything wrong she didn't violate the law she was not a criminal uh, but you know she he used uh, excessive force and um you know just terminated that life uh, like that a young uh, promising and futuristic uh, lady uh, she, she she was a lawyer and you know um back then recently married you know just have a young lady and i think she was in another she was she was pregnant as well, if I could recollect. I can't remember actually, but uh, I think she was uh, she was pregnant and she have a young. I, I I was muted and I was uh, speaking to you. Yes, I was agreeing with you. She was uh, pregnant, so I'm not sure if it's even a double murder that this guy should yeah. be facing. Oh yeah. So uh, she was pregnant. And she have a lady, a young girl, uh, with her. Uh, she uh, when when that uh, criminal in June it, it, that I I I don't look you're breaking up heavily. Can you hear me now? Yeah, much better. Okay. Uh, so she was she was pregnant, and in presence of a of a girl, um, he he terminated the, her life. Uh psychological effect that we have on that lady, on that young girl for life, uh, there's no way you can, there's no way anybody can compensate that girl. There's no way, you know, the, the pros, uh, 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 post-traumatic disorder, that that girl will suffer, will suffer for the rest of her life. Uh, a woman will be unimaginable. So um, the law should take uh, the full course uh, on this um, uh, criminal uh, officer. Uh, I, I recommend death sentence. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 all right, Ajale Koko, your system is breaking up uh, uh, quite heavily. Are you? Can you hear me now, or is it? Still... It, it, yeah, yeah, it's much better, but it dips in and out quite sharply. 
Okay, so um, I think uh, maybe this side of. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, that's much better. That's much better. Okay, so uh, I, I recommend that uh, the, the the full rot of the law should be taken on him, and it, 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 that kind of officer is not fit to live in the midst of human being, and uh, he should be terminated, and uh, you know so that I can serve as a deterrent to other. It's not fit to live among human beings. He's a criminal, and uh, um, a lot of them are in the police uh, 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 force, and uh, we should start taking action against them, and this should, uh, they, should be, they should give this as much publicity as possible on the TV, on the radio, so that people can listen to it, police officers can listen to it, they can watch it live, and they can see him, how he's been tried, and how he's been sentenced to 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 uh, to death, and uh, that can that can you know put some kind of uh, um, uh, 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 check this police officer excesses, you know, while the uniform carrying arms. So uh, that's 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 my take on that woman. Oh, all right, brilliant. It's a small and news. I to that. Yeah. And to that police to heavily compensate the family in financial terms. They should compensate the family heavily. No, that's, the, that, that's the easiest bit, though. The easiest yeah. bit is to sign a check, but the justice against the guy, it has to be public to send a signal. Uh, because uh, so how, how, how often have we heard this storyline? And then once it comes off the headline, we never hear any result again. Yeah, like you said, uh, this this officer, they, they should the publicity should be given to this uh, to his trial, and uh, everybody uh, can see it, and the police uh, uh, officers around the nation can see it as well. And uh, people, when when they when they do that, people can start to have confidence that the country can uh, fight for their justice if at any time they are abused, assault. Or uh, you know, um, um, uh, uh, and um, you know, uh, extra judicial killing by police officer. Uh, you know, people can start have a, a confidence in the system that uh, they can they can get justice. You know, police officer are just. I think a lot of them in that uniform are just criminals. They are not worthy to 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 have that uniform on. They don't know what they represent having that uniform. They don't know that it's an honor for them to have that uniform, um, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 on all the time. It's, it, it's an honor for them to have that, you know, it's an honor for them to carry arms to protect, the, you know, the community and serve the community. And they should respect the citizen because it's by um, uh, taxpayers, uh, um, 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 uh, um, uh, um, uh, taxpayers' uh, money, money. Yeah. that they, they, they got paid. So they, they don't even think about all those. They just act in a criminal manner and they just don't respect everybody. They don't want to treat ordinary Nigerians anyhow. So I think a, a stop should be put to that. So, But so far, the police officer, the inspector general of police we have, has been taking some action recently we should be commended. There are so many officers that have been decommissioned and uh, publicly they will, you know, take off their um, their uniform, um, um, haven't been found guilty or been, um, um, uh, uh, um, how do I say, uh, 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 haven't been found guilty by their um, uh, disciplinary committee, they will, they will publicly decommission you know, and, uh, you know, put to shame in, in, in the public, you know. So he, he is trying his best to make sure that he is straightening them up, to make sure that he clean that uh, um, uh, department, uh, 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 clean it up, uh, 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 clean out uh, the uh, uh, criminal element in the police force. So he, he's, he's trying his best, but, uh, you know, he, he should continue in the pain and as well, uh, uh, Lagos State on this matter, Lagos State should stand strong and, and prosecute this man, put him to shame, 
and make sure that the the what I mean the 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 the, the highest um, uh, sentence, um, the ultimate sentence to be given to this man. That's my take on that uh, woman. Oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, it, it's a no. It's a slow news cycle. News cycle today, uh, uh, Ajale Koko. Uh, so, so that gives us an opportunity to bring uh, everybody into the conversation. So, I'm going to circulate it around for 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 what it is. And um, if anybody has anything that has come to their attention in the news cycle today that they would like to discuss, we'll invite that forward as well. So, uh, as we wait for people to come up with that, uh, we'll go with the topics that we do have. Uh, but let me go on to let, let, let me go on to um let me go to Des uh, because we don't hear often enough from Des uh on the platform. So so Des, uh you're, you're up next. So so Des. Uh so now uh, this the obedience space is, is uh, not the obedience space, so the agitation against the uh electoral results, it shows no signs of abating. anti tinubu protest in White House, Murik sends message to Joe Biden. So uh, it looks as though they are internationalizing this now agitation that is going on. We've seen it uh, countlessly in the UK. They are now protesting um, at the White House. How long do you think the momentum of this thing can carry on as the country moves towards our swearing in a new president? Um, Oman, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, good evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I, I don't see it going down anytime soon, um, even if Tinibu... It, it, it's more like it's almost delegitimizing um, the ad new administration that is going to come in. So so as for the United States not to recognize it, which is really bad for Nigeria, um, what, what, do, what, what do you mean the United States not to recognize it? Has the uh, United States not recognized it? I mean, if people go out, if a lot of people go out and start protesting against, because that has never actually happened before. I mean, uh, uh, people protesting pro protesting in, in, in the United States, Nigerians protesting in the United States when a new, a, new uh, a new administration is about to come in. It's never happened before. This is the first time. And yeah, think... but but, but uh, it, it may be the first time for Nigeria. I don't know if it is or not, but it's not the first time for the White House. I think every single day, if you go to the White House, you'll see some uh, pecuniary interest from wherever in the world outside the uh, White House protesting for American rescue. So I don't think it's anything that the White House is not used to. It's just another bunch of protesters are uh, protesting for American help. Yeah, um, that's the way you you might see it, but I no, but no, I, is that not the way the Americans would see it? Is it something you know, new? Is it is it is it a new phenomenon that they are coming across? Um, it's not a new ph phenomenon, one man. But as uh, American government, they they try to listen. That is why I love what is what I love about America. They try to listen, and try to, you know, see what the uh, aggrievance is all about. They're not just going to, like, uh, let them protest. You know, Nigeria now, let them protest, whatever. When they are tired, you know, they can go to their beds. They're going to listen, which they're going to do. What they do after the uh, the listening is the, is the only thing that we don't know yet. But if they keep constituting a nuisance, um, I think... Um, American government is gonna have to listen to what they're, you know, tell it, talking. No, if, if they constitute, about. if they if they constitute a nuisance in front of the White House, they will just move them on, wouldn't they? They will just the police will come and move them on. Uh, it's not done like that it, 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 because I call it nuisance. It's not it's not nuisance per se. Is is their right? You know, I mean, they just you know, no, they can they can protest in an orderly fashion. And even if they submit a petition to the White House, I'm sure they will send an official to come and receive it and file it away. Uh, but um, I'm not sure that it's... Uh, I'm not, what I'm really inviting is how long can it last? You know, how long can it last? Because I, 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 as I was saying in the opening monologue, the process is following the sequence of phases that it should. Uh, a transition um, committees, uh, several has been, uh, has been set up, Tinubu has inserted his uh, staff into the uh, transition commission, and everything is sequencing to a handover. 
So, so nothing has changed, but all this, all, all this are uh, raging and riding. It continues. So the, the the new president will be sworn in, and then the new president will take the reins of power in Nigeria. So after the new president has been sworn in and the new president takes the reins of power, the agitation will still carry on. When the Supreme Court comes uh, com, comes back with it, how, how wh wh where, where is it going to land? Is the thing. You know, um, Tinubu is not going to be removed. I, I think even you concede that the Americans yeah. are not going to send. They are not going to send in CIA to come and shoot him up. Uh, so, yeah, so, so, I, so, so, so. I know, I know where you're driving at. Yes, and I don't know how this is going. How long is going to last? But I, I vision it to last till the Supreme Court says something about it. You know, and I kind of want the people, even if the Supreme Court goes, you know, against what they are saying. If, the, if, if and when the Supreme Court goes against uh, what they want, uh, is there going to be a final blowout or will they just uh, go quietly back home? No, I think it's, it's going to go quietly because if, if it's now, if the Supreme Court are smart, they, can, they should drag it as long as they can and, you know, try to basically... And that would actually make Tinibu work to understand that it's, it's just like what happened. This is more like what happened in Alhambra during Peter Obis, you know, when when Ngige was almost forced to work. Do you understand? Because he's like, the people are against you, you know, don't want you there. They, they saw someone that they, they feel like could do the job. But now you have to do a job to impress the people so that they will probably calm down. So that's more like going to make Tinibu work. Uh, if it doesn't work, I mean, then he's, he's simply an idiot because he has to actually take that opportunity to, you know, try to douse the, the, the pressure or the tension of people. If he doesn't do, whenever the Supreme Court, how long ever the Supreme Court drags this case, if he doesn't use that time to do something extraordinary, you know, people can see and probably say, okay, where well, we said it, this government, you know, people might just say, you see, we already said it, it's been, it's been in office for like, you know, one year and, you know, all these things, killings, Boko Haram, you know, so many things probably might go wrong. And people are like, oh, we said it, you know, I told you so. And that anger would actually rile up if if um supreme court goes against what they're saying they're gonna go out so it depends on this whole thing depends on tinibu whether he actually performs well during that period of time but if he doesn't i'm i'm not seeing it going out anytime hey, soon can I ask you a question one more yeah, yeah you, you can but let me insert a question and then you follow on with your question um what what do you envision as a result uh, from this protest, from whatever it is that the obedientists uh, uh, they are doing? What do you envision? Uh, not not what do you wish for, but in in re in reality, what do you envision as a result? Uh, how do you think this will pan out? This whole uh, whatever it is that you are doing in your space. I I think the way it's gonna pan out is. They will keep talking and saying what they are saying. Tinibu will get sworn in. And when Tinibu doesn't do well, they will still fuel that protest into another direction. You know, it's not just going to be, I, I don't want it to stop because it's actually going to make Nigeria, or uh, your Nigeria, as I call it now, better and try to give the, give the politician a run for their money, basically. Try to make them work to understand that there's people behind you chasing your, your ass. That if you don't do something right, they're going to be out there blowing out their placards, constituting nuisance. You know, if you try to kill them, then you know you are inviting some international businesses around what you don't want. Yeah, I don't I want it to go. Oh, 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 all right, ask the question and then I'll add another question. Take a question from Emmanuel. Uh, uh, this no, one. one man, it is you oh, directly. Oh, 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 all right, then let me address um, uh, um, uh, this, this a bit more. So, uh, so, so, this, do you see a situation where the uh, by whatever osmosis 
the elections are suddenly upturned and then Peter Obi is announced as the as the winner. Do 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 can you see that under any circumstance? Can you see that? Well, yeah, I'm a bit optimistic about that still. I mean, um there's no if you're not that the courts will declare Peter Obi the winner. You can you can you can imagine that. I mean, nothing is impossible, one oh man. I can't I can't say it's impossible because it's not under the the realm of impossibility. Yes, one um, man. This, this line of question is what I want to ask you. Right. Like, if, if court find all this thing that is happening and they find uh, evidence that it will be won, since uh, Tinubu has been probably might have been sworn in, do you see anything happening? Uh, Peter will be getting the the position, or I'm just asking you, it's possible. You know, if if the courts, you know that um, you know that the petition tribunal is at the appellate level, so there's still yeah. one tier there. Yeah, so so there's still one tier of recourse in the course of this whole thing. But if it gets to the Supreme Court and they declare that Peter B is the president, that means that Tinubu is no longer the president. So the uh, INEP will just issue Peter Obi a certificate of return, and I, I'm not even sure who is going to do the handover. Tenobu might then have to do the handover, and then he will get a shorter. You know, the shortest serving uh, president we've had so far is Ernest Shonekon. So, so he might well then go on and beat Ernest Shonekon's uh, uh, record. Uh, but uh, for for them to declare Obi the president, that it will take some magic trick, wouldn't it? You know, I, I'm sure. I, I, what, I'm not. I'm not sure what the North or the Southwest will have to say about that. That that wasn't how we voted, but uh, uh, uh well, that it will take some doing, wouldn't it? Because, because <laughs> of course, there's going to be a backlash. And and and, and, if, and if they declare Peter will be as the president, is he going to be the president from uh RCCG or for the whole of Nigeria? Since he has now declared that uh, he's at war with the Muslims. One man, why, you had one saying why, that. Why are we still saying? I don't. I heard that news, but I didn't. I haven't really come to talk about it. I mean, there's so many propagandas going on. I mean, it's just like uh, what was this? Was was that stupid son? Son's name, Kayamo, uh, said we are going to hit them propaganda to propaganda, and it's like whatever they say comes out, you know, they plan it and they start doing it immediately, which is sad. Um, Nigeria shouldn't be going this way. Um, you guys should get yourself together. What is happening in Lagos now, it's it's really sad. I mean, I, I, I don't, I, this argument, and it, it pains me a lot. Have we, have we gone down so intellectually low that we are even having an argument of people making a statement that Lagos is, is no man's land? Why are we having such, why would that even come out to the light? It is a stupid argument to make. If you are saying some certain people are saying make Lagos is a no man's land, are they going to come and steal your land? It's so stupid. I'm saying it. When I hear it, I'm like, are we so intellectually low that we are even bringing this to light? That this is this is the norm now. People are saying this is a no man's. Are they going to come and take your land by force? Are they going to? Ha, but but um, uh, you 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 say that. But I'll, uh, listen to this. I'm, I'm sure you heard this already. We must take Lagos must the people who want to keep it are fighting we that want to take it must fight harder the people who want to keep it are threatening we that have to take it must prepare for that threat they... oh i'm sure you've heard that and then off the back of that they are presenting somebody called uh, Badebo, uh who people are dubious about uh, so, so then, of course, the threat of taking leg of of taking Lagos. Oh, uh, no, no. Yeah. Oh man, don't 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 use that. Like I said, these people have not come and told you, okay, Ibo man must be a, a governor. This is Lord Badebo is a Yoruba man. Let's not. Uh, but you you heard him now. We must we must take Lagos and all that. We taking Lagos is it like? They are going to come to your house as a Yoruba person and say, "Get out from your house." I'm taking. No, if, if they take over your, it. if they take over your governance, they take over everything, don't they? No, that that's not how it works. When you say people, that's not how it over, works. People are taking over you. It's more like they are, they are trying to almost make you a slave in your own land. Yes, if they overlord you, then they make come you a on, slave, don't they? Uh, what what, what, what not, do you mean, is, come on? That is literally impossible. We know that. 
So what are we even making this argument to light for? It's, it's, it's stupid. I'm saying it for the last, it's stupid. One man, when Yoruba people say, can I go to Onita? One thing is clear. You have never been to Anambra to know if you are even able to say that, and they will not. Say oh, okay. So why why is that why 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 is that phobia there? Why why is the phobia this to is, go to the? This is the this is the problem. One man, the problem of having non intellectual co conversation. Don't say that you 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 don't say what you don't know. You are saying that one man. Let me tell you, Onita as a place, people say that on it is no, it's a no man's land because you see people indonesia the indonesian of on it people from imo or whatever so many people in Igbo tribe are coming to on and they say on it is a in, no in, Igbo, in, in Igbo tribe in it doesn't matter but they make that statement on it is a no man's land because they're from imo they're from abia they're from uh, wherever south south coming to on and make that statement but uh, on, that doesn't even come out to light because are they going to force people out of their house? No. Even Abba, people make that statement. But you don't see the why Eurobars. I'm sad because this is coming out from because the reason why you're making this statement, can you go to these places? You have not been there before. You don't want to travel to 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 mix with the world you just the only travel you make is yeah no but no but no no what what i'm inviting you to is uh why why is why do you think there's a phobia uh to travel there the phobia to travel i don't know the uh, let me the reason is i would say in my own notion the reason is because everybody in this life has done has dealt with an evil person personally maybe they sold you something that you didn't like, or maybe because they are the ones dominating uh, entrepreneur in Nigeria. They are the ones doing the business, you know. So if you have dealt with them and they they are smarted you, you like uh, evil people are this one, evil people are that one. Can I not... yes. yes, yes, you can interject. Yes, yeah, sorry for. So I just want to come in. Look, one man, I want to believe we inherited some. Uh, ideologies even from the news media and as in the news media at, uh, at large i i have one of my like extended uncles who is into suit making and he goes to onicha market from lagos to buy his material he has never complained of Igbos before you know it is only when politics come that all this Igbo, this Igbo that's normally coming, then maybe the older generation that maybe participated in this war. Because that generation too, we, are, we need to realize that some of the things the media pushed to them were, what's it called, were, for, were lies, you know? Because I want to believe if social media was out then, all the lies the uh, newspaper and the uh, television station used to perpetrate those wars will not come will not come into play because we even have some of our Yorubas who were against the war. Somebody like Olesha Inka, like Ajahn Koko would normally say here, was against the war. So this Igbo thing, it's more of political to me. And another question is this. You know, there was even a time this guy that normally comes out for PDP then Jimmy Agbaje too at the time was called an Igbo because he's fair in complexion uh, and uh, they don't want him to become the governor of the state so the Igbo uh, thing normally comes out when it is Lagos state I want to believe the only mistake that happened during this LP versus CPC thing was the way the LP candidates projected himself, you know, maybe coupled with because some some people were using the excuse that he could not speak Yoruba language fluently. Assuming it was another person entirely, I don't think the Igbo question will come into play. And even if it will come into play, another reason why they could push it was because the mom. Is an Igbo person, even though we know that he's full Yoruba person because the Yoruba. No, no, we, we don't know that though. I, I don't no, no, to... no, 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 no
No, no, I, I, I don't want to revisit that. that. No, 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 we don't know that it's a Yoruba, though. Yeah. He's a Yoruba. I, as he's a Yoruba, Yoruba is a patrimonial society. He's a Lagosian. The father is married to an Igbo person. Does not, the father is married to an Igbo. Does not make him an Igbo. Even we have our children here who does not speak Yoruba, does not mean that they are not Yorubas. They are Yorubas. So if you want to be judging people that, okay, what about uh, Adelike in Ocean State that speaks? No, no, but that wasn't, that, that was, that wasn't he, where I was going to anyway. No, but, he even um, speaks Igbo fluently more than I, 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 that, that, that wasn't where I was going to, um, uh, if eh? Uh, wh where I was going to is that his name is Rhodes Vivo, which, which is not a Yoruba name. So, so, is, so. Is, is Martins a Yoruba name? Uh, Martins is not a Yoruba name. Is he, is he a Lagos, is he a Lagos name? Well, well that's where the question is. Uh, but the name Rhodes is, is quite specific. No, so, sorry, Martin. sorry. The, the, the name, you, what, what, what was, uh, what was Zimbabwe called before it became Zimbabwe? Uh, Rhodesia. Well, there, there it is. So the, the name Rhodes uh, is a plantation name. This is what I'm I was getting at. Okay, which what is about just... da, da Costa or the Da Costa da Silva? The well, those, those are all returning names. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, so it's Rhodes, why not a returning name? Yeah, so so they, they're not questions the Yoruba nest, doesn't it? No, you cannot question the Yoruba ness. Woman, let's be careful of what we push on this place. You know, that's why that's why that's why I'm saying I, I don't want to open up that space, but really yeah. I, I'm not sure that uh people concede okay, that woman, he is Yoruba. I want to ask a question. Is Rose Bible in Legosian? Well, by virtue of long stay, he may well claim to be. I want to ask you a question. Is there an indigenous of Lagos State? If he, he, there is a bursary Lagos State government is giving out based on the five divisions in Lagos State, Lagos Island, Ikeja, uh, Badagri, Ikorodu. Is Road Vivor in Lagos? Can he can he get the indigenous ship, a bursary or scholarship from Lagos State government? Yeah, by virtue of long stay, uh, it, it, it's, just, it's just by virtue, by long virtue stay. of long stay, he's an yeah. indigenous now if he's an indigenous is he 100 uh, percent what is it called eligible to contest for the governorship of the state yeah, he is eligible uh, you said he's a yoruba man and that's that's what i was saying there's a question mark on so, so if he's eligible then why should we now say that he's he he he's unable he's who said this? Who said this? An something? Who said that? I want to believe there are times you normally push about all these things. At times, even we have all this Samuel Jai crowd, uh, um, Mapat, Macaulay. Are we going to say they are not Yoruba? Look, the thing is this. Oh, you know the so, 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 no, sorry. No. Let, let, let's be clear because you are going to a territory that I wasn't going to. I, I'm okay. not. I, I'm not claiming that a uh, Rose V voice and ego man. Certainly not. We we, okay. we we run we run a patriarchal system in Nigeria and Africa and everywhere else. But all I'm simply claiming is that how Yoruba is he by virtue of uh, probably being a returnee. So now okay, my, my, my my family history goes back 500 years to a local government area in the heart of Oyo. So that goes to the very heart of the of the being. About how how deep does he go, and what is his lineage to uh, to assert a Yoruba? What's the bloodline? You know, okay, so you can't just be Yoruba by 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 wish. Okay, if that's the case, I want to ask you a question now. What or uh, who defines a Yoruba person? What defines a? I know what defines an Igbo person. I know how they DNA DNA DNA. It's not even DNA at times. Mm. It's not there. It's about there's something we call sin doing. Was it going the fun culture? But this was like Orisha, Orisha delay. But what I want to say is this: eh, one man, look. I don't want us to create a scenario that 
children yet unborn will not inherit it, you know. I want to believe that even if you are initiated into some, what's it called, uh, uh, Yoruba spiritual um, societies, you're, you are more or less in as a Yoruba, you know. So that's why I say so. Who is to be blamed? No, no, I mean, the, way, the, the way you see it is different from the way it is, though. So the way you see yeah. it is it, it's a, it's a right on uh, walk. Uh, it's, a it's not walk, one man. It's not walk. Especially, I want to even believe that they may even have, what's it called, some chief tense title in their family. I want to believe so. Do you think if they are not Yoruba enough, they will be able to become, their family will be able to become, what's it called, uh, into the justice system of Nigeria from the by, 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 by virtue of long stay. <laughs> no, there are some uh, things that happen. Let me let me say this. When when you ever you make that statement, it kind of rubs me off the wrong way. We have people. Oh, God, Alexander, I think we... you cannot become a justice in Nigeria if you they cannot trace your this thing. You know. They cannot uh, trace your learning uh, from you. Am I am I on the show right now? Yes, yes you sir. are. One man. Yes, you sir. need to you need to stop spewing this garbage that that's coming out of your mouth. Uh, Rhodes Viva uh, is a Yoruba man. He can trace his ancestry three hundred years. Uh, his family has done more for Nigeria, especially in the area of jurisprudence, than anyone that's ever participated on your platform. This word Lagosian was derived by the British in 1854, 1855, that anyone that was in Lagos at the time and lived in Lagos for since that 1850 summer is a Lagosian. So by that very definition, he is a Lagosian. Uh, uh, let, let me ask you, let, let me ask you let a me, question. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say this. Let me say this. Mm. Uh, you want me to go into family history, so I'm going to tell you this. Every time you say this, it rubs me the wrong way. I get upset. A lot of, a lot of people get upset. The two biggest family slave owners in the whole of Lagos were the Martins and the Gomez. Martin was not, that's why I came onto this platform, because uh, uh, if I just asked you an amazing question, would you call the Martin name a slave name? The, 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 the Martin name was that they were known slave traders. Gomez were known slave traders. My family house where my grand great great grandfather sold slaves, and I'm not proud to say this, I'm actually ashamed to say this, is on Catholic mission. You know who stays there right now? Who stays on that property right now that was a slave den? It is Mrs. Uh, 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 what's this woman? That woman, that man that owns uh, Glow. Um, can someone remind me of the guy that owns Glow? Um, uh, Adenuga. 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 Yeah. Go to Catholic Mission, go and ask for the house of the Gomez family. They will show you my great great grandfather's house and they will show you the house that we had slaves. So you can't say that all the names that have, uh, 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 that are English or foreign uh, are returnees. It, it was the norm at the time, especially in some areas where people abandoned Yoruba uh, names and bore. English names because they thought it was posh, you know. Now, now you can say where you have a point. This is the difference between where you're coming from and what uh, uh, this young man if uh, is saying. He's oh, a oh, negro man. Sorry, no, oh, let, me, let me finish. He's a, let me let me finish. Okay. He's a negro man. It's a known fact that the original inhabitants of Lagos, which started from Edo, were Egun's and Awodis. Ijebus came in. Other people came in. The people that you could refer to as returnees, essentially, essentially, were, that you could say categorically were the ones that had 
Brazilian names. The Morios, the Da Costas, the uh, uh, Da Silvers, the uh, Fernando, those were returnees. And they came to Lagos before, before there were houses in Lagos. There were huts. These were the people that brought, they, they called Brazilian quarters. They called Brazilian homes before negotiations started building homes with, with brick. So you can't just say because someone is buried, Coca, Martin, and, and this and that, then they are returnees. You can't, you can't do that. That's naive of you, Wama. You shouldn't do that. And it's, it's wrong for you to even do that. Are you happy that we were able to sell ourselves into slavery? That you're not saying that someone who has come back to Africa 300 years ago because of for some strange reasons, you say, oh, you don't even know their DNA. And you and I had this discussion before. And you're still doing it, Wama. I don't know why you're doing it. Oh, 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 all right. It was actually Des that opened up that space, but... um. Uh, those views are held, by the way, um, Alexander. I, I'm not sure that I'm saying anything unique. Uh, so, so, so I, I think if, if it's a if it's a sensitive space, um, which people don't want to take on, then uh, I'm, I'm happy for us not to. Uh, but those opinions are held, as I've just expressed, uh, because um, you, you, you say that no matter how no matter how far somebody's history traces in Yoruba land. Uh, it must land on a homestead. And uh, does, yeah, but does, if you have, do, if you do, have do, a does, family, does it land on a boat? Does it land on a boat on a homestead? Yeah, listen, yeah, if, you, if you have a family, okay, okay. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me educate you as, a, as your senior brother and as your senior in high school. Let me educate you on this. There's a place in Brazil called Bihia. There's a particular area in Brazil that what they speak is Yoruba. So if those people now come back, if they speak Yoruba purely, they watch Orisha, they do Shogo, they do everything. You go there, you can speak Yoruba, they speak Yoruba to you. So they come now to Nigeria, you tell me that they know Yoruba people. They speak Yoruba like you and I, with a slight accent. Yoruba fluently. They worship Ogun fluently. They worship um, uh, 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 Yemoja fluently. They recite... Uh, 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 is, is, that, is, is that not cultural assimilation? No, it's not. It is what they took away from their forefathers. Okay, exactly. let me let me before I go because I have to go to work. Let me let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. 1971. My father told me a story. My stepmother is from Trinidad and Tobago. There are three countries in the world where they worship Shango: Brazil, Nigeria, Trinidad, and Tobago. My, my, my father's um, in-law came to uh, my house in London in 1971. And he was sitting down and he started talking to my father about Shango. My father said, Shango, what do you know about Shango? The man turned around and told my father that we even have a song for this Shango where we sing this Shango. My father said, you have a song? The man said, yes. My father said, sing the song. When the man started singing the song, he was singing Yoruba. My father said, do you know what you're singing? The man said, no. We... That was what our forefathers taught us. We just we don't know what we're singing, but he was singing Yoruba. My father started crying and said, look at what your Indian white people have done to my people. You can't just look at people. These are very sensitive subjects and very sensitive things that we should just talk about willy-nilly. It's not very nice, woman. It, I take it personally, especially the way you treated that Rose Viva guy. It was totally unfair. And it was not right, one man. It was not right. It was not right. I, I'm Alexander. Can I say something, please? Yeah. Oh, 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 all right. We drop it as a topic if it, if it, uh, if people uh, if that's the um, reaction. Um, because look, I can see uh, the look, comment uh, section uh, as well. They uh, want uh, us to uh, drop. Uh, 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 please. Uh, please. Let me make something quick. Just quick. I'll be quick. You see, there was a reason why the last time I came on this show, I said the elections are over. There are things that we are going to be saying here. There are things that we are saying, West have power. There are things that we're going to be saying, one man. This thing you are saying, one well, very, very soon, your own kids won't be able to come to uh, to, to your state. Let us tamper this matter. If you want to discuss it, let it be to promote. For crying out loud, we are calling about, we are calling uh, the African Americans to come back. Is anyone asking the way they're coming from? Is anyone asking the way they're from? Why should it be ours? Because of election. Order. We are cutting this wound so, so deep. 
And one man, please, if you can, let this thing die. If you don't want to promote peaceful or our coexistence or appreciate each other, then let us just die this matter. It is not right that we are people saying this. It is a disgrace. I am not. Hey, well, well, it, 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 it's not a disgrace. Don't don't. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Disgrace. Let me talk from the paradigm of a Lagosian. Look, for those of you that are in Ogun State, from Ogun State, Oshun State, or your state, Ondo State, you see that you still have maybe your compounds in the southwestern state, even Kwara State, to some extent. And you don't understand how the fabric of indigenous legacies when you start discussing about somebody's true yoruba half yoruba it's like you are poking into our eyes let me give you an example if you go to badagri there are some communities so, sorry is, is, it, is it a space that you have encountered i have, have your yoruba huh yes it's a space oh, oh, also... oh, 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 all right so you're speaking from a personal okay yes if you go to badagri you hear some surnames like, um, let's say, um, Ogumbi, Ogumbi, Semeton, Martins, Adewale, Nsu, um, on Lagos Island, even in some Lagos Island, you have a Hungbo Cutters on Lagos Island. At the end of the day, you now start asking yourself, how did Egun and Yoruba combine together? Look, I'm going to tell you most of these things are even forbidden history, so don't let me go into that space. But go there are some into it now. We're, we're here to learn. No, no, go to, you know why I will not go to it? You are hmm. going to go into slavery, abolition of slavery, how some families were forced to stop slavery, so mm -hmm. for the future mm -hmm. generations to be able to live to have a relative peace we we were bad not to even repeat do his history again to um, a matter of fact there are some history if you repeat it the voodoo people will come for your head mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that is an there's abomination or God, yeah. Alexander understand and continue so that that. Yeah. So that's why we know these things, but we keep it to ourselves and we don't even talk about it at all. So when you guys come from the other southwestern state and start talking about somebody is Yoruba enough, somebody is not Yoruba enough, you actually hurting our own emotions. Okay, for example, a guy that Alexander has told you on Lagos Island, we have a go. I'm going to tell you today, how did the white calf shifts? Have why did Badagri have white calf sheaves from Lagos Island? But today everybody is living peacefully. Nobody is going to some history that will raise some dust, then will now lead to segregation. Because what you want to push into Lagos, if I repeating this narrative, is you want to cause segregation, which we don't like. We are really managing our space and we are happy. I, I always say this, the people I just need to blame is when they re, when everybody settled that matter of that slave era, there were no enough, uh, what's it called, um, provisions to re-assimilate everybody properly, such that it is what your family told you that everybody knows how a guy alexander told you something some people adopted european names for example there is a family name in badagri francisco is francisco does francisco has anything to do with yoruba no but you cannot say anything other about them shitabe people the shitabe the serikis Serki was a slave who was returned back to Badagri. So the Serki family, a very prominent family. So are you now going to start pushing the narrative that they are not Yoruba enough? No. And, and also to add to that, when these white people came to Badagri or wherever they came to, they had local agents who were who were 
who were actually capturing and selling slaves to these people. You know, I know for a fact that when they come to Badagri, which was where they would take final destination before they start moving to Ghana and, uh, and, uh, and Senegal, and then from Senegal to Brazil or to wherever they're going to, uh, uh, they were they were they were they were cheats. They were they were brokers, like like uh, Kulata said here on the platform. The Jabu people made a lot of money selling people. You know, a lot of there were families that were known slave traders, and it's not something one should be proud of. But there were families known like that. And if you go to Lagos, they will tell you Martin was a, a, a one of the biggest slave traders in the whole of West Africa. That Martin family, they were not slaves. Martin family were not slaves. And that's why when you go to Lagos, you hear Martin Street, because they had a lot of money. That's why they could acquire a street like Martin Street. You know, so it's it's a very sensitive subject. And and, and, and important, I have to say this. I told Ajale Koko, every time I see an African American, especially when they're going through hard times, it breaks my heart. There's a there's a woman, one man before I go, and I'm getting a little bit emotional. There's a woman in my facility. That woman is a replica of my mother, a replica of my mother. And I tell my staff that I call her my mother because I am nine times out of ten sure that that is a Yoruba woman. That is a Yoruba woman. So we need to be very careful. I know you as an Oyo man, you say it, uh, you're proud of your man and all that, but we need to be very careful. These are very, 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 very sensitive topics. And and like I said, like I said, um, um, what uh, Viva Roads Viva's family, especially in the area of jurisprudence, Roads Viva's great grandfather was the first indigenous Nigerian judge in the whole of West Africa, the first African judge in the whole of West Africa, three, 200 years ago. That is an impeccable record, impeccable. So he was as qualified as anybody to be governor of Lagos. Is he capable of doing a good job? I'm not sure. I don't think he has the wherewithal and the capacity, but he, he, is, he is the very definition of a Lagosian, of the very essence of a Lagosian, Rose Viber. So let me go, one man. Nico. Oh, oh, all right, thank you, Alexander. Thank you. Hopefully, oh, he's gone. Uh, so, so hopefully yeah, that didn't. The, 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 hopefully, hopefully, oh, hold on. Ho hopefully that didn't jar the senses too much. Uh, it looks as though we have now finally encountered a taboo subject. We thought everything was up for debate, but uh, both from the feedback on the screen and certainly in the comment section as well, uh, people, 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 people want us to drop it, but, uh, you know. Yeah, well, I want to add something to what uh, uh, wow, okay. eh? Emmanuel, Sorry, it's not, it's not only Emmanuel, that one. Emmanuel, Emmanuel hold on. Emmanuel, hold on. Yeah. Carry yeah. on, Unless we want to be... We don't want to speak the truth. You cannot be a chief judge in Yoruba land that I know. And you are not into the or a, a justice and you are not into this Yoruba spiritual uh, what's it called system. And before you can attain those positions, you must or you have they would have checked your background properly. They would have the 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 the, the upper of your of your locality would have given a nod either to the state governor because these things come with recommendation if you don't have your an oba in your community they will go through maybe the ballot from the ballot to the uh, if uh, you the, had better argument before not this one now no 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 she she judge, yes. you understand so I just want no, to No, I can use other arguments, not this one. This one okay, is not okay, okay, okay. a discussion so, now. Okay, so Emmanuel can speak. Emmanuel can speak now. I just want to say... Okay, yeah, I just want to say... That that say, that say, that say that right? proper, pro I just want to add to what um, Alga Gomez said earlier. <laughs> so if you I want to educate us on Yoruba culture, oh, Emmanuel... I, I want to add, I want to add, uh, not, a, not about <laughs> that one, because... There is something that a lot of things is happening to this platform that me, like uh, me mostly, I don't like it. Like, 
um, that guy, that road vivo, there's a lot that said against him that most of when I hear it, I just log off at the, from this platform, you know, because his mother is from Southeast. And it's not only that, so because the intermarriage between the Southwest and the Southeast has been going on for some years, even before all of us here were born. So now, because the person wants to uh, clinch a ticket or be a, a leader, there was, the Yoruba start discriminating against that person. I think we should address that issue as well, because I wouldn't, I don't like the fact that because this person is from this region, and that person is half this, half that. Do you understand? No, it's, no, it's I, really I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think that. Uh, maybe, maybe you were mishearing. I, I did. I, 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 Alexander did say we should move away from the topic, but um, I, I think you may have been mishearing what people were saying. People were not objecting. Uh, who is not married to half the people here that are married to outside of their culture? Uh, but um, what people were objecting to was that he did not understand the language or the culture. Which he did not. So that's no, what they were I heard them every time they say it's half Igbo, half Yoruba, that he cannot ruin uh, uh, Lagos because they're half Igbo. But, but the, governor half Oshun, the, the governor of Ocean State is half Igbo and it's the most popular man yes, in Ocean State. I, I, I just want to mention that because uh, so, so many of them, so many of them are half Igbo, half Yoruba, but that guy, because he wants to be a leader, they use it against him. The campaign they, they use what him. against him. They use what against him. They, they said because they have Igbo. That is why they cannot vote for him. So, uh, sorry, Mr. Uh, one man, can I quickly interject? Yeah, go on. Uh, Emmanuel, I think uh, what one man was trying to let you understand is for somebody to have uh, a mom or dad of different ethnicity is not a problem. The problem here is the identification, who you identify with. If you look at uh, Adeleke, like uh, Mormon rightly said, it's the same scenario that plays out. But Adeleke identifies with the Yorubas. That is why he's able to run there and nobody used anything against him. But for somebody that lives in Yoruba land, and doesn't even identify with Yorubas. That's where the problem comes How from. How do you know that he does not identify with Yorubas? Because we are just for you to be able to identify them. with where you live, you must understand their culture. You must be, and the first thing about the culture is the language. Suppose this man, suppose like most of us now living outside the country, and our children hardly visit home, and provincial, so many years later, they came back, and they want to be uh, they want to be somebody in their land because they can't speak friendly use it against them if 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 my if any of our children we plan if there are plans to go home and be somebody there the first thing we have to do which i'm not object i'm in support of is they have to understand the people they want to go and rule over and be able to speak with them communicate with them do you think do you know how many people that are in yoruba land or even in lagos and, there and, and they can't the even speak that, yoruba the fact that the guy speak yoruba not that he speak friendly he speak very well he but not doesn't everything. speak at all he does it he, he even said he doesn't I, think I, in yoruba. Heard him speak yoruba now so what, what are people yeah. saying i've heard him uh, he has spoken yoruba a lot of time so he speak okay. but not very friendly can but i can I, can I can i can i uh, one man call him Chinedu every time. Call him yeah, yeah. every time. No, what do you mean I call him Chinedu? He, he used it in oh, 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 oh. one of his posters. Uh, uh, and is that not even his name? Is it, did I make up a name for him, Emmanuel? I mean, this uh, is yeah, not where I'm trying to take this argument. I, I, I don't know. But thank you. Thank you for. Yeah, let's hear from Fatai and then we'll come back to you, Desmond, to move us to another place. please. <laughs> one man i didn't know i don't know how you got yourself again this topic i mean i don't know over. man <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, this is my brother that is trying to tell us that he speaks yoruba i mean i don't know you are not yoruba do you know he speaks yoruba uh, yeah. i don't know i just need to clarify right i i because i at some point i hear i think i heard a Oga Alexander mentioned my name with regard to Lagos. I don't speak about Lagos. I speak only about Lagos to the extent that, oh, this is in Lagos, this is in Lagos. I never spoke about revivals and Lagos. I never spoke. There are certain things I don't speak about. 
right? So I don't know how my name is coming into the conversation about those things. Look, the only thing that I said, and the only thing that this platform, I think the only time even uh, one man was talking about the Yorubaness of a road viper was when he went to ask him directly on AY show. I don't remember conversations here on this platform about the Yorubaness of road viper. We were only asking, how can you not speak the language? Not just how can you not, and me specifically, I was asking, how is it possible that it cannot call the name of Lagos in Yoruba? And it's a question. Nobody made the petition to kick his name out of the ballot, right? I'm sure his generation in Lagos last a uh, good date longer than that Ibaba met generation in Nigeria. So nobody is petitioned that it be removed from the, I don't even understand the, the agitation about it, but I think it's kind of like, it, it's a little bit of a shame, right? Not only you cannot speak the language, you cannot call the name. Like the, I don't remember, I don't know which of uh, which bro, bros was speaking now and say that the one that said he speak Yoruba, and he said that if our ch if uh, the children abroad you cannot speak the language when they come back, I am one hundred percent sure that those children at least they can call whether if it's a if it's a child from Kano, it can call Kano. If it's a child from a uh, uh, Rivers, I'm sure he will be able to call Rivers. If it's a child from uh, Anambra, in minimum we can at least say ah Anambra, not uh, not um, uh, what can I say? No, I mean just say cool. I mean my own. <laughs> when I listen to him calling me Komi, I was just laughing. I was like, how can this guy not be able to say cool? Like the name, just the name, just say the name in the Yoruba language. That's all. Nobody's kick him out of the ballot. Nobody. Uh, talked expansively about his lineage, everything on this platform. I didn't discuss his lineage. It's not my, I'm not a, a I'm not a history student in that regard. Actually, when they are talking history, I usually just interject. No, I, I, don't, have a, I don't know so much about history, but I know the things that are still with my eyes. So I talk about things that are still with my eyes. That's to, the, to that extent. I don't think uh, one man, I don't think there is an upside discussing Chine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at that. Uh, no, no, uh, look at that. You see now, so Fatale. that's exposed. You've exposed yourself. Now, <laughs> uh, you, you know, you know what they call, you, you know what they call that, Fatai? They call that a Freudian sleep. So a you're, Freudian you're, sleep. Uh, but one man, one man, sleep. <laughs> one man, one man, he cost it, GRV cost it. He's the one who has been trying to play fast and lose, right? And the opponent grabbed on his uh, uh, clever by half, and they they learned, they, they they made a meal out of it, right? And making a meal out of it, then people then realize actually there is a sense to it that he cannot speak the language. This is what happened. He's the one playing fast and loose. Now everybody, like one man, everybody wants to eat you up for calling him always calling him revival, even though it's in jest. But he, but he that that say I, my name is Rodrigo put it in, on on the uh, on the campaign in the last election, the previous election, and now Excuse you cannot me. call him uh, Chinedu. Excuse me, not Can because it's not anything now. It's just a joke. You now it's just in jest now. <laughs> all, 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 all right, let's let's hear from anyway. Adioha. Uh, let's hear from Adioha. Who is a new voice to the space? Uh, are, are you have you come to register your objection as well? Well, I'm a Lagosian and an indigenous Lagosian. And then I just want to let you know or to remind you that this Igbo directive didn't in Lagos states when it comes to gubernatorial elections, didn't start with Road Five, it didn't start with Chinedu, it didn't start with Badibo. Yeah. Every election year is when this Igbo narrative comes up. I remember vividly that when Jimmy Obaji was contesting, he was giving this Igbo thing and was called an um uh, it was called an um an apologist of the Igbo extraction. And this is somebody who is from Awari, an indigenous Lagosian, right? So what APC or whatever it is capitalized on because Wadibo had a, a Southeastern mother because he had her roots. Now, I want to ask you, if you are saying that the language is so important. Sorry, is it a deal, huh? It's Adaya. It's Adaya. Adaya. Oh, yeah, it's oh, all right. oh, all right. Do, 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 you have a, do you have a screen on your device? I do. Oh, okay. Can you read out this poster? This poster here. 
That is his name, right? No, no, read it out. His name is Chine. That is his name. Should he deny his name, right? No, no. So, so then what is the objection to calling him by the name that he calls himself? I thought no, we'd already gone past all this. No, that's what I'm saying. That I don't have any objection with whatever name he chooses to call himself or anybody chooses to. I just want to let you know that this Igbo narrative did not start with Chini Do, this revival. It started with, it, it comes up every gubernatorial um, election. It didn't start with Igbo for Jimmy and Baji for Fushaw Williams too. And remember vividly that this Igbo thing you know, started. And it has to stop. Number two, right? I have a cousin. She's from Badagri. She's she's from Badagri because I have a Badagri, whatever. And she doesn't speak. If you hear Yoruba, you'll be worried. You'll be thinking, is this person actually a Yoruba person? Are you going to tell me that this language of a thing will stop her from being uh, a legal state governor someday? I'm just asking. Because it goes deeper, deeper, deeper. And this thing that you people are bringing up, right, it's causing so much division in the you know, and it's so much enmity. I think people need to stop it. And so we don't. You, you, you so know, uh, 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 can I call you Ada? Is it or is that a short in front? Uh, 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 remind me how to pronounce the name again. Adaya. Adaya. So uh, Adaya, uh, I, I, I think people are misreading uh, the narrative around Rose Vivo. And we went, we were not even having a Rose Vivo session, by the way. The elections have come and gone. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, I think people are, are mishearing uh, what the argument is. There is no objection uh, about his, uh, the, the, uh, the, the um, uh, Southeastern uh, part of his DNA. I'm not sure that anybody objects to that. And the classic example is the Osho State Governor. Uh, he's not alone, by the way. The the um, or your state governor, my own home state governor, he's married to Anistana. So no objection. Who is not even married to Anistana? They have the prettiest girls. All Yoruba men want an Eastern wife. So there's there's no there, there's no I, objection. To, there's no objection to that. The objection that people have to Rhodes River is that he does not understand the language. Uh, it, it does not speak the language, and it does not hold understand on. the culture. Sorry, is that, a, is, is that a legitimate objection? Is hold, that hold a, is, is that asking too much that he should hold, understand the language hold, and culture? Hold on a bit. If I, I think if I is from Badagri, right? Right. Yes. Can if I answer me, please? Can we? Can we? Can we? Even I discuss. I don't know yeah. if he. Yeah. So if I, I know. I don't know if you know that a lot of Badagri people can't speak the indigenous Yoruba that, that people are talking about, right? So if you hear a Baghdad speaking this kind of Yoruba, would you say the person is not Yoruba enough to be a Lagos state governor? Already to them if they like this. You are breaking up, is that? Are you there? One man, can I just interject as a fair is trying to yeah interject? But I want to quick I want to quickly move away from this topic yeah, because yeah, it's, yeah, it, yeah. it seems to jar people the wrong way, you know. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One man, one man. I think like if uh, the question being put to a fair, right? If somebody is is if it's a, a, a like if a a worry with an hourly accent wants to be nobody is going to question whether it's not a that is way that is. No. A, his lineage in the but land I, is recognized. But even if, from, if, if you are from Ondo, you, do you understand yeah. Ondo Yoruba? Nobody understands Ondo Yoruba now. Nobody is questioning I, I just, now. But I, I think it is a little bit unfair that I don't think anywhere in the world would. Can I just land and I, I think it is a little bit unfair. I don't even. Uh, there is too, there is a there is over 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 too high expectation. I I don't think people require of other people, especially in this Nigerian space, that they cannot even require it in other places in the world. Where in the world, people don't ask you about language. You won't even go and take a visa, they ask you about language. And we are just, this. nobody is saying he's disqualified from running for the governorship. Nobody is saying he should lose his Yoruba passport or his Nigerian passport. Can't we ask questions? If you can't speak a language, can't we say, ah, can you speak a language to communicate with the people? How is that too much of a question? I don't even get all these. Oh, because if you don't speak the language, that means it's not Yoruba. Who is saying it's not Yoruba? Can't we can't we talk? Is, are we going to live under censorship? Are we going to live under censorship? We cannot ask, hey, can you call? Can you call a call? Can you speak Yoruba? Even we make fun of ourselves that our Yoruba is not good enough. But we cannot speak Yoruba. We cannot ask somebody 
How much language do you speak? Somebody wants to be head of a space. I don't even understand it. Nobody can ask shut me down from that kind of a question. Can can you please answer my question? It's from Badag, you see, you understand very well, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm a new mm -hmm. man. So you understand my question very well. I, I did not sorry when you were saying that question, my I said, yeah. I, I said I know that there are so many Badagri people that cannot speak this Yoruba that people are saying. Yes, now that yes. Are, people. are they going to yes. tell us that these Badagri people who are indigenous Lagos Church are not Yoruba enough to I mean to govern Lagos State? Yeah, let me even tell you the truth. That's the let is because of this and that enhanced me is because I'll just tell you my experience when I was in Lagos State University. Look, the truth is in Lagos at itself, they see us more like a republic of Benin people or more or less a second class citizen. That's just the truth. I mean so one to be poli I mean so one to be so yeah. as indigenous Lagosians, right, should we actually be bothered about how much Yoruba or how much non-Yoruba the person can speak or what the person can do or the country? An indigenous Lagosian will not bother about it. The problem is coming from... It's coming from other, the people of Ogun states. Ogun states, Ogun states even other, Ogun other states. Yoruba parts who are exactly. seeing themselves Exactly. As a stakeholder in Lagos State, that's where the problem lies. Let, let me let me ask you a question, if uh, is uh, Lagos State Yoruba land? It depends on how you want to see it. Mm -hmm. But because but because the Yorubas makes oh, up the Yoruba. wait now, but because the Yorubas make up the majority, you will say that it is a Yoruba land. Oh, okay. okay, are you are you a Yoruba man? Uh, if eh? are you a Yoruba man? No, I, you know my name. You know my real name. I'm not a Yoruba man. He's not Yoruba. He's a group. You know my real name now, one man. No, 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 I know your real name. It's, it's just um, well, it, it's for the purposes of. I, I'm not sure where this conversation is going, but uh, maybe we need to. I will tell you why. Look, I because we're we're that. entering territories that um people don't want us to go to. Yeah. So, and that's why I don't really want to go into mm. it because at the end of the day, even we have some of our people in Ogun State, Yewa area, who are not even recognized there. No development is coming to their place. Most of the time, they have to come, uh, follow the, what's it called, that river, that river Ogun, to come to Badagri to make a living, you know? Nothing Ipoke exists, they are not recognized in the, the Greater Ogun State Project. Um, if not that so, so sorry, be... what, what what how would you describe your ethnicity? My ethnicity is Ogun or Fon. That's uh, 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 is, is, is that is that a is that a derivative of the wider Yoruba uh, ethnic stuff? No, it's not it's no, not it's a not. no, it's it's totally different. The it's it's more of a... If you want to look at the origination, I think they say uh, historically it came from the Ewe and the uh, Aja people in the Republic of Benin. That oh, was oh. the former. That was the former Daoma Empire. What about? It sorry, Mr. Okay. Oma, let me quickly Aren't have... you being a little bit unfair in your analysis? One might ask you a question now, right? Like, is Lagos a Yoruba land? You say yeah. it depends. But at the same time, you are always quick to say, oh, this argument is started by some people. They are not Lagosians. They are not, they are just coming from to, into Lagos. So you are saying Lagos is, essentially you are saying Lagos is no man land. But at the same time, you say Yoruba that's, as, that talk about Lagos, they shouldn't be talking about Lagos because they are not Yoruba. So only you, only the Yoruba that are not uh, original, they have generations, don't date back 100 generations in Lagos. Only they are excluded from your acceptability into Lagos. Why? Bofatai, can they I can't talk about Yoruba, but you... Can I say, what, which exactly is the real Yoruba? If you go to Onu State, for example, Mem -O -M -O, and I cannot even un pick one word. Wait, you are breaking up. Uh, it, 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 yeah. yeah, no, no, I, I, I don't, I don't you say you must pick... Exactly. No, no, I'm not saying that. You are, this is my point. This is my point. It is a debate. It is a debate. Everywhere else in the world, 
they ask you about your language. It's a debate now. You can't shut me down from talking. Like, ah, this I'm guy doesn't know down. how to speak Yoruba. Yeah, I can't. Why? He said, I'm just debating. Why should I shut my mouth down if to ask a question whether the guy can speak Yoruba or not? I'm not saying they should go and remove his ticket. I'm not saying you should, should kick him out of uh, Lagos. I'm not saying he's not from Lagos. Well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't eh? know where, where you people are taking me to. This is not where I wanted my conversation to go. But yeah, I, mean, I don't mean, I generally I don't like censorship. Oh. Somebody wants to shut me up, me. I don't like censorship. Oh. I don't do I don't take any action against nobody. I'm just asking, ah, if I'm if it was even funny thing in the in, in even like that, ah, you see the way this guy they call a co. I think I cannot even call a co. I mean, sorry, I, I, I see you cannot have a conversation. Sorry, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I say something, please? What I... oh, oh, all right. People are desperate for us to move from this topic, though. It, even though I'm even getting phone calls, but um one man one man yeah. this issue this issue that we are talking right now is as serious as any other issue out there yeah if we if we're able to discuss it delicately i'm not sure but the the whole of the yes. comment section they are rating that yes. uh we have to leave yes. the topic uh, 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 one man one man the people in the comment section should all... because on this platform on this platform we took this uh uh, uh fire of tribalism. What do you mean on this? this? No, no, uh, no, 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 no. Can I, what can do you mean with stop? No, 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 you can't. No, but you can't say that now. What? Are, what, what can you oh, even make that? That's a one man, can I? Can I? Can I? You know, you know me that I say my things straight. I do not hide. I have lived in Lagos State and Adanaya or Adanaya Nosti. Welcome, my sister. I am. I stay in Lagos State. And I know that on no re or no occasion have we made our stay in Lagos State uncomfortable or unbearable for the host. So, so where, where are you now? Where, where, where are you now taking the conversation? Let me, let me laugh. Let me laugh one part because this matter, this matter is a serious matter. No, no, you are you are taking us into uncharted territories oh, oh, no, now. No, no, no. It is, we are, no, we are still on the same Lagos matter. Oh. We are not going anywhere. It's still on the same Lagos matter. Yeah, yes, but we're talking about we're talking about hold, hold on, hold on, Joel, hold on, Joel. Hold, 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 okay. You know, you you still have the space, but we're talking about indig indigenous shape shape. That that's what yes, we're that's talking about. Right. But you're not you, 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 you're not pivoting into an ethnic uh, or, something. Uh, uh, no, I am I am trying to give you a background to what is going on in Lagos, and we have to nail it on the head, whether we like it or not. When it was Fusha Williams, because this Adanel lady. I remember Fusha Williams because he was coming out under PDP. People from the South East voted PD, always vote PDP, right? They used this tribal card during that time. During uh, Abaje, it was the same thing. Now, under Chinedu, it is the same thing. Let nobody come here to tell us it is because it is Chinedu, it is because of a uh, uh, GRV. If it was another person that came out under the same uh, Labour Party, you guys will still find something to say about that person. What my point is this: for the people, if you, you man, one man, you are from uh, uh, from uh, from all your states, everyone, Adeleko, you guys are from AKT, all these places. The real owners of Lagos State, if they say they want to rule their state, what is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? If they even if they say okay, the person that wants to she does speak Yoruba. What is that? What is wrong there? The same thing you are accusing the Igbo of doing in Lagos. It's the same thing most of you talking around. No, no. Uh, uh, so, 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 sorry. Sorry. Hold on, Joel. Oh, hold on. Oh, say, oh, and oh, I, 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 I want to, yeah, I want to hear more from you, but let me just establish this because... Oh. um. Uh, yeah, no, no, you still... One man, one man, okay, one man. Whether, yeah. whether you like it or not, as an indigenous Lagosian, our problem is not the Igbos. Our problem is actually the people. What do you mean whether I like it or not? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. What, 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 what would I object to anything? I'm just here it's to high, facilitate a conversation. It's, 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 it's high time we need it in the board. 
Negotiators don't care how much Nip you what in the board? Nip what in the board? Yeah, we need to dip it in the board and stop Nip it. Nip what? what? What you people started in Lagos is already bigger than you may be, I don't know if you're in Nigeria or whatever, but what you people started in Lagos is bigger what than you. you people? Who, you, you're it's, just crying wild at it. What's going on? <laughs> I can see Alexander is here and I think he understands very well what I'm talking and about. He doesn't understand though because yeah. you're, speaking, you're speaking German. What are I'm you talking speaking, about? I'm not speaking German. I'm speaking the truth to you because this platform stopped the embers of this tribal clash that is going on in Lagos. How, 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 how so? It is so painful. It is really what, what, painful. No, sorry, what, how, what, how so? so? We, it is it, it's painful really it's this really is bad. this is the only platform that i know that it doesn't play any ethnic uh, or tribal whatever have you i been don't know what they are doing are you, you, been, are you, you trying to, to some, corner are you trying to corner me are you trying to corner me uh, program yeah, uh, because how can you come from all your states and be questioning the, the how indigenous a revival is to lagos well, why, why not? What stops me from that? What stops you me from question. that? You can't question, right? You can't question it. I can't question your or your national, because I don't even have. Well, you can. Of course, you can. I then, would then, never do that. Then, then, then it's up to me I if I apply to. If, if, uh, yeah, well, that's your choice, though. But yeah. you have the freedom to. Then, from, then it's up to me if I oblige you with the response or not. Yeah, but you can, yeah. Then, are you from all your yeah? Question and what you I mean, an indigenous legal shaker can speak for him to become a governor of legal states, right? That means if you're sorry, 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 hold on, let, 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 me, let, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Did I initiate the, the query about his Yoruba ness? Did, did I initiate it? Not his Yoruba ness, but it's, well, it's, 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 it's deeper, it's really painful what's going on in legal. Yeah, was, was that, don't know how deep this wound has, yeah. It's a oh deep God. wound that will take a long time to heal. Yeah. One man. Because I think this is, look. Is this, some, is, I, I are you hearing, are you hearing what I'm hearing? Yeah, what I'm hearing. One man, what yes. I understand, this is not even about the discussion. The, look, the no, it's not. This is it's, not. it's not about this. This, yeah. this is a targeting of your platform. What yes. are you, I, I, could, I don't oh, even get Come on now. Point. No, it's and 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 if I do not believe in any growth of any human being, I won't be here. I God forbid me, may, may God punish me if I come here to bring down your show. I cannot come down to bring down. I have not bring, brought down the business of my fellow human being. So so not so well, of you well, where I come. So 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 so, 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 so why, 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 why you why are you then trying to because, close because the platform in an ethnic gap? Okay. No, 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 no. Nobody's going to your platform. And that's the reason why we're here. That's why I told you we must talk about it. Because on this show, if you talk about the bad things, we must also talk about the good thing. If you believe in good, you should also believe in bad. On this particular platform, I am telling you one man, and many people saw it. It is not just that I am talking anything. I am not talking anything. I told you that when you were using the word chinedu, 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 the context, the context really mattered it on this show when the likes of Adele Koko, everybody here Fatai that is not denying all of them were here talking about this man they were bring no, no, they were what, what, what's, what's the, what's the, the so that's my point one man nobody's bringing down your show and no, 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 let, 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 let me hold on can hold I, on can, can i round up can i round up please before before i go off please i've got alexander i understand that you're from lego state I am 400 Adani, Adani Lofi, years Lagos State. Yes, yes. Adani Lofi, you're from Lagos State. Look, we cannot, you see, we, we, we I'm, I'm talking about the egos in Lagos. We are not going to fight your fights. We have taken enough, we have taken enough damage. Today, uh -huh. when you go out there, hold on, let me finish one more place. Um, if you go out today, Markets have been locked. The local government of uh, no, I think, no, no, I, I, no, uh, yeah, no. You, you always go too far. This what, is what you can do. I, now. Can I just say something, one man? Let me just. I'm landing. Let me make okay. a statement. What I'm trying to say is this, one man, that the people of Lagos State should stand up and take over their states. Period. From the highest and the snakes, 
they should wake up and take over their state. If they cannot tell you what to do in Oyo state, if they cannot tell you what to do in Ogun state, if they cannot tell you what to do in Ekiti state, I see the reason why you should tell them what to do in Lagos state. If they say that they want someone that speaks French to be their governor, it, it's not your business. Well, they, they haven't said that. that. Have, they, have they said that the, the elections yeah. have, been, have, have been and gone? And no, they spoke. No, but, but the effect lives with us. The effect must live with us. That's the point. The effect That's of the what? The effect of what? No. Bring, no, no, bring no, the, 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 oh, okay, the, wait, 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 wait. Bring the octave down a bit and let's make it conversational. So don't okay. steamroll. Don't steamroll. Uh, the effect of what? Rolling. Yeah, the effect of what? Okay, what I'm trying to make you understand is this that in Lagos right now, that yes. if you look at uh, uh, the, 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 we talked about it the last time, they still attack the. In Lagos, and right. what I'm trying to say is this: what I'm trying to say is this: this whole thing started after the elections, and nobody can guard me when it comes to my own people. I cannot speak out. I will speak. My own thing is this: that the people that found the ember, I have asked them, "Who oh, you are saying nobody owns Lagos? Nobody owns Lagos? Can you show me one person that said it?" This thing was a propaganda that they brought up and they. Forced it on the people of Lagos. Igbo is coming to take. Igbo is coming to take, and they made it a tribal war over what? Over power. It was a shame. It was a sham. But oh, you know oh, what? Oh, 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 all right. That, so, sorry. Let's people. hear from Alexander. You are just taking us into uh, dangerous yes, territories. Yes. 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 Oh, oh, so all right. Let me, let, me, let me just stand up, one man. So, no, no, I so, so sorry, I, I don't like this dark language that you often use. You know, uh, this uh, hell and it is not dark. Uh, it is hell not and dark. thunder. No, no, no. Hell and thunder that thing that you do all the time. What, you you know, the I, 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 and by the way, the, the person that fans the amber of Discord more than anyone else is you. You. I know. No, you no, I, never, all the time. I never do. I never do. But the thing that is that if you if you, you cannot beat me and tell me how to cry one man. No, no, be nobody is beating you. You say, and there you go again. That's the amber of Discord no, that you're fan. But oh, thank I, you. you. No, no, me. sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let me hear from Alexander. I don't like the dark tones that you're bringing. Sorry, well, Alexander. I, 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 Rest I, I, yours. Think, I think I think we need to move on. I think that uh, we just have to be. My my concern, my reservation is that because I had a conversation with you about this road uh, roads viper because roads roads is this roads viper is the roads family. I don't know why this guy even my like my senior brother was telling me this uh, 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 let me tell you something woman as a thoroughbred legotian it doesn't get more legotian than gomez as a thoroughbred legotian i've never heard of the name Rhodes viva before but the book came out but i kind of knew that that Rhodes viva was Shola Rhodes, Inca Rhodes' family, you know, and uh, and uh, they are prominent people uh, in Lagos. They are the families of, uh, they're known for jurisprudence. I think they have three SANs in that family. They, they love, love background dates back centuries. So I, that I know. I don't know where the vibe is coming from, but I know Rhodes. Um, but having said that, um, it is totally unfair for anyone to want to deny him his rightful position as a Lagosian who's been there uh, to use his expression. He's ha he has receipts dating back 300 years in Lagos. So that is the only reservation. Now, uh, Fatai, I didn't talk about you in a negative sense, I talked about you that you are a Lagosian. I know you grew up in Lafayette, so I didn't. I wasn't saying anything derogatory. I, I didn't talk about anyone derogatory on the platform. I was just trying to tutor uh, one man, and I think I'm in the position to tutor one man because one is my junior brother. Secondly, he's actually my way my junior in high school. So based on that, I can tutor him on maybe what he doesn't know. I know. African history because I took it up on board when I got to Nigeria in 1972 to read about African history. That's the reason why my father wanted me and my sister to go back to Nigeria to learn about our culture. I could have been a, an English uh, a person all my life, but I, I was I was glad that my father did that. So at least nobody would tell me that 
Yoruba, Yoruba man, you can't speak Yoruba. So that's my angle to it. Even our guy, our guy on this platform, who is a participant, or his last name is an English name. Our guy on this platform, I'll say that right now. He has an English name. And a lot of people have, and this one too, I need to say this. A lot of people now who are, who are, who call themselves Lagosians, they have English names, but they uh, or Brazilian names, and they, for some strange reasons, they decided to change their name. So that's my only concern. Uh, when we talk about Lagosian, let me finish by saying this. When we talk about Lagosians, the very definition of a Lagosian is the people who the English people found in Lagos when they got there and de declared that place Lagos were the people that were referred to as Lagosians. The, not Badagri people, not Ekwe people, not just the island. And I think Kolata has said that in the past that the Bini people, if you look at Bini people, when they say they own Lagos, they ruled a part of Lagos, which was primarily an island. So when the English people came, they came to the island, whoever they found there, they call them Lagosians. So those are the Lagosians. So by his very name, by his very essence, if he's been there 300 years, he is the very definition of a Lagosian. So that's that. Now, secondly, um, uh, uh, just in passing, this Yoruba thing is a new word. I hope the kids on this platform or the young folks on this platform realize that Yoruba was a word that was coined by the great Samuel Ajayi Crowder. The original name of Yorubas were called the Anagos, A-N-A-G-O. In, in Ghana, when I was living in Ghana, they used to refer to me as an Anago, Anagoyo. I speak Ghanaian. I speak Ga. They call me Anagoyo, Yoruba man. If you go to Ghana, you say Yoruba, they don't know. If you say Anago, they know where you are from. So this is what we need to do. Uh, we need to know. We need to know our history. And we need to know it is not everybody that bears an English name or foreign name that is an ex-slave or descendant of slave or man. It was just a fashionable thing. I think someone said on this platform, and rightly so, and I think it was Oga that said that some people took on board names they used to trade with their foreign uh, 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 partners during the slave trade. He's very right. It's very, very right. That's exactly what it is. So sorry, I, 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 I came to let me let me let me, let me say let me say this. Alex, Alex, let me Alex, hold on. Let me finish this. This is very important. Let me finish this. One man, my you know you know, I'm, I'm going to reveal something. I'm not supposed to because not a lot of people know, but I'm going to reveal this. Do you know that the Alexander Gomez does actually is actually hyphenated. He has a Yoruba name before the Gomez. But you will not see that Yoruba name because that's not something we use. We use the Gomez for obvious reasons. So who wants to ask me a question? Because I have to go. Oh, no. I, I came to add to some of what you're saying. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, The biggest thing, one man, is is not Chinedu. That's not the biggest thing. We've been, I mean, we banter a lot. You call Chinedu, you call this. That's banter. I think the biggest, the most sensitive area, uh, the most sensitive part of the conversation is questioning the road vivo, whether they're Yoruba or not, because there's a lot of clear history. There are people still in Syria alone, holding up to their yoruba -ness. They're called the Aku. Some of them are mixed with the Creole. They're also in Gambia. They're still Yoruba. So when you learn about our history, especially the slave trade, it saddens me if we start questioning people then because the likes of Ajayi Crowder, the likes of uh, that billionaire from militia, um, what's it called, Candido Darucha, then you start questioning their Yorubanis. A lot of people got displaced. A lot of people found their way back. Did they find their way back to their origin? Perhaps not, but they settled in Lagos. They largely settled in Lagos and Abel Kuta. Not a lot of them made it back into the interland. But they are Yoruba for all intents and purposes. There are other categories of people. Those are Boni people. Those went to Boni. That's why you see a lot of them bearing some foreign names. They know where they come from. They came, they came back to where they come from. If not for the Saro people, 
the level of development we have in Lagos will not have happened. The number of plants those guys brought back to start planting, if they start mentioning some of them, uh, you'll be shocked. So, and also, some people got captured. They parleyed with the people that captured them, and they came back to capture more people. So they were free men making money, selling their brothers. They also bear foreign names. So there's a mix of them. And then you have the Tinubu family, Yanko, that still bears on your name. So when you see someone with a foreign name, there's a lot of sad history behind it. And I think we have to be sensitive with, yes. with that sad history. But whether yeah, Tinubu or no Tinubu is, is just banter. But slavery is real. Almost everybody here, do a DNA test. You'll find your relatives abroad that you did not know. Fourth, fifth generation. I've done mine. I've seen a lot of matches. So you just know that you were lucky that you were not captured. So let's be, take care of that sensitive area. The, the, the yeah. slavery we're, thing we're, is, is we're, real. Well said, Kalaka. Well said. Well said. Well said. Well said. Yeah. Well said. Mm, okay. oh, 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 all right. Uh, th thank you, Kulata. But uh, anyway, let me just leave it. But uh, uh, it, it's, just, it's a curious thing. But I think finally we've encountered a taboo topic. I, I never thought that they would come. <laughs> Uh, but uh, let me just address uh, what I draw tried to do. And draw, please don't 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 do that again. This this space opens up for conversation. But uh, but this now trying to color the platform with sort certain kind of it's like some boa constrictor sort of move trying to stifle the conversation and life out of it. I cannot have that. I cannot. You know, everybody is welcome, as you know. Uh, a, a position is put. Somebody puts a contrary position, the superior argument wins. So that's how, how it has always been. There's never a time. And topics that are sensitive are addressed intelligently. And that is what we present. The floor opens to everybody. But trying to e ethnic stifle in some sort of, I, I'm not quite sure what that move is. But please, you know we love you here. But please, don't, don't, don't take us down that dark road. Please don't. All right. Can I, can I, can I respond to what you said, one man? Um, the world, the world would be a better okay, place. Good night, good night, everybody. Good night. Okay, 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 okay Alexander. Uh, well, the world would uh, be well, a better place. Okay. The world would be a better place when we start telling ourselves the truth. The world would be a better place when you make a mistake. You say, "I accept." That is how we're going to heal. There's a reason why many times people go out to set up these commissions of truth, so that people will come out there and say their truth. You might not mean it, but I'm just telling you the optics. So I am not here to bring down anybody, like I said. I don't know why anyone thinks that I have an ulterior motive. If I bring down your show, where will I go? So, I'm, and I'm not in the business of owning my own, so I am not here to bring down your show, one man. No, 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 no. You, so, um, you, you cannot even if you, if you want to, but... Is the inflection that you are trying to color the platform with? Uh, no, and, but and, and you, you, you've and done I... it. You've done it severally. You've done because it severally, and, 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 and I've uh, yeah. Well, well, that that's 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 based on your prejudices, though. That's based uh, on your prejudices. Not, it, is not, it, is not, it is not prejudices. Uh, uh, one man, one man. I, not, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm just inviting you not to take us down that direction because I cannot abide it. So don't take uh, us down. Uh, one don't, man, don't, one don't, man, don't, don't, don't take us down a dark path. Uh, and we're, not, not we're, 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 not, we're, we're not going to constrict ourselves. We, we will constrict only by the sort of presentation from, um, from, from Alexander and, uh, and Kulata, but not by somebody trying to uh, hold us in a headlock. No, we are not, I'm not going nobody, to be held in a headlock. Nobody, 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 nobody is holding in a headlock. The issue there is that were there, were there issues of tribalism during this election? Yes. Were there issues of uh, 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 people denying their brothers? Yes, that is the fact. So if it well, is no, one, that's your everybody... understanding. That is your understanding based no, on your on prejudices. Street, man, it, it, it's, it's on the street. It's not prejudices. It's on the street there. It, it, if if Arise can discuss it, if uh, TVC can discuss it, if uh, channels can discuss it, I don't know where which which word you believe you belong to. So I'm just telling you that this is what is out there, and there is no how that we are going to say that. One way or the other, we did not stop this. So that's why I said that let us come up with the truth and talk to each other. Remember before the before before uh, uh, the election, I told you one thing, one man. I said, one man, can we come out one day and tell ourselves what we appreciate 
about the other tribe because because i saw it it was too much it was thinking if you go to the twitter space it was thinking you go to instagram facebook it was thinking what was coming up from nigeria not because you you are a funny guy if you are, if have you been to dr Dami Mama, stop, calling me, stop, stop, stop calling me funny man stop calling me funny it's like it's no, like no, I, no, I, you, I, you are being I, funny now I, yeah, have I, you been to dr that, Dami that, just that, recently that, uh, and say what an ethnic jingoism looks like have you been to nigeria uh, watch uh, and uh, see uh, uh, what uh, ethnic jingoism looks like one oh. man, the, 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 you, you, you see, one, one thing about me is this, right? Whenever if I see something, we, we try to have a balanced conversation, and and then you oh, still try so to spy me. If I, if I if I see if I see something, I will say something, regardless whether it is Doctor Damages. I'm not able to go to Doctor Damages because I'm, maybe I might be speaking at that time. But whenever I come out to say something, I just say it the way it is. Many people do not like me about that, even some of my friends. But I will tell you the truth, whether it or oh, 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 so All right, right. Let's, 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 let's just move on. on. This is heading nowhere. Well, let's uh, have your final say and we move on. It's okay. Yeah. I, I, what I'm but, just but please, to but, but please, don't, don't, stoke, don't, don't, don't stoke don't don't ethnic ambers. And let the, nobody, nobody, yes, nobody but, but let, let the conversation me. flow. Don't stoke ethnic ambers. Don't stoke it. I don't know what you do. When you do when you do it, I hear it all. If, even sometimes I let it go, but I do hear it. Don't smoke one man, the uh, 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 One man, one man, one man. The issue there is this, right? Uh, and it's like, it, it's like, it, it, it's like this issue is getting stale. But the issue there is this, right? Um, I live in a country and I know what uh, uh, discrimination is like. I have seen people that have gone through it. So if I should be accepted in another man's country, and in my own country, somebody is calling me another name, then it is different. It is different. So if you are not angry to this point, what, it's okay. It's all right. Oh, 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 but, oh, oh, but oh. I must say the truth. And I no, the truth, I must stand. It does not matter if I'm here or not. I must say the truth. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, all right. Fair enough. I, I think I've made my point, but uh, fair enough. I'm not quite sure where we were, but uh, back to you, uh, Des. But but uh, please, no more of this. I will, and we will continue to speak freely. That's not going to change, no matter who, who uh, but, but uh, that's just it. Uh, so, sorry, you were talking to us about the demonstrations in America. Um, I don't think, I think I've left there. I was on a topic almost as the one we're having now, mm -hmm. but I wasn't heading to Rose River. I don't know. Mama is actually you that took me there, which is sad. Um, yeah, I took you there. You took us all there and you caused all this stuff. <laughs> awful. Yeah. The, the fact, the truth is that the fact that we are still identifying or still symbolizing our symbolical symbolism as, as a Yoruba, you know, more than we are identifying as a, as a Nigerian, um, it takes, it's taking Nigeria no freaking way. I mean, if we are still thinking having this mindset that I'm Yoruba first before I am a Nigerian, then I, I, it's sad that uh, Nigeria is, is doomed to fail. You know, whatever we do is doomed to fail until we start, we start removing our sense of thought from that dimension. I mean, I, I, it's sad. I mean, I don't know if it's the if it's a lot of Yorubas that are doing this right now, or if it's just the touts. I want to blame it on the touts, you know. But um, if I do that, then I'm denying some fact that I see online. If it's just the touts, I would say then, if majority of Yorubas are are nice or wise thinking people, like I believe to, then they would overwhelm the the people that you know, that are tribalistic online. That is how I see it. But when the, the tribal people overwhelm, you know, the, the people that are rational, then I'm like, okay, this is, shouldn't be so. That's why I'm saying that. Oh, okay, oh, oh, okay. So so are you saying the Yorubas are tribal more so than where the people from where you come from? Yes. I mean, from, from what <laughs> I'm right. seeing now, one man, from what I'm seeing now, I didn't believe it before. I, I used to think like 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 education and you know if you're versatile in the way you think and you're you know you, you have experience and you travel a lot would actually open you up and free you up from this 
um, tribal and religious sentiment that Nigeria has been in um, for a long time. But this period showed me that um, we are too tied. Yes, to can tribe. I interject? Yes. Let me, can sorry, I sorry. Who's interjecting? Oh, based on what you're saying, yes, can I interject? So, um, sorry, I want to, I want because you just mentioned now that Yorubas are more tribals when it comes to Nigeria. I think I, I object to that. Now, looking at what just transpired during the election period, I can't say that Yorubas are more tribals. I, I, you can, the only thing you can tell me is that the group of, the set of Yorubas that are supporting APC, they are tribals. The group of people that supported because this Yoruba, uh, don't no, just, uh, so, 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 how, how, how are they? How, how, how are, no, no, sorry. How are they tribal for supporting APC? Okay, um, let me. No, let hold, me hold on. That, that that's the Emmanuel. How, how are they tribal for? I, I'm desperately trying to escape this space, by the way. But uh, how are they tribal for supporting APC? Yeah, one man. The reason why I say they are tribal is that they don't they don't look at things objectively. Yeah, that, 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 how so? How so? How so? Okay, for instance, you understand, just what, what we just discussed earlier now, you understand, they were not objective to analyze this guy's heritage. They were just, you know, because the Igbo in Lagos tend to lean towards him, so they just color that guy and tarnish his image. No, so, no, no, no. Why, why would they, no, hold on, that's your interpretation. What did, what, what was their objection to Rose Vivo? The objection was that he was not speaking Igbo, um, Yoruba fluently. Uh, and is that a legitimate objection? One man, to me, I, I think this is the second time I'm saying this in that you can't deny me my heritage because I'm not no, speaking. No, no, no. Oh, 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 hold on. Uh, is that a, that's just the, the question now. They are saying he doesn't speak the language and understand the culture. We saw him at the Obas Palace with the cap on. He doesn't speak the language or understand the culture. Is that a legitimate objection? Just say yes or no. One man is not a legitimate objection. That's what I'm saying. Can I, can I, can I just? I'm, I'm actually saying something. I don't know what this is. Oh, 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 hold on. Let, let's hear from Ajanle Koko. Let's hear from Ajanle Koko. One man, I've not finished what I'm saying. Uh, we, we know what you're saying now. Let's hear from Ajanle Koko. One man, I don't want you to address this vivos uh, issue anymore, and uh -oh. you should not tolerate anybody talking about this guy anymore. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, oh, oh. Alone. Oh, 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 yeah, I don't know why people always take me there. I'm not trying to go to Rose Vivo. I don't know why they always take me there. Rose Vivo is out of the issue now. We should not discuss, say anything about Rose Vivo anymore. Whether it's Yoruba or it's not Yoruba, people should just leave this guy alone. And we shouldn't entertain any discussion, not even say anything about him anymore on this show. Enough is enough of that. All right, let's 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 move on. Hello, woman. Hello, woman. Yes. Come on. Yeah. So, sorry. Um, the way we are going this morning, please. Um, if you look at the way they are taking the issue this morning, you know they have a target. And if you no, see I, the I, narrative, I, I, I know they have a target. I, I know yes, that. Yes, the narrative yeah. that they are painting. It's just like somebody is like kettle cut and we calling a a a, oh, a pot. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, no, all right. Let's so oh, 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 no, 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 no. I think no, we should no, no, be. No, no, no. Oh, 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 all right. Let's move it from okay. there. Like Ajale Koko said. Let... Can I respond to Ebo? Uh, uh, no, no. Let me let me finish. Anybody can respond whenever. I don't I don't like this. It, it's just gone out of control now. Um. Um. Yeah. Like I was saying, one man. I, I don't like what is going on in Lagos. Um, the, the thing is, I hear this, um, uh, Igbo should leave Lagos. And I ask this question. You, you can is see your, again, you can see again. Let no, me oh, finish, oh, brother, oh, this is my section. Can I finish? This is my section before everybody talks uh, uh, about No, oh, all right. So you, you heard what Ajan Lekoko and Alexander said. I'm not said. talking so, about so, Rose Vivo. So, so, so we, they, 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 no, this ethnic whatever it is that you guys always do, you know. No, one man, this is this is what is going on. This is politics, what is going on on ground. I'm not talking about whatever. I'm talking about what is happening at the moment. Whatever people are saying. It's gonna happen. It's still happening. We don't. If we keep quiet, it's, it's still gonna happen. 
It's not like if we keep quiet, it, it will stop happening. No. I'm saying, when you say I should leave Lagos, my question is, because I see who, who, is saying, people, who is saying you should leave Lagos? I, so many people, so many touts are saying um, Igbo should leave Lagos. Oh, leave all right. Lagos. So, 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 so then you are guided by what the touts say. FFK no. said it's one man in, on his tweet. Uh, yes. It just Well, someone just confirmed it. So when you're saying that, I'm saying... Me, as let me even just take my family as an example. Me, I have close to 100 million worth of assets in Lagos. Are you going to give me back that money? My brother has close to 500 million. Are you going to give him that money to take back to do whatever he wants? This is just one family, close to 600 million. Talking about all the whole Igbo families that are, have invested in Lagos. Billions of, if not trillions of, of, of Naira. In Lagos, and you're saying leave Lagos, leave Lagos. Does it even make sense? I just told you I'm trying to sell sell my uh, my apartment in Lagos. The funny thing is, people trying to buy it are still the Igbos. So you see, the funny thing is, we have invested so much and name have, your price. I'm me, going to buy it. You're going to buy it. <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll, I'll send you. I'll send you. I'll put my number. That's fine. Um, the thing is, yeah, as this Nigerian set up by, uh, in 1914, as we have set up and we are still identifying ourselves as Igbo, Yoruba, uh, Hausa, whichever one you, you're, you're, you're related to, if we are still doing that and deep down is in our blood system that we can't take it away, Nigeria as a country will never ever work until we start thinking about capacity competence. In every ramification of what we're doing, if we start thinking like that, that is when Nigeria as a country will succeed. I'm saying this because I know no country can survive tribe. No country ever can even survive religion like i mean we are we are actually freaking in a religious war like um for over how many years no no this, this uh, uh, hold on man this is this is just your interpretation of matters which is not yeah, this is, a this representation is opinion, of anything right? yeah my opinion, yeah but, but, right? but your, your opinion is is not based on anything you are saying you want to sell your property because you you feel threatened in lagos yeah, yeah, and no, uh, in no, the same, no. hold on, man. hold on, yeah, hold on. In the same breath, you told us that the people who want to buy it are, are off your ethnic stock. Is that not inherent contradiction in that already? Yeah, what well, is no, just I'm, a wild, saying, wild no, things no, to no, say? One man, one man. Even when I told you I'm trying to say, is when when after the presidential election, it wasn't now. I told you before. Even or uh, when after before this stupid shit started happening, which I I became so sad about. It wasn't about Europe, but telling me to leave Lagos. That wasn't about it. It was about Nigeria is not going to work. It wasn't about tribe. That was what it's about, first of all. But I'm just saying this. The, the only people that has actually identified as Nigeria are the Igbos, one man. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Oh, the all only right. I'm gonna give you no, 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 man. No, no, I Let tire of it, man. No, 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 please don't. We know what you are going to say because you said it a thousand times here before. Uh, but okay. um, you know, it's just tedious. You know. Uh, so one man. let yeah. Let me. One man. Can I respond finish. to a bon Alexander? If uh, I, I, are you I going to move it away before. from this or this? I'm going to move body? it gradually away. Calm down. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> But anyway, like I said, we have to start calling for peace and start thinking about what we say before we say it. And that is a very important thing to do. Think about what we say before we say it. Because a lot of BS comes out from each and every one of us mouths and we think it's okay. Just like uh, Joel of Nashville said, Nashville said as soon as you start correcting or accepting that you made a mistake and say, I'm sorry, and learn, that is when you move forward. If you, if you as a person... Oh, 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 all all right. Th th thank you. Thank you for the life lesson, um, um, uh, Desmond. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, carry on, Fatai. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's a little bit demeaning now. We are not children now. We know we should think before. My mother taught me when I was five years old about that. I do know that. Uh, I think one man, I think I agree entirely with Baba Janle Koko. I, 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 don't, I don't think there is any upside, you know. And I also think that no matter how, it, it's a, it's a no-win situation, right? The discussion about GRV and all of those. I, I think people probably calculate that it's it's a weakness for you, so I, I think you should just leave it. I, I, I don't know. You don't need, you don't need the targeting, you know. Um, but I, but just one sentence before I go to a uh, to a brother Desmond. I think it's a little bit demeaning. Right? I don't talk about actually the most time I've talked about Lego is like I'm talking about Tinubu's achievement in Lagos. Actually, the only thing I've been so excited about is that. So I don't know. Um, but I think it's a little bit demeaning to be every time. I always listen to this one every time. He's talking about this investment, investment. Look, Lagos has been seeing investment for centuries, right? So those investments you're talking about, they are not even a major part of money flowing through Lagos. So don't worry about it. It's very demeaning. What me, is the investment? Say but this. don't worry about I, it. Don't, no, no, I don't want I, to. I, I just want to I, make a mention. I'm, I'm gonna because say I'm this. One man, me. one man. If you want me to stop coming to your platform, it's okay. I'm, I, I don't like the fact that when I'm making a statement, I get caught off. It's demeaning. One, I, I see a lot of people make some, some, I don't know how to call it, some tribal whatever, and you relax and keep it flowing because it, it suits your narrative. That is fine. But I'm just saying this. When I'm making a statement and you don't allow me to finish, it's demeaning. Because Fatai is interjecting or whatever. Allow me to finish what I'm saying. I've not come here for a while. Allow me to finish. I've been interjected so many times. If I finish I... and you and you don't and you don't want to hear it or whatever. But that, 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 yes, you were you were you were you were you were taking us in the direction that uh, everybody wants us to move away from. Uh, so so uh, we, we don't want to stoke the ambers of ethnic discord. We don't want to do that. Uh, we are happy to have intelligent conversations, but if it's not fact-based and there's all this dog whistle and smoke signals embedded in, 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 in some of the narratives, then of course, that's not what we oh, want man. to do. We, if we want to have intelligent conversations, that's just all we oh, want. You oh, know? man, anything happening now in the political system is tribe. We know it's tribal. We can't even go away from it right now. You first asked me about the obedience and all that stuff. I started answering. There is nothing that is happening now that is not stoking up ethnic tension. So don't say if I'm saying it or oh, we are going to stop going there. Because well, that's what's happening. Markets are burning. When I say it, you say it's stoking up ethnic. What, is, what, what do you want me to say? To start singing song? Which, which, which markets are burning? Um, one man, oh one man, please. Can I? Can I? One you man, know, can I just finish I, my this thing? One man, yeah. this is what I mean. Look, okay, after fatal. they don't want they don't want people to move on from the discussion, but at the same time, they don't want to stop calling people tribal. Everything is not tribal because people are talking does not mean everything you say is tribal, right? I mean, this old thing, I don't, I, I don't even okay. get it. You let can't me, even call it name. This. They call it tribal. Everything is tribal. Every, if everything is tribal, nothing is tribal. It's just, it's it's just the, this about is the, Fatai. Fatai, this is the, this is the demeaning, this is the demeaning of that ago, word tribal. Fatai. Two, three days ago. You said? We, two, three you said? days ago, they were having a conversation on the market burning. One man made a statement about where is the evidence and, you know, they have shown him some people saying their their whatever has burnt and all that stuff. No, one man but, was saying no, let me let me finish. Let me finish market now. Burn and everywhere, let me finish every now. And he now said market burn anytime. They have not done a forensic to find out what happened. But the truth is that whatever when oh, 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 hold on, hold on, Death. You keep you keep saying people interject you. It's only because you paint uh, a that conversation. I, I said that uh, there's, there's no, it, it's not immediate to attribute it to arson. And then we okay. went on to have conversations around the fact that there were no health and safety systems within the Nigerian space. And yeah. the way people cobble, cobble up open wires, that spark instances, okay. and we That's cited several instances. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, but, but, but no, you said I said go and no, bring me I, the evidence. I, no, I said totally they different. didn't do My any forensic and, you know, 
it, that's what you just said. Um, because someone was saying that it was Arsenal. I think it's Joel of, Joel of Nashville. And you're saying no, no proof for that. Or not. But the thing is that there is no place or no, I've encountered fire in the market. So I, mean, I live in Onitsha. So that's so obvious. If, even if even in a house, one man, if a house born, they already know what happened. It's that Nigeria has that, no, nothing, as in if you see where something is burning, ask people around. They already, they already know what's going on. Can I interject? There. Sorry. Oh, fine. Just on what one more now, you. So, um, well, good day, everybody. Um, I don't go into, there's a couple of things I want to address and what's been going on in the past couple of hours I've been listening to, but let me not even go there. Let me just address the immediate thing one month. So one month, I think the uh, the whole thing that disturbs people's sensibility, and I don't know if uh, as someone that is in Lagos, uh, as someone that is in Lagos right now, it is it gets to me even more because I'm experiencing it firsthand. Not to talk of maybe others that are outside that are hearing it from their loved ones. But one month it is happening. These markets that you used to gaslight, do you know that thugs, some people call them Yoruba people. Me, as I always maintain on this platform, I call them APC thugs. Because some of them could be Igbo. Some of them could be Calabar. They are APC thugs. Uh, how, how, many markets, so, how many markets have been burnt in Lagos? Not less than not less than four, not less than four. Oh, 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 what time in a couple period? of weeks. Oh, 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 post the election. Y yes, post pre elections. We 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 played a clip yesterday of a warehouse being burned. Uh, uh, that uh, uh, that that's nothing to do with the you know just to highlight. No, no, that, no, no. Yeah. See, see, see the difference one month, and I what what I'm about to say now. I can provide you clips to back it up. Most of the markets that were burnt, including the spare parts markets in Lagos, most of them were not burnt. Uh, they, they didn't just get up and see them burnt. Most of them, they were threatened that if they do certain things, certain things is going to happen. And when they feel that you guys have done it, those certain things they do, they say, it goes ahead to happen the next day. So these guys, when you listen to them, I'm, I'm coming one more. When you listen to them address this, the press, they say they told us they would burn down our shops, and they did it. We came down, and our shops are down. They told us they would do this, and we will suffer for what we did, and they're going to frustrate others. Of <clears throat> one man, you know that yesterday. Did, did, did they tell did, 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 when they're addressing the press? Did they tell uh, the press what the police response was when they lodged the complaint that they were being threatened? One man, one man. We know who the police answers to in Lagos. Now, let me tell you uh, what uh, I wanted uh, to say uh, before. No, no, no. Ho, 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 hold on now. Uh, you, you said they said they were threatened, and then subsequently that threat came to pass. So, so the sequence of order will be: once the threat is made, they report to the police, and then after the threat is made, then they are able to identify the people who made the threat. So, did that sequence follow? Okay, one man. You 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 actually took me. To where i was heading to now right all of these things that happens get complained to the police but you know the problem lego state government the only time they have gotten so close to showing any concern was the one that happened days to the governorship election which, which someone had to go there and start laying blocks now some have happened after governorship election nobody saw someone there now yesterday a shop in lagos were dominated by certain region of this country was all that was closed down the gate was closed and, like, and i have the video too the gate was closed by the local government chairman there was no nothing was no memo was sent to them no the reason saying there is uh, there, there is a maintenance in this market or don't come to shop tomorrow nothing people turned up for for, for work in the morning and the market today was closed they were asking the talks what is wrong is in order from local government chairman i have the video people are saying they promised us in this market that if we vote a certain way they're going to frustrate us they will leave lagos they were saying in the videos now they're showing see market closed why no reason nobody's giving offering so and lagos state government is not standing up to it 
Meaning that these things that they sanction when, 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 the market, when, 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 when the market is closed, there are often instances, notices on the gates, or, or when the press. So, what notice was placed on the gates to say? Yeah. And also, outside of the southeastern spaces that, that uh, suffered fire, has any other space that was not predominantly southeastern suffered fire uh, post the election? Woman, what you're doing is gaslighting. Oh, what's and your I'm going to call you out. I, I am, I, I am respectfully, gaslighting. Respectfully. I because... am gaslighting. Yes, why I tell do you, know, you. Do you know what gaslighting gas, do do you know, do you know gas means? Let me do you know, let me explain yeah. to you respectfully. Let me, respect, let me explain to you. When I wanted to, what I wanted to address is what APC is doing in Lagos against a certain tribe. Now does not mean that. No, 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 no. You, have, you have to. No, no. Markets. Hold on. You have to. Is, no, no. Is, hold on. You have to. No, no. You have to establish the parameters for that comment before you're able to land it. So is the you, before you are able to make that statement. You have to establish the parameters for it and this the parameters that you're still trying to establish so i'm asking you uh what how many fire incidents are uh, happened in lagos post the election and how many of them happened in a predominantly southeastern space most woman 80 to 85 percent of so i don't know so, so so i don't know if you don't know don't make it up no, 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 no. I'm, I'm telling you what I know. I don't have to tell right. you I don't know. Right. One man, if you know how I am following things, you will know that I don't come to blab on, on national platforms or international platforms. You know me already. Because, because, see, this thing that is happening, see, I have my, I don't know, this whole gaslighting is driving me crazy. I talk to Keke people. I talk to thugs on the street. I know what's going on in Lagos. And it is very unbearable for people to come on international platform and gaslight it and pretend that they don't know what is going on in Lagos. And it's very shameful. APC needs to... And, get, and let, me, let me state it again. This, there is no problem between Yorubas and Igbos in as much as they are trying so much to push that narrative. Majority of my friends in Lagos are Yorubas. A lot of them hate Tinibu more than I am. Sometimes I find myself defending Tinibu sometimes, and they are, they are disgusted about it. And they are Yorubas, and I'm Igbo. It has nothing to do with Yoruba versus Igbo. It has oh, 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 to do with oh, 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 all right. We, we, we must move away from this. Um, okay, let, yeah. let me just, let me just conclude what I'm saying. It has everything to do with question. a party that believes the only way they can hold power is by dividing Nigerians across ethnic lines and inciting some some thugs in uh, some Yorubas that are vulnerable, telling them that their problem is not Tinibu, their problem is not bad oh, oh, that their oh, problem oh, oh, is Tinibu. Oh, 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 all right. So, so those, 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 what you just said then, that is a playtime subjective view, which is entitled to, it's not one that I endorse, but it certainly is right to express it. So, so we, we must just move on. It's just getting, it's getting quite a, uh, it's too what, much. What, 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 what I'm, about, I'm about to leave. Let me just say this thing real quick. And, well, but don't, uh, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, 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 don't stoke any more ethnic something, though, because I am not, I'm that, not going, yeah. I'm not going, I'm not going to stoke any ethnic stuff, but I'm going to tell you the truth. One man, you need to pay attention to what is happening to the Southeasterners in Lagos State. Make it a topic. Make it a point of duty. As you go out to get out, get information out there. Go and see what is going on. Because, you see, easy to be on, on this other side saying that it does not affect me. What is going on in Lagos State today? When it starts, it's not going to be fine for anybody. One man, I am not telling you what to do on your show. I'm not going to tell you the topic. But what I'm just telling you is this. Please, because you always try. I brought up this issue. This issue uh, uh, often just raised up. And you brush it aside. You say it is ethnic. If somebody attack me, you say it is not ethnic. I don't know how you want me to do. If I say, if somebody beat me, I cry. You say, why do I cry? If, if you ask me somebody that beat me, I tell you somebody that beat me. You say, I'm tribal. That is the point. One man, please. You, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But I don't know. I'm not going to pinpoint anything on it. But I think you are being so dismissive. 
about the flight. Uh, no, no, I, 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 I am yeah, not being this. I, I, I am so not. No, no, hold, hold on, oh, hold on, because you make all this, uh, uh, all these sort of things. Mm -hmm. I, I am not. I'm, I'm not dismissive of an, a, anything. Uh, what, what you will notice is that. Um, now, what I'm trying to do, uh, which I hope you notice, I'm trying to penetrate the facts uh, as what stands as subst substance. Because the whole space is charged. Uh, uh, okay, if you don't you want have, to hear, you, then. You, uh, you have the information, one man. You which have information? The information? You have the access to this information. If you do not have oh, access oh, oh, okay. to oh, oh, Okay, let, 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 me, let, me, let, 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 let me let me give you an example. A, a, a previous conversation Con on, on the. On the oh, oh. Oh, who's that? So a previous conversation on this platform, uh, st still the same sort of narrative that, oh, every everywhere is a flame and people are being targeted and all oh, whatnot, and people are being killed. So so we then said, said to the person that brought that narrative, okay, how many people have been uh, 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 lost their lives yeah, in Lagos? Uh, so, so who's that? Can you mute yourself? Because we are, we are feeding back. Um, we, we asked the guy, how many people have lost their lives in Lagos? He, he couldn't give us an answer. He said maybe one or two. But the way he was building up, just in the tone and texture that you use, he was building up to that, that everybody is aflame and people are slaughtering each other on the streets. So, so no. I, I, I don't know to the contrary, okay. but, but no. oh, hold on, hold on. Then, I, then, then, I, then, then we interrogated him that... Okay, how many incidents of this are? I say, oh, are you not aware? Did that? No, no. And then you try to nail him down, and he couldn't. He said maybe one or two. So, 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 and then, and then I am being accused of gaslighting. Is that not what gaslighting is? You know, and, to, to and, try, and, we try to penetrate and establish the fact, okay, okay, and, and, okay, you, and, you, and you and you and you get rallied on and, and my, riled against. Okay, okay. What my, my my own point is this one man that most times you go out there, you, you go out of your way to get information from sources. Sahara reporters, channels, you have done it here, you play it for a lot for the longest. These videos are out there, these clips are out there on this some major media. Can I don't, I, no, no, I, I, I scour the media space every day. There's not an abundance of any of these things. I don't see them all. I, I'm, sure you, can, I I'm sure you can send it to me, but it's, there's, it's not what dominates the, the media space. It, it's, not, yeah. it's, not, it's, not, it's not anything that is, that is in circle. The narrative around this is, is charged up, but the substance of what underpins that narrative is, is very flaky. This yeah, is what we're finding. They don't have the, because, because they don't have the media. If, if one shop, if one shop, a shopping complex, where any where let me use this word where your bus are, 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 are trading got locked up without no reason one man everywhere will be will be carrying it Why? of course of course, of course not course. so oh, what oh, i'm oh, trying to who, say is who, this who, who, who keeps muting themselves and echoing back i don't i don't oh, know oh, i don't know who's doing that no 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 but what you're saying is not actually factual as well because it it's is. A, uh, no it's not it is not if a it market it, no, if it, it is not, if a if a market gets shut down in, in, in Lagos, which I'm sure it, it gets done routinely for whatever administrative purposes, it's it's it is not a newsworthy thing, it's just an administrative process. The only time that he it gets it gets to the news is when an ethnic ethnic coloration is being inferred. So that's why I invited that question from uptown. That okay. in Lagos, uh, in Lagos, post the elections, how many how many markets have been burnt, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? How many houses have gone okay. ablaze? Yesterday, we play, we showed a, 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 a warehouse being burnt there that was not dominated by 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 people of a certain region. If that warehouse had belonged to somebody of a certain region, it, it would be uh, it will have an ethnic inflection. So that's the point. Okay, can, 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 uh, okay now let, 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 let me let me answer your question, one man. The issue here that we're talking about is this. We have seen it happen and it is in the news. Mm. The reason why I don't send it to you is this. Whenever I send you stuff, you don't play it. I have sent you, if you go to your Instagram, I have sent you countless number of things. Then I stop sending to you because you never play it. And then if I send it to you and I say, one man, there's a video I sent to you on this platform, you just say it. You say, oh, you dismiss it. It is very dismissive of you to do so. But what do I do? I just come and I make my, my statement and I go. The issue there is this. If you want the clips, I can send it to you so that you can deliberate it, even if it's one person that is seeing it. 
let them see it because it is real. Those people I saw this morning, they didn't just go out to the market and just start making video. You will see it. I have sold in the market before. If they want to close the market, there's no reason why they even close the market if it's not for sanitation. And they will tell you the time time within time. They don't even close the market except for Sundays. So why should people come on? You have a group of over three, four hundred people out there coming to a market. No sign on the gate, no nothing. We have to be careful of the oh. kind of politics we play. That is my own thing, one man. I'm right. going to send you the clips if you want to. If you do not want to, it's still okay. If you still want to be dismissive as usual, it's all right. But I will still come on this show until I am booted out to come and say the truth. Hey, you are and never I, going to be booted out. Certainly, the, the only um, thing that will get I, you booted out, put it out is foul language, you know? No, I know, but I, I always come here to say the truth one man because the thing there is that I want Nigeria to work. I don't know about you guys. So um, if this thing is coming up, look at the kind of propaganda we are seeing today. So if this is what Tinibu is bringing... Yeah, you're talk, talk yeah, yeah, talking about propaganda. It, it, uh, so, sorry, Thomas, can, you, okay. can you give me a moment? Um, so you're talking about propaganda. Is that not what you've just done for the last 30 minutes or so to propagandize? No, there's no propaganda, there's not, there's not propaganda there. It is free. What I'm telling you is free. It's there on the streets. I am not telling you, I am not coming here oh, to tell oh, you right. what is not happening. So one man, a, a propaganda is, you know, a, a, a posting out something that they did not happen. What I am telling you is what happened. But it's just that because you are, like I said, dismissive about what I say. I, I'm not, I'm not dismissive to about I, I'm not, I, 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 I'm not dismissive about anything, but I don't take the same leap that you do. I don't take the same okay. leap. No, no, okay. listen, no, okay. no, 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 listen, I don't take the same leap that you do. So if something happened, this was, you're still bringing me back to what I said to Uptown, uh, that how many incidents of several incidents that happen in Lagos uh, but if it happens to so who's that now? So if it happens to a certain ethnicity, then it takes an ethnic coloration. But it happens the countless fire incidents in Lagos pre and post the elections. But oh, if it happens, so sorry, um, it's countless uh, fire incidents uh, in Lagos pre and post the elections, which is a sign of bad governance and lack of management and. So all of that's a separate narrative. But if it happens, if those fire, if that fire just by happenstance happens to a particular uh, section of the country in the gene self, then it takes an ethnic coloration. So the, the only thing that ethnicizes is if it's established that it is ethnic. So the fire in itself engulfing a, a, a place owned by an, a particular ethnic stuff, the fire engulfing it is not in itself an ethnic act. If, if the only thing that ethnicizes is if it's established, maybe not even in fact, but in terms of the build up to it, or if it's ethnic in in in, in, the, in the way it presents, then it's ethnic in the way it presents. But a fire engulfing the space owned by an ethnic uh, space is not in itself an ethnic thing because fire engulfs okay. all over Lagos. Do, do you see the point? Okay. Okay, I, I see. I see your point, but one man, uh, you know, you've always asked. So, so, us, so if, if fire, that, but if fire burns down oh. an eagle shop, it's not an, it's not automatically a local. They after us again. No, unless no. you are able to establish that that is that is indeed the case. So, so, so that's okay. just it. Is, 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 is that not, is, is that not a, a reasonable base to assess? Is, have I said anything unreasonable? Please. Let, 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 me, let me just round up then i will just leave the space for you and uh, one man what the process you said what you said was the reasonable thing to do but the thing that you failed to do is that you see you you forget in a situation like nigeria where the government seems to turn a blind eye to the plight of the people then you can be able to stay yes because prior to the election People, people, people threatened. So it's the question of the wish, the wish cries at the night and the shadows in the morning. So we can, we can, we can uh, 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 try to douse this. You are asking me about the market that oh, was oh, oh, Okay, how, 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 how do we, how do we but douse you know, it? How, how do you no, douse it? Because no, your no, language, no, is, no, your, your language is inflammatory and, and uptown and, 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 and Desmond as well. Your moment. language is inflammatory. Is is the truth. No, the best one way, moment, the, the best way to solve this issue, the best way to solve this issue is by talking.
Uh, by not ethnicizing every every incident. Uh, 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 is that a good starting uh, uh, point? Woman, no, no, woman, not woman. ethnicizing every incident. Woman, 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 can, woman. Look, can, let me tell you something. Interject, the woman. issue, yeah, the issue, uh, come, come in, Ajan Lekoko. Yeah, let Ajan Lekoko come in. The question I want to ask is: Is this the first time that we have had had a violent incident that? Uh, affected the um, way people, people occupy uh, as um, um, uh, places. Is this the first time that we that have had an incident in Lagos? As no, it it's not the first time. Hold on, hold on. It has happened in the past. It has happened in the past. Why was it not colored? or call them as an ethnic cleansing. Because now, because of this fire incident that just happened, this time of election, election that was, uh, you know, we, we, too much tribal connotation and too much uh, ethnic, uh, uh, you know, reflection and everything that you want to mention. Why now? Why now? Is it is been described as ethnic cleansing. Various fire incidents has happened in the past. Nobody said Yoruba want Yorubas are killing us, Yoruba doesn't want us, Yoruba are sending talks to kill us. Why now? That is my question. Why now? Can, 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 talks, no Yoruba. We, we need okay, to get we, this, we, this, we this, have this, never said We have never said Yoruba. It is ABC. And it is very, very clear in the way we make our statement. Because prior to the election, we saw these threats. This threat is everywhere. You cannot say you did but not see it on you Twitter. Mean, what threat did you see before the election? Which threat? Who threatened? Oh, no, MC oh, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, please. Ma, 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 do. And um, 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 please, uh, please, uh, uh, one man, please. Let, 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 we had a case of MC, MC, MC Lomo. We had the one of uh, 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 that is something that was in Sudlery in Amumud of it. We have seen many cases of people that you saw on the on the uh, ballot in our the, the ballot in telling people in our telling people in our in, our, in, our, in our, telling people not to vote or if you are from here don't come in. It was there. So the uh, the other the Adani lady said she was beating up. Because they thought she was evil. So please, let's okay, let's hold let's, on, hold okay, on. Okay, you have just mentioned some, you know, some threats by some, okay. uh, some some Oluomo and some other people against some people now. Mm -hmm. What of some video that we watched too that we had some Easterners saying they have to take Lagos, that Lagos we have to go and take it if they don't. If they mess up, we have to burn down Lagos. There are various videos. Where, where is where is the video? I did not go. I did not go. I did not go. I did not go. See, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You have not watched. You, ABC, you have never ABC, watched. ABC, look, look, look. Video, after this OB, audio, when people were threatening that, oh, Lagos must be burned down. Where is their faces? Where are their faces? Watch that. Eh? Where are their faces? Bring it up. Bring the video. I challenge you. Bring the video. We video. We just mentioned uh, names. We expect you to mention no, names as well. Mention names. We expect mention names as well. Mr. A, Mr. B, Mr. C. Us. What I just want yeah, to advise. On, what I just want to advise everybody: Don't allow this election to consume. The election has gone. Who have won? That won in various places in Nigeria or be one presidential in, in, in Lagos. If they want governorship in Lagos. So the one in various candidates won in various places. Election has gone. Why are we trying to hyper and continue to divide ourselves along any ethnic line over nothing? Emotional driven. Mama, eh? you, you know what inflames emotional people driven is? nonsense that we all know. Sir, 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 
press online, come and fight for for what does does it worth it? It doesn't worth it. All this that you know. It, no. What, no, no, what, sir. You are being dismissive. You are being dismissive. See, sir. What are we if, trying to achieve here? No, 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 all sir. See, all, yeah. this, if, all this, all this noise. What is he going to achieve? We no, have don't authority call it noise to now. This is this, oh, is, this is reality, speak. sir. You Why guys are noise. Let me speak. Let me speak. Have I have I spoke? I've been listening to you guys for hours. Let me speak. For God's sake. What are we trying to what are we trying to achieve with this? What are we trying to achieve? We cannot achieve anything. We cannot achieve anything going after each other, trying to destroy each other, trying to fuel. I mean, I, I don't I don't I don't get it. Election has come and gone. Let's forget about it. Somebody has won. Another person taking that person that won to court. Let's wait and see what is going to happen at the, at the law court. What is it? What, who, who, is, who, is, who, is, who, is, who is carrying out ethnic cleansing against another? Some, some people will say, oh, they are trying to commit genocide. Is that not what that ends in? Trying to say, well, let's go and invite um, uh, uh, IPOB to come and defend and fight for us. I mean, we should, we, we should just stop this and let's move on one more. Let us forget about yeah, this. Let me, all this okay. action. One more, let me just go. Let me, let me shift the discussion away from oh, 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 you, you know, but that space, we have to tackle it at some point, you know, uh, because uh, um, um, what can I use the term uh, gaslighting? I'm not quite sure if it has a full understanding of, but if, if there is gaslighting going on, about uh, who exactly is lighting that gas, we will address that at some point. But let's hear, we, let's hear from you first. Yeah, so um, I was asked before that uh, is Lagos a Yoruba land, so... Mm. I've told you guys that the Yorubas make up the majority. So I would um, see it as a Yoruba land. But that does not mean we don't have other ethnic minority who are indigenous to Lagos due to, you know, um, which has even affected the naming of some popular places in Lagos. Ojueleba, Aja. So all those places, they are of foreign origin. They are of a origin or origin. So that's what I just want to say. Uh, also, too, um, we have some of our people who, when they speak their Yoruba, they have a very funny uh, intonation when they speak their Yoruba. So for somebody who is a Yoruba from other Western state, he will even directly call the person, ah, this one is not Yoruba, which type of Yoruba is this one speaking, you know? And all this uh, Yoruba type of thoughts. So the other one I wanted to say was, Republic of Benin, is it a Yoruba land or a Negu land? The general notion is, you see, and Negu land because uh, are they are they are they Egons? are they derivatives of the Yoruba stock? Or what no, they are derivatives of the Dahomey people stock. They are not they're not Yoruba. Uh, if I wanted to call you yesterday, I had a meeting with some of your people, your trans people, but I don't know which fa uh, family that they are. Uh, we spoke for a long time, but if I continue, I'll call you and let's talk. Egu are not um, Egu people are not from uh, Yoruba at all, nothing close, no relation. But we'll yeah, talk so, later. Yeah, so um why I know that is there's always this song that you I was called Yoruba say Yoruba Jackie sorry Egun Jackie Yoruba Mozambeto Amo Yoruba Jackie Egumo Uru. So those ones is like there is a, a type of masquerade the Egun people are known for, and even if you are initiated to it. Any community of 
with people, you can easily be accepted to it, you know. From here to Ghana to Togo, down to uh, what's it called to Syria alone. If you're initiated into that Zangbeto court, if you understand it, you'll be easily accepted. Did, did you not promise to research it so we can do some sort of documentary on it? Well, man, yeah, I'm working on it. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll fix a day for it. Or you give me the time, you know? Because one thing is, you see, if not for amalgamation and uh, the way West Africa was partitioned, we have one of the richest culture you can think of in the sub-Saharan Africa. But unfortunately for us, I, I want to believe the mistake we did was when the white, when the Europeans were leaving, we did not project our language. If we had projected our language, we would have gone far, 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 far. We would have developed far, far, far better than what we are having today. And it would have helped us to appreciate our culture more, you know, because um, okay, let's look at Republic of Benin and Ghana, for example. Nigeria that even ought to be um, a, a hub for the diaspora, uh, Cuba, uh, Americans, um, uh, Jamaicans, Caribbean islands, that needs to even create a, 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 let's say, even a ministry to... to to let these people come back, to come and see their culture, is Ghana and Republic of Benin that is only benefiting from it. For example, in Republic of Benin, they have what's it called? They have Odunde, where everybody, even in Brazil, everybody come to Republic yes, of Benin. Yes, I've been, I've been watching some document, some clips yeah. on that. Uh, that they would do there. is, um, yes, mainly Brazilians come, yeah. Yeah, which is which is even a national holiday there. Every American now is going to... That, that, that to is the Ghana. official, that's the official religion of that country, isn't it? Yes, the, the official religion. Even, it was American, black Americans are going to Ghana, whereby even most of the black Americans and Jamaicans are from the what you call today maybe South South, South East, Ibo, everybody in that part, you know. They should be coming to those places, but because we are not projecting ourselves properly, we are losing all these things. And I want to call it English and English madness, all this English madness we are taking, whereby we created a society where if you cannot speak English, you are looked down. If you are not speaking, uh, even your English is not polished, this British type of English, you are looked down. And funny enough, some people even come in space of one week, they start creating some British accent. When I see those people, I just look at them in some type of way, manner, you know. So these are the things that I really like. The question is how how far how deep you want to go into the cultural space. But there are still some cultural space if you look at it, it does not go against either your Christian or your Islam norm, you know, because culture defines your your the way you interact with people. Culture defines the way you address your elders, your clothing, um, how you should even walk, how you should talk, how you should sit down, how you should serve people food, what you should say in company of elderly people. This is culture. And these are the things we are losing. Even culture even defines what should be a taboo. There are some things that are known now if you are not careful, the what's it called? These countries that we find ourselves are pushing it on our people because first they see us as an inferior person. For example, we are here. Let's say the southwest all of a sudden start using. Sorry, what piece? I want to I want to uh, poke at you a little. Let's say all of the southwest all of a sudden start using a new language as was it as our um, official language? 
how would an Edo man see everybody in the Southwest? Or let's say the same thing. Everybody in the Southeast now adopts Yoruba as the official language of the Southeast. How would the Yoruba man see the person from Southeast? That is the same way the Europeans who we have adopted their language over our own language are seeing us. And that's why no matter the type of education you have if a, in Nigeria, sorry, to sorry to interject. Yeah. That's the yeah, problem we are having. That's the problem we are having in that three geopolitical zone, Wazobia. They all, the set of the Igbos, Ibonized all the people down there. The set in the southwest, uh, Yoruba, Yorubanized everybody in, in that area. In the north, they use Fulani, that is Hausa, to Hausanize everybody. Now, that is bringing a big problem to Nigeria right now. That's the problem we are having. In this country, if everybody can speak their language, their language, and they decide to speak their language for communication and business, that will bring a lot of peace. But by by forcing your language on people, that that your must that they must speak that, and after ten or twenty years, you start calling those people your people, then yeah, there will be problem, and that's the problem we are saying. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, so we have to understand that's why whatever type of skills we take from our space, they still want to retrain us. Even if you know something at times at workspace, you have to pretend as if you don't know, let them say whatever they want to say, then you still do it your own way because we have not um, modified whatever the school of thought or knowledge base of the world into what should suit us as a people to help our people develop and that's why we don't have segregation in our communities if i go back to my community and I start speaking english maybe some people will just say oh this one is above us meanwhile it's just a way for me to just communicate we are the same thing because at the end of the day if you look at it the person building your house in Nigeria most likely may not have a university degree. Um, the person running your farm for you most likely you are not as educated as she. He may not be as educated as you are, but they are productive people. They are productive people. And that's why I'm of this school of thought that we need to look into our education system and get things right. It's not too late to get is things it right. actually education? I've, I, I don't think education is a problem, to be honest with you. I used to think it was, but um, right now, I, I, I really have changed my Okay, let me, of let me tell you why I said, let me give you my I, own uh, what's the ideology of what education should be. You see all these go to school, um, give people comprehension passage in 1972 when sonia basha went to this school he was 25 years old now the comprehension passage will tell you how old was sonia basha in 1970 you just say 75 years old have you seen the comprehension passage of students in england before how they ask them question they ask them question on reflective reasoning for example, you say, let's say passage here in the UK, we could talk about uh, Ruben is a farmer who deals in cow businesses. The question we ask them, can you paint what Ruben does? If you, if you answer as Ruben is a farmer, no, you get it wrong. Now you have to explain uh, this most likely the way you go about it. Ruben most likely lives in oh, 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 all right i think you are intellectualizing be, be, uh, beyond our uh, listener base no 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 woman uh, just get it just uh, get it no uh, uh, what is so low but uh bring it up okay yeah ruben yeah. is a farmer his cow will likely be used as beef so you have to you have to you have to you have to give reflexive reasoning to what we are doing and that's why most times, instead of adopting that type of system, you have families who were into blacksmiths before doing very fine. That was what their parents did. 
all of a sudden, these people, they went to the university system. They could not practicalize what they are doing because they did not indigenize the education system to suit the communities we grew up in. So I, I really want to see that again, if it's oh, possible oh. to get it. Oh. Oh, all right, brilliant. Oh, all right, thank you, Fair. So, so, so that's uh, that's something to reflect on. Uh, so, all so right, back to you. We'll go to the next question. Oh, 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 all right. Talk to talk to us about a uh, blessing CEO. So that's your area of specialty. Uh, how come she has been arrested? What she what's going on with blessing CEO? Area of my expertise. I don't even know who is blessing CEO. Uh, are you not like a show business sort of a uh, um, Instagram follower type of? Ha. Babe, no, babe, babe, something not, or the other. I'm not a social. I'm not. You, you hardly see me on social media, one man. You? Uh, did I not see you play the piano and and uh, drinking brandy I mean, all over and showing off <laughs> all over social media? I, I wasn't showing off. That was actually uh, my, before you see me. If I oh, pretending to, to, no, pretend no, to play the piano, pretending to play the piano. I know how to play piano, one man. But if 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 I show you the full clip of that video, my brother was videoing me, and at the end I said, "Don't post." I actually tell him not not to post because I'm not a very, I don't know how to say it, but anyway um i don't know who that is one man so i can't really comment on it but i'll go to the police matter of uh the the Bolanle, uh, uh yeah Omar Bolanle, Arahim. Omar Bolanle, Rahim. um i do hope the the police guy or whoever whatever his name is get uh, at least something massive something uh probably that was getting 40 years plus you know because what he did is more like I, I don't know i don't know i'm not in the realm of law or whatever I, I know his mother but i don't know if it's a second degree or first degree um but he should be sentenced at least 30 40 years so that a lot of people will learn i mean the police system needs some kind of reform because this this has been going on for a long long time i, I told you the story of uh, a, a police guy stopping me almost telling me he will shoot me if I don't show him show him my phone. I sh I, that was then, you know? I mean, if you argue too much, they can probably shoot you there. You just have to comply and, you know, show him the phone. Before you know it, they don't they tell you go to follow me. Is, is that not an argument for state policing, though? Because with state policing, there's more accountability. Somebody that shoots you now, they can just redeploy him to Borno, and that's the end of the matter. That's the oh, end, yeah, yes. yeah. Yes, that, I mean, that's why I'm saying, um, even if Bola Tinibu gets in there, we, the people need to check a lot of stuff. There are so many things that we need to check. Meet. The House of, uh, the Senators need to pass into law. They really need it. If they, if they don't want to, let this protest, that's why I want those protests to kind of deviate towards, one, they have to start calling for the the next election to go um in such a to remove that clause that that it says that um i next should do whatever they want or whatever uh you know they should find a way and call for there, there, there's no clause there's no clause that says i next should do whatever they want yeah i mean that's the argument about um the the whether they should be able to post uh uh to irf on, on live you know at the at the post you know, at the at the unit or the post or whatever you know that's the argument that you guys are saying um in the guy who, who's you who, who's you guys i mean you said it here akolata yeah. said it here um i think uh, Allah, uh, uh when he said it that uh, he says that INEC in that law can do whatever they want and they see fit and they should be able to call for that, to remove that clause or whatever it is in there, and make it mandatory right now, before before in the next make make what the, make 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 what mandatory uploading, uploading the the results. Yeah, yeah but the, the uploading uh, uploading the results is mandatory. If it, if it is, then then you're automatically saying that P2B is about to win the case. 
So no, but but the results are uploaded. Like, did, have no, we not it, seen that no, on this no, platform? It, it, it wasn't uploaded. So let's let's just I, I, do. Do you want us to go? Oh, 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 hold oh, it. Do you want us to go to the IREP, uh, IREP now? Can you listen to me? I don't want propaganda, one man. Listen right. to me first. I, I yeah, but like what you are saying is not true, though. What you are saying is not true. What the I said, were, Yeah. Okay. Quick, one question: Was it uploaded at the polling unit, one man? Uh, but that's different from what you are saying. Thank you, you. you are, that is you, what no, I'm you, saying. No, yeah, no, but that's not. But it wasn't what you said. That maybe that was uh, what you meant, but it wasn't what you said. Uh, the results okay. are uploaded. You are saying it should be uploaded in real time. Is that in what real you're time. saying? That is what right. I'm saying. Right. Uh -huh. But that wasn't what you that, said. Uh, oh, that is hmm. what I was trying to say, though. If you didn't hear me, no problem. <laughs> I'm saying that they have to start now. I'm be protesting for the uh, legislatives to pass it into law. That it must be a law and is a must. So that's why I said they should remove that, whatever. I next saying that. They what what are, what other what, what other what other what legislature or legislation should they pass to to ensure that? To ensure that or to, to at this administration, I don't, I'm not sure what you mean. No, no, you are you are inviting that they must legislate that INEC must up, upload uh, results in real time from the polling unit. So uh, yeah. if. if INEC, if INEC has the intentions to do that, what other legislation should they pass in terms of the um, in terms of the telecom space for them to guarantee that? I mean, I think they should even go further and because Nigeria is a big country. If you can spend that much money, I don't see why. Um, does, does, does Nigeria have the penetration in telecoms to to, to pass that legislation? I mean, one man, like like they said, if you if you can like you if you take your picture on your phone and send to someone, if it doesn't upload because you don't have network, where you go to where network is, it's going to upload, right? Is that yeah, but that's time? not real. That's not real time, then, is it? I mean, it, it's it's basically it, it's it's not real time, but it, it's not more than more than forty eight hours. Oh, 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 all right. So, so, so that then, then, so, so, what? That's already in situation. No, it, it's not one man. If I would say majority of places in Nigeria has telecommunication, right? Who, who told you that? Majority of the vast swathe yeah, of Nigeria. I, I know, the majority, I know my, I know the majority of uh, no, your village. The majority of Nigeria does not have. Uh, I, I can show you clips. So there's a guy that travels around Nigeria. He can never get network. And if it gets network, is only uh, to some obscure provider that is very shaky. The majority of Nigeria does not have network. Network was never a problem to INEC. What was network. there a network? No, no, no. Ho, 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 hold on. Uh, if you are asking that they legislate for results to be uploaded in real time, then there has to be the facilitation for that to happen. No, the man, it doesn't matter. matter. Our oh, network, it's... our our telecommunication in Nigeria is very strong now. I don't think network is, is a problem. Network of that is not a problem, one man. Let me problem. say this. The problem, even if you say, okay, there's no network in some places, at least the places there is network, there mo is, it has to be a must. Do you understand? So, so, so they would disenfranchise the places it's, that don't have network? No, it's not about disenfranchise. Is, is this some sort one of man. apartheid? Are you asking for an apartheid no, law? One man. Uh, an apartheid no, legislation. No, man, it's not. It it should be if so, people like Kenya as remote as Kenya forget is. people like Kenya. Now we're talking about Nigeria. One man, I said Nigeria. Brother, is... there is nothing called real time. Okay, all this real time. Real time. Can we can we There's stop this? Real time. Can Doesn't we stop work. this? Let Let me say this. If INEC, if the brother, why are you always telling me stop it? Can you stop? Let this? me finish. You, now. you you interject you are, you are people. You're saying you that I'm not interjecting. This is my section. So calm down. It's been your sessions in the last five hours. Only no, you uh, have uh, 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 All right, bring it home so we can move the conversation on. That's what I tell you. Okay, I'm not getting you. I don't know. Oh, 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 all right, no, ca carry on, carry on. Don't don't get into the back and forth. We carry on. Yeah. One man, I'm saying is they have to remove that clause. If for a fact that if they put it there, it must be a must. They have to fight for it. I don't care what you say. If you don't have network, then no problem. Then election can be conducted another time. Even they said it. If there is no network, they can they can upload a whatever um, at the back server, whatever they call it. 
you know they have a system for that i don't know how divas work but, but, but that was that, that was exactly what played out it wasn't the totality of the of the um presidential election that was not uploaded it is the it was, it, it, oh my god it is the all right the whole, the whole presidential the whole presidential nobody can say that they saw something that was live nobody you can bring that proof if you have it but i don't i haven't seen any um like i was saying i, I don't even know i've lost my sense of thought but Nigeria, uh, what's it, what sense of thought you see your problem yeah, oh man i hate it when you do that i know you're trying to i know you're trying to dismiss be dismissive but it's fine i will always say what i have to say i don't feel i, I don't feel angry when you say that though, because i'm a very free person you know i know there are some people listening to me that's fine uh, no no what it's just it's just it's you, just banter it's just if banter you want, if you want banter i am I'm, I'm very capable to do that but it's fine um uh the truth is that nigeria needs to work and I, I feel like nigeria has i, I feel like it's be, has been placed on course or, or whatever it, not to ever work I mean, just like uh, what was the name of this man, Sarowiwa, uh, before he died in 19, 1995, said, said um, Lord, Lord, take my soul, but the struggle continues. Him saying the struggle continues, it's more like a call showing us that this country is always going to struggle in all aspects. And we are trying to get that, that our struggle, you know, stop stop being in struggle for god damn long we have been in, we've been struggling for over how many years now and we can't even seem to get it right and we have to as a country and as a nation if you want to be together if you know not, you know I, there's only one you know there are only one set of country uh, so countries that are not in struggle everywhere else in the world is in strong is in some sort of a strife outside of the scandinavian space it's only those scandinavian people that 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 don't know. everybody has their struggles i i don't know i mean nobody has the struggle to for unity i would say i don't see a lot of country that has a, this sort of unity kind of struggle you know trying to nigeria trying does to not have a together. nigeria nigeria does not have a unity problem nigeria is a that very is, united country that is the deceive you tend to deceive yourself but it's fine you can deceive yourself as long as you want but to me to me, the way Ni I see Nigeria, it, Nigerians are the most patriotic to their to their flags, oh it, to their God. flag, even more than the Americans. Oh they are more God. patriotic to their flag than, <laughs> than the Americans. Yeah. Are you trying to be funny, one man? No, that's a statement yeah, of fact. I, I, yes. I don't want to use that word. That is that is a, that is that is a very very wrong statement, one man. As in t total, I don't even see one single Nigerian that can die for a, a Nigeria. I don't even see one. So don't say that we are patriotic. It, that's a that's a, a, a big lie, one man. But it's fine. It, it's okay if you want to continue lying to yourself. It's fine. I just if I'm saying if Nigeria can't work, and you think that is you 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 have more alliance to your ethnic group, um, alliance to your ethnic group than you have for Nigeria, then it's is a clear. You know, it's a clear thing to say that Nigeria will never work if that keeps happening. If that keeps happening, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, um, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry I'll, just, I, I, I'll just say this and then we'll move the conversation to someone else. You know, in the United Kingdom, it, it's comprises or it's composes of uh, four different countries. Uh, there's, uh, there's Northern Ireland, there is Wales, there is Scotland, and then there is England. So all of those composing uh, um, nations unto themselves, all of those composing ethnic nations unto themselves, uh, maybe outside, maybe so, not so much the English, but the Scottish man sees himself first as a Scotsman, a, a ditto Irish, ditto Welsh. They take primary pride in their ethnicity, but they take a wider pride in their Britishness. So I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I just said, I just said, if you identify more, like you just you just con uh, no but that's what i just like said they ident they identified more as scot as being scottish irish and welsh but they still more take pride in Brit yes more than they identify as a as a uk yes of course 
Well, I don't. I don't live. Have you? Have you? Have you never met a Scotsman? Have you? Have you ever met a Scotsman? I don't live there. I don't live there. But in America that I live, people take the utmost pride of saying I'm an American. No, no, America is an artificial. America, America is an artificial construct. America is America is a is a. But no, hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. I, 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 there are no indigenous Americans outside of the Native American. So, so you are just is a is a is an oh, experimental oh, country. I, I don't. I, what, what are you saying? It's, it's still a big nation that has so yes, many, yeah. so many people with so many dialect of you know English. I mean, if you go to Kentucky, they speak different. Yeah, but they are not indigenous. You know, they, they are not. They have no, their own they're culture. Not, yeah, but, but they are not indigenous to America. So that's why they can rally to the flag. I don't know about that. What I'm just saying is we, we we need to start, you know, being patriotic to Nigeria than patriotic to, before it can work. I'm just saying this. Before it can work, we need to start being patriotic, more patriotic to Nigeria than more patriotic to, than patriotic to uh, our ethnic groups. That's just what I have to say, Omar. Oh, all right, brilliant. Thank you. So let, let me move the conversation on and take it to Uptown. So Uptown, come into the conversation and pick it up from whichever point interests you. I don't want to ask questions. I just want to give you the chance to, to narrate uh, to the conversation. Uptown, are you still there? Oh, oh, all right. Let, uh, Uptown not immediately available. So uh, let's go to... Go so I can go, and go sleep oh, 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 Okay, let's come to you then. Uh, I forget that you are, you are, you are in Abuja. Yes, uh, co come into the conversation. I, I, I don't know quite why. You know, I was, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to bail out early today. And I was already thinking, oh, should I have a meal before I go to bed? But here we are now, uh, back where we always uh, uh, end up, uh, uh, the Igbos and the Yorubas. But our... Uh, uh, come into the conversation uh, and uh, take us through what your thoughts are, Emmanuel. Well, one man, I actually want to start from the the audio, though it's not part of the topic. But I just want to address the audio that you, 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 yes, daddy. Yes, the yes, daddy audio that you put out of uh, yesterday. You, 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 you know there are rules around that. If you want to come into the yes, daddy conversation, there are rules around that. So you have to abide yeah. by the rules. Uh, so, so, so oh, 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 hold on. Let me tell you what the rules are. So, this this is the rule of the Yes Daddy space. L O P. Yes, yes Daddy. O B. Yes, yes Daddy. O B one name. Thank you, Daddy. Okay, to you. Okay, one man. Thank you, Daddy. So, that's what we want <laughs> to <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. Sorry. Okay. So, this is why I said. APC are dividing Nigeria. And oh, don't 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 take us back one there. Man, let me talk. Oh. One man, oh, let oh, me talk. Oh, oh, let okay, me talk. Carry on. Let me go to the little of the what is happening in Nigeria. Hmm. Yes, APC. This is this is only thing they know how to do best to come and divide Nigeria. They use two things to divide Nigeria: religion and ethnicity. And they know how to play the game. Yeah. So they try to label P2B as, as uh, his campaigning on ethnic, uh, being the ethnic bigot and all that. They, he, they failed. Now they went and invade his privacy and twist, doctored his uh, conversation, which is against the law. Somebody's privacy, you invaded it, and you went there, out there, and uh, turned the narrative upside down and you circulated it so tell me this is the government that is coming to coming to rule nigeria 200 um, tourists Emmanuel, Emmanuel, sorry. Well, Thomas, let me finish, Thomas, let me finish. No, 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 no. don't go with that Thomas, narrative let no. me finish. hold on please i said you don't this is... okay no 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 uh, okay. so sorry oh, 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 hold on for, oh, hold on for thomas thomas come in and then and let him carry on uh sorry uh, yeah go to yes it. yeah Emmanuel, please we, we are not propagandizing here which side of the audio was doctored is he uh, where no, no, he no, it, it, it was, it was talking it through now. Let him talk it through, Thomas. Uh, yeah, uh, back oh, yeah. to Emmanuel. Yeah, sorry, so, carry on, Emmanuel. Yeah, they invaded his privacy, they leaked his video, and they doctored everything that the man said. Right. And I love the fact that he has not even come because he feels that 
this party, why are we even defending them? The party that fake bishops, the party that fake certificates, the party that fake age and all that. So why are we even giving them credit to come and be defending nonsense? So, but, but, but they put out a defense, did they not? Hold on. Finish. No, 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 you can't propagandize now. They put out a defense now. Did they not put out a defense? Well, man, I'm, I'm going to the defense now. And all of okay. you here, we are talking about this thing yesterday. And everybody was chanting. Everybody was chanting, saying that this and that, yes, that, yes, that, yes, that. The, have you seen where you're recording an audio and it started from ringing? Where can you prove that to me? Like an audio is recording and somebody is as in like a ringing phone and that phone is already recording. So how does that work? We are, I'm in ICT. So you tell me how you record an audio, you, you record somebody's voice when the person has not even picked. Your, is it that somebody is somewhere recording you or what? Do you want an answer or you are just but, landing? Wait, let me finish. But, but uh, Emmanuel, you are, you are talking from both sides of your mouth now. You are saying on one side, the doctor it. On the other side, you are saying... They, they recorded it. They recorded that it is fake. So I said... What, what, the, what are we I say, wait, wait, let, let me land. Because the statement that Obi made on, the, on, the, on, on that call, right, was clear. But what I'm, what I'm even pointing out is that the people that doctored it, we are so foolish that ordinary person can easily identify the wrong that was in that video. From the ringing tune alone, you will find out that this is badly uh, doctored. So aside that one, aside that one, so the, the part the court was that place he was saying um religious war if you hear how he said it it was all twisted and they just met even going into is that is it not criminal uh, 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 against the law that you went and invade somebody's privacy and it twists what the person say are you circulating in the public this is this is what apc are good at this is the party that is coming to rule Nigeria. This is party that we are, we, we want to stand on the mandates. Say we want to stand at the mandates they gave, they, they will give them. So what I'm saying now, are is you, that- Are you sure you gave them the mandate or they stole it? They, they stole it now? I, I, according to INEC, I, INEC gave them because we in Nigeria did not give them any mandate. Is INEC, or, you know, the one INEC gave them is one I'm talking about. Assistance now. It is INEC uh, elect, not Nigeria. We do not. We do not vote for him. Um, a man. Are, 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 are you are you sure if it is elect or select? Is it not select? Whether oh, select one man, or elect. One man. Can we one please man. interrogate a man? Please. No, no, uh, I just uh, want what to, uh, uh, okay, no, 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 no. One man, please. Yes, what let me I'm hearing contaminated. Yes, people we are hammering my ears. All of you were here yesterday. We are making yeah. mockery of the video. We are not even noticing all the all the error in the video. That the video is <laughs> Emmanuel, do you want to listen to us or do you want to speak by yourself? Please. Emmanuel, are you an engineer? Yeah. Are you an engineer? How do you how, how are you able to detect all the error in the video? I'm a software engineer. Oh, oh, you're yeah, a software engineer. Yes. Okay. So you what what is your stand now? You claim it's a fake video. Or what do you stand? Or it was doctor. Where, where, where do you stand? Where I stand, mm. right, is that it was badly doctored. Oh, okay. So it was real, but it was doctored. Yes. Okay. So which side of it did you notice as a soft engineer that was doctored? Yeah. The, 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 the area that we're doctored is where he said that what APC are doing, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, making Nigeria to see that the election is becoming a religious war. So they now twisted it to an extent that he said that this is religious war. And those yes, yes, that is that. Uh, 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 as, an as an original being, re re being released to that... Uh, one that, man. Uh, that one man. 
don't he, he don't even bother to to fact check but you brought it here yesterday and no, and no, all no, of I'm, you I'm, I'm, I'm asking you now as an original well, my reason, well, my reason that i have it i will not give it to you because all you right. don't even do your job you all just right. see something no, as you, you no, break no, it out hold on i'm not the only one not doing my job the whole of the media space released that clip so maybe the whole of the uh, it's okay, not only um, APC or, or Gazette. Uh, well, is, is Gazette, is it APC or uh, Labour Party, People's Gazette? So, so, so what are you going to call Gazette? Uh, it's, a, it's a Labour Party platform. Go, 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 go it, there now and you'll see the news. Uh, always has been. One man, the, the only thing I want to raise is anything you're bringing One to man, the public. Yeah, yeah let, 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 so, sorry, don't worry about don't, what don't, I don't, 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 Sorry. So I do mind. Don't don't worry about what I do or don't do. Let let me do as I will. But let her let her fatal interject. Yeah, one man. You have to uh, one man. Question. I want to speak. You don't even oh, let okay. me. Okay, uh, hold on now. Just one more. You are the moderator now. So let's hear from the 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 panelist instead, uh, Fatai. So one man, you have a very good question because he's saying that okay, APC said uh, the twisting and everything like that, and you have a very good question. As an engineer, right? You can't take one uh, uh, only this without a comparison to. So, what is the what? Uh, where is the original with which you compare to see that? Because you are accusing one man of not fact checking. So, for you to be able, how did you know that was a twisting? How uh, do you know? I, like I told you, yeah. even I have the original video of that stuff. I will no, not no, send I'm it not asking for the original. I'm just saying how do you know for the original? Was it do you bother to yes. do you bother to check the original yesterday before you you came here to talk trashed? I, I, is that is that supposed to be a serious question? You say you are an engineer I, exactly. and you have because discovered all that you that wanted all, 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 all you wanted wait, wait, to do is to me. Me. to be me. Excuse me. That's only thing that matters to you. As far excuse as you're concerned, you, you do you bother to check? Why would you, why should I go and check it? Check it for what? Of course, my job is check it. You you, you check what, what you want to do. Don't, don't bring you, that. Yes, you are the engineer. I have look, I see the video, I I I and I form my opinion on the video, right? Oh, your and opinion that you that is correct. Opinion. That can is your opinion. Uh, yeah, you don't need to accept it, but I can tell you my opinion. You have come here to claim that as an engineer, you have been able to discover that is a twist, right? So, and we are saying, okay, fine. How do you know that is a twist? It's a simple question. Did you uh, did you do a comparative analysis to the original? I only gave to, you one example. The... Even even from my first example, I already gave you that there is no way you can record a video from a ring from a start from ringing. It's no, not possible. there is a way. Then you are not an except engineer. You can record it from speaker phone. Wait, Ray, listen. Excuse me. Except, excuse me. Except, excuse listen, me. let me talk. Wait, let me talk. Except it has already been pre premeditated. What premeditated now? You, can do that. You, you take a phone, you have a phone, you put it on speaker phone, and the, somebody next to you is recording. So what Manuel, is complicated? Can I say something? Can I say something? Uh, one man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, please come in rational mind, and then after rational mind, um, add our hair. So, so, yeah. so we mix. I just want to say the... some certain things. Um, woman, first of all, um, uh, I don't know how many people you have as, um, as uh, moderator in the comments section. I have been noticing something. Yeah, 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 one of them. Yeah, one of I them. Know, I know, I know, I know. You gave me that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I've been noticing that anytime I. I, I I chat on the uh, in the chat. Somebody deletes my chat. Um, I've been noticing that recently. I don't know who, how many people you give that access to. You know, so uh, anytime like I chat, like I was asking you a question, can you send me a link? And I looked, the something is gone. Somebody deleted it. Yesterday was it yesterday? Somebody did the same thing. They kept deleting my uh, my comments. Mm -hmm. So this is this is this is this is at a, at a different I mean at a low level now, what is going on? That is that I just wanted to think about that and then ask those people who are more, who are the moderators there, who, who is that person doing that among them? That is that. Now another thing, what I want to say is uh, concerning what we're talking about. You see, um, I noticed something. Even on this platform, you can see the divide, the division that exists. 
on one hand, the Batified. They are all Yorubas for the most part, at least Yoruba speaking people. On the other side, the obedience. Mostly I would say, yeah, they are people who have the Igbo extraction. Can we see this divide? And when somebody tries to speak, the other people try to like stifle them. I see that uh, this constant interruption, when people, if you know it's a propaganda, you know, that's it. I mean, why must you always interrupt people when they are speaking? Allow them to learn their point. Now you can ask questions. Like uh, Des was saying that when you, you, you too much interrupt him, he lost his train of thought. We should, we should, we should, I mean, I mean, we, let us, let us learn to be accommodating. Yeah. Platforms like this are not, uh, I don't, I don't think it's because of under the purview of uh, NBC. Even though I know YouTube has their own regulation, but I mean, uh, people, people say certain things. If you don't like it, yeah, you can debunk it after they're done talking. But this constant interruption is, it doesn't, uh, doesn't really work. I mean, it doesn't really, uh, uh, it's not good. It's like we're starting to stifle people from talking. talking. Now, having said that, now let me go to the main issue I want to talk about concerning. I don't know if you guys listened to Arise this morning. I mean, some people can say Arise. So we can see spin it that way that Arise is, um, they are also um, um, APC, right? I mean, they are also um, um, labor, right? So the point is, there's a software that was used according to the report from Arise this morning to check on that uh, this very video that we talked about yesterday. And they said it was doctored. And uh, on the separate interview, no, they right? didn't say that. They didn't say that. They, they said, said go, go and try it now. So you can interject for time. Yeah, boy, you oh, take too many yeah. times now. You take long run, you embellish, embellish, and you don't stop. You rotate, 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 rotate. When is somebody going to be able to? I mean, you are no, 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 Fata, oh, you, you know, let's let's wow. stop this, let's stop this because sometimes you talk too for a long time. People, no, 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 you people about. never allow me to talk. You keep no, 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 don't say you people. Oh, you people see, can't allow, allow, you can't can you allow interject. me? Can you allow me, please? Can you allow me to speak, please? But you've been speaking for five, ten minutes now. Can like let me speak. Points you you're you. not the moderator. If the person will <laughs> moderate, oh, 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 all right, can, 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 no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, everybody. Yeah, rational mind carry on, but uh, you have to allow because that's just what we do here. You have to allow for somebody, somebody to either add on to or debunk something, but um, for the interjections, just interjection for uh, interject rather for a microsecond not then seize the moment uh, from the speaker or carry on rational mind. Please, oh, please all of us, let, let's calm down. This mm. whole thing is becoming too toxic. Because any people, when people just speak certain things, you just want to like jump on them. Come on. No, oh, oh, all right, carry on now, rational mind. So, my point is this. From what I heard this morning, they said I didn't hear it right. They said it was doctored. And then you know, there's a, in a separate interview... Yeah. So, oh, sorry, Rational oh, Mind, was that the Ruben Abati's uh, yeah, program? Yeah, the Ruben Abati. I, I, I watched that as well. I, I'm not sure they said it was doctor. They said it could be. Oh, maybe they said it could be. But then, mm -hmm. but then, um, according to the uh, another spokesperson of the Labour Party who came this morning, who came on this morning, he said totally it was fake. And he gave a reason. Yeah, but, but he, he, would say, he would say that, though, wouldn't he? One man, one man. You see, we, we can go on and talk and talk. I mean, yesterday when you brought this topic up, I, I never I never talk about it from the angle of uh, being talked out or fake. But I speak to the issues that were raised in that thing. But I knew that it was, in some ways, there must be some manipulation there. I just have that feeling that there's a manipulation there. But whatever it is, I thought whatever, that was why I didn't come from that angle until when it's proven that it's, it's really doctored. But then I think I heard, I don't know, maybe on Arise, that they've, they've, they've put that into some kind of test and they found out that it was it was doctored or it was fake. Now, fake in the sense, according to what this guy said from the, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, the Labour Party guy, he said, of course, some of those things were uh, the voice of this guy, but they caught and edit and joined them together. Hold on, hold on. I want to make sure it's the one that I was. Was it a northern guy called Umar? That something was like that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that. I, I, I saw that. Carry on. So it was caught, edited, and here, and then we joined it together. I mean, we've heard, we, we've seen, I mean, people, I mean, we've seen some statement by some people and how it was caught and edited, and then they make it look like it was part of the same thing that was being said at that time. But then, you see, 
I, I don't know. We we keep talking about these things, and we keep playing through the hands of this uh, this this this. Just imagine, just all of us, just look at the the vision here that we all have here. On one side, the Yoruba supporting their person, Igbo supporting their own person. That is what we're talking about. Let us just move on and talk about issues. We we'll have to always talk about this issue about uh, uh, this, this something. But for me, I see everybody being. Uh, every, I mean, every one of these politicians are equally guilty of everything you are trying to. You are trying to accuse this other person of doing. Tinubu is guilty of it. Every one of them is as well. Tinubu and the APC and Labour, they both are guilty of it. So why are we not pointing figure at one person and make it look like uh, it's the same thing? Why is it that it's at, this, at, this, at this same time when we know there's an election? I mean, there's, I mean, there's a, there's, a, there's a case in court. You see, one man, I, I just don't want to come into this, but that was why I've been quite quiet. But the way we sometimes we just interrupt people when they want to speak for me is just um, it's just way, way, way too much for me. One man. Um... Uh, all right, thank you. Uh, you of course are uh, inter interjecting, uh, Emmanuel, but uh, 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 it's, it's, yeah, yeah, come yeah. in there, uh, and then we come back to your fatai. So it's just to to have a different. Uh, it's all testosterone. Okay. So so let's have a bit of a uh, yeah. Come in there, yeah. Adam. Yeah, and I don't want anybody to interject, so I will not lose my line of thought. So, um, I'm speaking here not for or against anyone, but when I, and um, based on my training, I'm, I develop software programs, so I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of software too, so I know all of these things about AI and all. Sorry, can you speak up, can you speak up just a bit so we can hear you, Clara? Yeah, I said I have a lot of software to, you know, where I can do if I want to, I will I could do it. But just you know, looking at the video, this is to it, yeah. Um in the first place, yeah, there's no there's no um phone conversation that would start with um that there's no recorded that will start with a ringing tone, but you can try it with your phone. It will start from when it will start from when the, the person picks up but that's when it starts to record, right? So the ring you won't even that ringing, no, it's not. It's, it, that's one thing that I know. Apart from that, so that that is if it's being re oh, what's that? So that? That's if it's being recorded remotely, though. What you're describing is if it's being recorded remotely. But why you say recorded remotely? How do you mean recorded remotely? If like uh, somebody is tapping into the phone. That's that's if somebody yeah. is record recording it where the conversation is taking place, either side of the conversation, then they record it. Then that means there's a third party, right? So if there's a third party, then that means a law has been breached. So who is that third party? Yeah. So a conversation between two people, right? End to end conversation. If you want to record it, you can you can share with your phone. It will start the recording won't start when when it rings. It will start when the person picks it up. Right? So if somebody like what Fatai said and say that. If somebody is using the phone to record whatever, they don't need a third party involved. So who is that third party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said yesterday. I said there, uh -huh. a, there is a fifth column. It's recorded in the office of in this place where Peter B was speaking, and that convers that recording did not start with the ringing tone. There is a background. There is a back background. Uh, speaking, somebody speaking in the background before Peter B starts to speak. He starts so, with the ring. Don't finish it. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 we, no, 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 no. We, 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 we have it here. We have it here. We have it here. Let's just listen to 10, 10 seconds of it. Good morning, Daddy. Praise the Lord. How are you, sir? Before the ring 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 before the ring did you look closely? I said that you the ring ring from a start. There's no talk from that place. No, there, there, is, there is somebody yes, speaking. There is no the talk. Ringing. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, 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 okay, hold on. Good morning, Daddy. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. After, uh -huh. Before Peter B started to speak. Uh -huh. yeah, no, 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 hold on. We all heard that. But the phone was picked up before we heard that. So that could well be a conversation going on in the background of uh, whatever the, yeah. 
Thank you, one man. Uh, That's what no, I'm wait, saying. Let, let, let me ask you this time because he's fond of doing. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 hold on. Let, let, hold on. Let, let, hold on. Let, let, so, 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 it depends on the on the on the on the on the network. You know, they have different um, I mean, different um, ringtones, right? So the first thing I heard was there was no voice, right? Yeah, you know, I'm sorry, oh, I take that back. Before people, oh, 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 oh. is what I meant. No, just oh, to make no. the correction, I'm not. Like, oh, 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 all right, but, but it, it doesn't affect the fact. It doesn't because that that's background noise, isn't it? When the phone was picked, about uh, carrying okay, yeah. Even the background noise, right? The background noise that I heard, right? It played all throughout that audio. So it was just like, um, all I put it on. No, no, no. That was dramatic effect music put that's on by the people. That's a dramatic effect. Exactly. Yeah, dramatic no, effect. but that, that, yeah. no, no. That, that's outside of the video, Joe. That was put on, uh -huh. you know, it's, it's an urgency music put on to, to uh -huh. amplify. So yeah. that wasn't part of the video. That wasn't part yeah. of the recording. Yeah. Yeah. So before the, um, um, Pio, Pio started to speak, there was no voice, right? Can you play it once again, please? No, we, we've already done. OK, let me just do it one last hey. time. Good morning, Daddy. <laughs> All right, carry on. Yeah. So, that's what I'm saying. What are you saying? Yeah. That when you're recording, when you're on it, that means that the, 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 <coughs> I'm saying that there is a third If If there's going to be a ringing tone, there is a third party. So, who is that third party? We need to pick that third party out. And what did the third party? do with the entire video did the third party add anything for them yeah but what what does that subtract or, <coughs> what does that subtract or add from it it was recorded by third party what does that yeah. subtract or yeah so it could be real it could it, 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 it could have been manipulated right <clears throat> let, let let me tell you this um uh, 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 um mm -hmm. The, the, the one thing that we know for fact, uh, let's establish what we have as fact. <clears throat> what we have as fact was that uh, what we have as fact is that that was Peter Obey's voice. So it's, it has a unique and peculiar voice, no mistake in it. So so that we know for fact. The the only the other thing we know for fact is that um that was Oyedepo's voice. For same reasons, he has a unique and peculiar voice, no mistake in it. So we know for Absolutely. there's no disputing that those are their voices. So that, that's not in question. So now, yeah. what might be in question is, did a conversation take place between them? Oyedepo has not yeah. said, denied the conversation took place, and Peter B has not denied that a conversation took place. So okay. we can take that as something that has not been disputed. But yeah. what is the content of that conversation? Is really yeah. where the question is. So yeah. the idea that it was uh, at, uh, it was uh, artificially intelligent generated is it, too fanciful to go to. So we can abandon uh -oh. that as well. Oh. So uh, uh, if I generate okay. your voice, if I do an AI generation of your voice now, you will not believe me. I can do it. I have the software. No, no, well, no. We know that AI generated oh. voices. Uh, no, we 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 <laughs> know that. I will no, 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 no. <coughs> we know that AI, AI generation. Okay, go on. Yeah, and I could cut and join. What you say? Oh, your conversation. I could cut and join different things, even things that you did not say. I will do that. I've done. Uh, how I put it? I've written a song, and I did. I wrote like some lyrics, right? And in the lyrics, I did it like the voice of um of this person of Rihanna. I don't know if you know Rihanna. You, you write? You, no, we I don't know I, Rihanna because I'm from uh, oh, I'm from Mars, you know. Well, I'm, and I'm just saying it. If you know Rihanna, so I did it. So I have that, whatever. But it's like she was the one singing the song, but it was actually AI generated, and I did it myself. Okay, uh, all right. So is, 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 is that is, is, is hold on? Is that part of the mix? Then is it part of the mix that you are mm -hmm. saying? It's uh, AI generated, it's edited and doctored, and is that part of the names Absolutely. of the account? Absolutely, and I could, right. join, and I could uh -huh. join different things well, uh, together. Well, well, I can do it, yeah. Um, instead of us uh, 
going back and forth. Um, can I finish my line of thought? Here? I just want to. I just want to. Um, okay, because oh, I know I about the audio. Yeah, yeah, just I just want to return it on what um, I don't know what's his name. This guy, real of spinners or whatever. That we are a divided people. We like it or we don't like it. We are, whether no matter how much you want to unite ourselves or fake this unity, we are divided along tribal lines and along ethnic lines, and there's no lie about it. And it, it, it clearly shows here. It clearly shows everywhere. Mm. No, no, that, that's your experience. That's not a universal. You can't make that as a categorical statement. That might well be your or your 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 experience, which is unfortunate, but certainly not the experience of everyone. If I think it's only one part that's dividing Nigeria and is at its <laughs> APC that's dividing Nigeria. I keep saying that APC have divided Nigeria to essence that. No, no, li 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 leave, leave it for a moment. I think uh, Ada was actually on an, uh, on an intelligent line. So let's hear this, that interview. This election, I've always believed in the unity of this country, but this election for that opened so many things to me and it made me see that we are absolutely divided and there's no yeah how, how so how so how so what led oh, you to that first and foremost if um if um if um if Peter Bay was not um, on the ballot box i don't think this issue of Europa and Igbos would be this amplified it has never been Right. So, 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 what do you narrow it down to then? Uh, if if this uh, this division that you identify, but I don't acknowledge. One Nigeria, to me, one Nigeria is just gone. Mm, no, 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 no. Those are just talking points. Now you are regurgitating. Don't regurgitate what you hear. All of, no, I'm asking for your thoughts, not mantra. Don't give me mantra. What are my your answer. thoughts? My thoughts. I'm telling you my thoughts. That we're not a united people. Uh, but yes, and I'm asking you why. Why? Because it clearly shows. <laughs> it clearly shows in what we're doing. It clearly shows we're not united. No, we're not. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. oh, all right. Mm -hmm. I, I think we are united more so than we are divided. That's what I think. About that. Oh, even along religious lines, we're not united. Mm. No, no, we are, we are, we are united <laughs> but divergent. We are, we are united but divergent. You know, in Lagos, our what happens at Christmas is all the Muslims come to your house to eat uh, turkey. And what happens at Salah is we go to the Muslim houses to eat uh, Salah ram. So, so, that, so that's, 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 that's not division. That's unity. See, uh, it's the same thing that plays out you know, in other countries as well. Yeah, a Swedish can come here, you know, visit me. I can go to Sweden, visit the Swedish. But when it comes to political, politically, I'm taking, you know, decisions like, our leadership, right? We are not united. So forget all Yeah, but well, politics yeah. is always divisive now. Where is politics never divisive? We name one country that politics is not divisive. Well, maybe in countries that are not as polarized as we are. Which country is not polarized? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, there in you are. In the Scandinavia that I know, I know politics is not divisive. Well, man, can I go on so I can go? Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah so, back to the man now, yeah. yeah, okay. So, like I was saying, I think I have made my point that, um, um, the what you people labored here because you people took almost eight hours to labor on this fake video, and that's why most time people might see this platform as that the, the not what is projected for. Because the first time I entered this platform, it was based on issues and all everything just have to, you know, digress to. Can, can you not attack the platform, though? Because you are not going to stop us from. Don't do what Joel did. Uh, let me just make it clear. You, there's nothing you can say that will change. The only thing that you can say is something that has substance. So forget all of these things that you're doing. Just abandon it. Okay, present well, your well, argument well, and move well, on. Don't well, attack well, the platform well, because well, it's, well, it doesn't serve anything. Well, uh, when well, I first came to this well, platform, well, 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 well. is that that fake video that you people labored here for eight hours? What, what, do, you mean, what, do, what do you mean? It, it, was it not the topical issue all over Nigeria? Are we not a news led platform? What should we, should we be talking about, Dodo, when everybody else, when we, the whole country is talking about it? If the obvious is, is true or not, but every, but, nobody talks about it being fake. My guy, man. But oh, let one, me man, one man, one man. Mm, mm. Uh, I went back to that um, 
So that uh, that uh, arise um, um, an analysis. Um, yes. Yeah, uh, then it says there's a place that it says um, if you look at it, uh, it says there's a. So, oh, okay, let me see. Yeah, it says um, the democracy watchman. According to the tweet, or was it a tweet that uh, they released? It says Premier Pro was able to detect four different audios that have been put together to form that four minutes, 17 seconds clip that, um, that, that we, you guys, we've been playing. So some people have um, declared it to be false. That there's a, a lot of manipulation there. So until when this thing is all resolved, for us to know, um, for us to really know. That was why yesterday I didn't take it from that angle of uh, manipulation. Just speak to the issues. But the point is this, that we need to understand, I mean, we are all um, people, I said maybe we're not, uh, some of us are not. We know the season where we are, uh, the season of election, and we just finished an election, and we know what is going on. Um, some people are trying to label other people this and that and that. Suddenly we're seeing this, um, uh, a video, a clip, trying to portray the other person, opponent, as this. What do we read of that? Well, can't we read between that line? That could it be that this is just some kind of manipulation to uh, promote that uh, that propaganda they've been trying to promote about the other person? Yeah, but you're asking us. You're asking us to leap outside of what's being presented now. No, well, you see, that's what we were saying. You, you, we we live on what we see, but it doesn't. Is everything that we see there that is truly what it is? That's the question. It's up to us to determine. I mean, to figure that out ourselves. But the, the main the main point I'm 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 driving at is this that. Are we not seeing this divide? How is getting also divided? I mean, are we, are, we, are we not tired of every time having to feel the way we are feeling about the other person? Just imagine, I just, gave it to you, I, just, I just said to you, somebody have that hate to the point that oftentimes when I, when I chat on your platform, he has to censor me. He has to remove it. Come on, what is going on? I mean, how hate, what, what kind of hate? How much can you hate somebody that you would all have, you have to have, have to stifle that person? Remove, remove my own chat from your own from your own chat from your from your chat. My goodness, come on. That's what uh, 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 all right. Let, 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 me, let me just address that. So to the to the moderators in the comment section, uh, you you know we have just one golden rule, uh, which is no foul language. So unless the language is foul, you can let it unless it's really offensive. Then, Come then on. just let it ride. So, you we, 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 I asked yeah. you send me link, one man, to the studio. Thank you, and I said thank you there. Send me uh, link. In, 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 in defense, though, um, a rational mind, and it's happened to me as well. You may be uh, trying to delete a comment, okay. but then so sometimes uh, I have done it before. You know, I have banned people. Then, then I've had to go and search. To, uh, I even banned Kulata once when I was trying to remove some random. Uh, you know, when those um sex something used to sex spamming things you yeah, i'll yeah. try to delete one and then before you know it another comment came through and i ended up deleting well, and man, and no so, so, I know, so, I, so i'll give you a pattern to it now that this is not the first time they're doing that the other day i was talking i was talking to um uh what's his name um this lawyer guy uh what's his o name ogbeni ogbeni i saw ogbeni what was that i said i said something about ogbeni i call it i said, I said ogbeno that's what i said actually Maybe it was uh, I, it was my typo. I wanted to say Ogbeni. I said Ogbeno, but then, and I said, can you can you? I mean, I said something like about can you can you speak to the issues? Next thing, I just said that something was missing. I was like, what is going on here? And it's, I can give other I can give other examples too, but I feel somebody's here is doing that. So that's what tell you. I'm, see, one man, I'm not trying to say anything that is. I'm just trying to say, you understand that how deep a hate can somebody have? That you just don't want to hear somebody, you just want you to keep quiet. Goodness. So, what well, man? Certain things we just leave. When we discuss certain things, we'll finish it. Let's just move on and talk about some other issues. This is really killing so many of us. How long will we oh, continue oh, having oh, this? Okay, I I'm going to make her your the managing moderator so he can supervise. So, you have made you the managing moderator so you can supervise that space. But, uh, you know, I cannot keep an eye on the. On the I understand what, man. Yeah, so. so 
Uh, it's just, uh, I, 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 you know, because uh, people are so passionate sometimes about the platform. They, they want to protect its integrity. And I'm sure nobody more passionate than, uh, about the platform than, than you, of course, Rational Mind. Uh, uh, you know, I was just going back through old videos. We, we've come a long way, you know, a long way, you know. Uh, I, I remember when I had rosy cheeks when we were doing this and you were still, and you were never, you've never changed though, all the gobbledygook that you were talking when you first came here is still the same gobbledygook that you're talking now it's just that uh, yeah but i uh, know uh oh, it's okay it's okay one man it's okay yeah no, no but you take it in the you are a senior member of this platform so take it in the spirit of uh you know but i always highlight as you often do uh but uh let's get back to emmanuel to round up that space and then we move oh, my God, to me. Uh, I, want, I want to leave yeah yes uh, uh let's emmanuel so, finish off and then and then we'll come so, to you um, yeah, one man, I think I don't want to label that there yeah, so much. So I uh, think let me talk about the um, the this uh, obedient protest in the White House in the US. So I think uh, the wider point is there is that the whole world needs to know what is happening in Nigeria because um, a lot of things is being perpetrated to the citizens. Uh, against they, they, don't, the citizens. they don't have ambassadors. One man, whether they have ambassador or not, we need to make it global so that the eye, the, all eyes will be on, uh, will be on Nigeria to see what is happening in Nigeria, because it's getting out of hand. We can't continue like this. No, what Things is getting out of? No, no, sorry, what is getting out of hand? You keep talking in this. Um, what's getting out of hand? One man, these foreign countries aided Nigeria to conduct free and fair election, but they failed. This is not what is happening in Nigeria. No, no, but that's by your estimation, though. But that is what is played out. No, that, that's by your estimation. You know, not everybody is universal that they failed. So that's why if I said they, it by if, your... If they like, they should deny it. But that is all we saw. No, no, that's if, what if, you if, saw. The, the, so, sorry, do you know that there are opinions outside of yours? Do you know that people legitimately have a different view? Do you acknowledge that? Because it favors them. Why would they have different view? The Nigerian Bar Association, it favors them. Which Bar Association? One man. Isn't is, is, is not, is, is not the, the, the president of a Bar Association, the, their right. president. Right. Yes. So, so we throw him under the bus too. One man. I voted in Nigeria. My right. vote didn't count. So he wants me to be happy. Uh, carry on, I, 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 but, but I just want you to acknowledge that what what will, no I no no yeah, yeah. Well, my vote somebody count. interject no no I, I, well I, 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 vote didn't count I, I don't know did, did, did your candidate because his candidate win, win, win Lagos yeah. it, no it's not a matter of candidates that did not win uh, if did your candidate not win in Abuja where you reside. Le, uh, Koko, a vote that, that is where you it. voted. You voted in Abuja. And your candidate finish. won in Abuja. So what do you mean that let your me, candidate your let me vote didn't count? My 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 EAC paper who recorded five hundred and something. But when I got refu they refused to upload it that day, but much later they, they did it has mutilated to different numbers. So how do you want me to be happy in Nigeria? If if I see something like that. Is that is that not being interrogated at the courts? What do I think? Can you prove you have proof well, to that? You, well, you yes. have proof you have proof to what you are saying. Can you let us see it tomorrow? What proof of what I'm saying? Is is isn't yes. isn't isn't is isn't, 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 isn't Potter? No, 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 no. You said you voted and the in your polling booth you recorded so so number, but on the on the porter it's another number that uh, Yes, the, 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 the so, letter is so still there, but see, see, the figure so, has been changed. If, if you have, proof, and, that, and that's how terrible these people are. If you they, have, they proof, have if you one, have proof uh, to that effect, the one yes, we well, have, have, have the maybe have the maybe have the 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 copy. See the the the, the issues there that. The, How do you want us you know, to believe you? When you, you have not uh, established anything, and then you are going to this. What you are no, 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 no. You, want us to believe you want to tell me that you have not seen mutilated uh, 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 ECA 18 in, 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 in Harry Potter? 
Or you have not seen anyone. Emmanuel, you said they Emmanuel, affected what they're you. asking you is, do you have, no, a, do you have a screenshot of that? Um, do you have a screenshot one, of... original one that was filled out at the polling units? Yes. I got the one that is on the annex uh, portal. Let you us have a copy see of it. What, what, what was that? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. Uh, can you hold on? Just, just hold on. Yeah, oh God, uh, we are all saying oh God at this moment. Uh, but um, what, what, what did they, what, what, what was the score in your polling unit? So just answer it without any embellishing. What was the score when, when you casted the vote? My score was 516. And then what, 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 uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, no, just, uh, no, no, you, you've answered the question. Do you mind? Just go with me. 516. And what did uh, INEC upload? Uh, they, they changed that 516 to uh, 15, like the council zero, but they still have... Oh, 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 all right. Okay. What was what's your polling unit? My polling unit? In my well, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't worry about one man. What was your polling unit? Tell me the name of your polling unit. I don't have it up hand. Look at this guy. I've got the I next I ne something now. I'm going to debunk you immediately <laughs> right now. You don't, you, don't, you don't need to debunk you. I'll tell you no, I'm you going to debunk you. you. What is the name of your polling unit? Give me the name one of your man. polling unit. I've one got man. IREP. I've I'm got IREP open now. This is Abuja. <laughs> tell me you don't know the name of your polling unit and you are claiming you are disenfranchised. One you see, this man. is this, this, this is uh, look, 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 look at this. You you are giving us figures. This is this is FCT. Tell me your polling units, and I want to say that mutilated something. Tell me One your polling unit now. You will send it to me. Don't you don't know where you voted. You voted. I'll, 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 look at this guy. Did you enter? Did you go there by road? Let me go the name. They go by the number. It's a polling number now. Is it? Isn't it? If you have your yeah, your, 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 your voter card, uh, polling number. If you get your, have your polling number. Wait, just, like, uh, let me get this right. If I get it, now, I have I, I have one man uh, uh, Instagram. I will send it to him. Name, I calm down. The name of the place. I, I already said yeah, that. Don't go by that name now. Go by what name. No, I will send it to you. Patrick. Calm down. I'm not. I'm I'm part of this platform. Am I running away? Propagandist. Calm down. And yeah, you people have denied that you have not seen. Wait, wait, wait listen. So you people have denied that you have not seen neglected figures in that uh, 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 portal. Uh, Don't worry. We're not saying that. We're not saying that. Come and make your um, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we're not saying that they are no motivated, but the one you are talking about, your own particular, your own polling put. Uh, that's what I'm saying now. I can't remember so, that, but I have one man uh, Instagram. If I drop now, I will get it and send to him. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll wait there, one man. One man, where can I speak now? This one man still there. One, one man. man is there now. You, you can speak on. I think he's... on. I think he has heated the floor. I mean, man has heated okay, the floor. Okay. Speak on. Okay. Uh, um, I, 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 and by the way, so, so sorry, rational mind. Yeah, sorry, I have to take a call. Rational mind, I think we've identified um uh the, the miscreant um uh moderator. So so that will be addressed immediately and right now. But I'll carry on. Uh, so what fable are you? You don't know your polling units, but you were disenfranchised. You see, this is you, and you talk about oh God, it's, it's unbelievable. It's like being in a twilight zone, it's like a parallel universe. Well, man, it's like the from now to tomorrow to <laughs> next year, we know what plays out. No, 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 uh, but, but what about you know, your yeah. fact? You are, you are denying what, what plays out in this election, and I don't no, like what it. You observe is what. No, you observe. hold on, you hold on, Patrick. Oh, hold on, Patrick. I am, I am inviting you to uh, to explain what your uh, what is it that you are claiming went wrong, and what I'm also saying to you is that a lot of people consider this to be the fairest and most transparent because elections we've ever had. Them. Because it favors them. That's All why right. they will consider it that way. It's an impossible space, uh, this, this conversation. But uh, uh, thank you. Uh, let, let's go on to Uptown, who I think is eager to get to bed, but wants to have a say. Uh, Uptown, uh, let, let's, say, let's hear from you. Yo, Oman, thank you very much. 
Um, and one man, most time, if I send you something on Instagram, you don't even use to play it. I have a lot of things I send to uh, on Instagram. Uh, 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 all right, don't worry. We've heard that from uh, Joel as well. So, so don't worry. Now, a lot of people send me a lot of stuff on Insta Instagram. Some some get on the screen, some don't. Uh, uh, Thomas sends me countless things. Uh, Charles sends me countless things. Play so much sends me tons of things. Everybody sends me things. So don't worry about all that. Uh, uptown. Yeah, one more. Uh, yeah. Uh, have you ever known it to be this wild in this space, uh, uh, Uptown? We've never had a session this wild before. I uh, mean, um... <laughs> it's unbelievable. I'm oh, just, uh, I, I just put, I put my device a little bit far away from me so that I don't get to interject. You know, I just have to listen to you guys, you know, go by each other. But, um, so one more, yeah. Um, so what should I address? Well, what should I start from? No, no, just enter the conversation wherever it is that you, that most interests you, uh, because it, it's gone that way today. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Maybe let, let me, let me, let me begin with the audio clip only because I didn't, um, um, uh, I didn't join the platform, um, yesterday where I think that was the first time it was discussed. And, um, and also only because oh, oh, so, so, sorry ap apologies yeah. uptown uh yeah. sorry um so, sorry um me asap so i'll come to you after but uptown is in is in uh, lagos and is tired and network problem so let's hear from him then i'll come to you after but i'll back to uptown okay all right so only because i like getting my thoughts uh better before i comment uh, on such issues uh, whether it's coming from my camp it's easier to get fast from my camp anyway but even if it's coming from the other camp i want to get uh substantive uh, facts before i can make my analysis so um that space boils down on what has been have been have been my own personal problems with uh this election season especially coming from the guys that won the election but they're acting like opposition party apc and uh i'm totally fine with people running propagandas it's part of politics you know um it's okay for people to run propagandas maybe this person is not competent not does not have the capacity it's not intelligent enough uh, he didn't. Uh, his uh, his primary school. He went from primary three to primary seven. He skipped four and five. All, all those are fine. Those things cannot fracture our nation. Everybody that knows me on the platform knows that I I even insulting me. Somebody coming like this and saying uptown is this and that. It will never ever. I don't have issues with that. You get what I'm saying? But there's only one thing I take exceptions to, and I take exceptions to it both on the platform both on this platform, both on obedient spaces, both on uh, BAT spaces, whatever, whatever spaces, both on reality when I'm talking with pundits, I'm talking with people, I'm discussing with people outside, whether during campaign, after campaign. And the issue is, when we are running our propaganda, please, let's leave our fault lines. We can run propaganda on uh, intelligence, capacity, or, or party lines. Let's run propaganda on party lines. APC has destroyed Nigeria. Labour Party does not have the capacity to, to rule Nigeria. Fine. Wonderful propagandas. But when, propaganda, when a particular party decides that all their propaganda must and I don't blame them because I, maybe they have searched for other things like what I'm suggesting now. They have not found it on Peter Obi or the Labour Party and they are left with only tribe and religion. But then, search deeper. There's no how you won't tell me you won't find something on Peter Obi. In fact, one man is doing a better job on this platform. At least one man sometimes bring uh, uh, things like uh, impeachment or some of those even though we know those things are just uh, they have no depth but it, there's why well, APC can still twist it whine it prop, make it to uh, make force it to work you know what i'm saying but no apc in the spirit of the same apc 
the same way they came in 2015, the same propaganda they used to dislodge Jonathan, they ran propaganda against him in the north. The same APC, and that is why people don't understand how dangerous APC as a party is to Nigeria. They are the same APC that every propaganda they have been running throughout this election has been either tribal or religious based. Nothing more. Tribal. Cite a couple of cite examples. And, and, and again, this one I'm talking about now goes again to solidify what I just said. Going to the extent, or and you say I should cite what uh, uh, or I should cite what uh, uh, what I'm saying. Now let, 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 let me let me cite a couple of examples. APC believes the only way they can retain power is by ethnic and tribal whatever sentiments. Things like what they did during the governorship election in the Lagos State, whereas. We had a more united front, a little bit less tribal in the presidential, and we saw people come out in unison and take political party positions or candidate versus candidate positions. I am for Obi, I am for Tinibu, I am for Obi, I am for Tinibu, and at the end of the day, Obi won. What did they do? When the governorship came, they saw that if we allow this unism to continue, if we allow this unity be between the Yorubas, the Igbos, the Calabars, the security... But, but, uh, hold hold on, I, I'm not stopping your flow, but w w where you are now in, in your narrative is now your subjective interpretation, but carry on. Um, one man, I think I'm speaking for myself here, and I didn't claim to speak for anybody when I came on. No, 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 but it's not. It's not based on substance, though. Is what because you have you, you have because there's a different narrative to what you're saying. Is the thing uh, uh, for for the presidential space, a lot of people will argue that people were fed up of the APC. That there was the Muslim Muslim ticket, which was a factor. People had personal issues with Tinubu, and all of that played out in Lagos State. But for the governorship space. People loved Sanwolu, and that was what played out. But you are painting a different picture, so also carry on. Um, I'm not painting a different picture. Hmm. You know, it is it is okay for you to say these things as if I dismissed any of these things that they didn't play a role, whereas I didn't. And in fact, if you had given me enough room, you'll find out that every single thing you mentioned here will, will be part of this analysis because no, no, I know all of them play a role. Carry on, carry on. And... For somebody like me that's openly supported Samuelu as an obedient, both on this platform and elsewhere, there's nothing, there's, I don't think you can get more objective from any, other, from any other person within the obedience space. But then, I'm the, I made an analysis on this platform. If anybody on this platform could remember, days to the, uh, weeks to the election, because it was later postponed to an extra week. So let me say a, a week to election on this platform. When I said, that I am behind Sawoli. And I said categorically again that Sawoli was going to beat GRV. And I listed reasons why I believe, apart from the fact that I want him to win normally, I'm going to vote for him personally, and I voted for him. But I listed reasons. I said one. And some of the things you listed now, one man, I, 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 I made the analysis on the platform. So you're coming to say it as if maybe I'm trying to push a propaganda, whereas I'm the one that listed these things you listed where, and where I was analyzing the post pre-elections to the governorship. I said, people, some people, people like Samuel compared to BAT in Lagos. But people also have reservations and people also know the ambition of dislodging not necessarily Sawolu, but the APC structure, which is also directly linked to BAT. So people that voted against Sawolu, it's not necessarily because they did not believe Sawolu was doing well. A lot of people believe he was doing well. But also, there were people that was not saying some ambition as well, that feel that, hey, we could, if we could unite and win the presidential, we could also unite and dislodge, not necessarily Sawolu, but the APC structure in Lagos. 
because they have had too much of a field day. No, so but that, that was, was so, no? sorry, no, no, hold on. I beg your pardon, but uh, let me just come in for a moment. Uh, because there was a, there, there was quite a bit of a leaping over logs in what you just said, just uh, glazing over things. Uh, <clears throat> that mindset thought that you are describing, by the way, is your subjective understanding of that mindset uh, uh, space. Uh, what played out in actual fact is exactly like I just said. Uh, so the, the role that um, um, Gladiball, Rose Vivos' uh, uh, ethnicity or lack thereof played in that uh, election, it, 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 was a, it, it was a role. So, sorry, let me, I'm just going to mute you for a moment because of feedback. Uh, it was a role, but it wasn't the, the more what we saw play out in Lagos State and, and, the, and, and the politics that played out in Lagos was very toxic. There's no getting away from that. But more what we play, saw play, play out in uh, Lagos State was an endorsement of uh, Son Wolu. That, that's one. And then the second thing that we saw play out in Lagos State was that uh, is, is this clip here, the, the, a lot of this narrative, uh, we, was, we, we, we must take Lagos and all of that. So that was the Yoruba that's asserting their dominion over their own space. That that's two. So a lot of that is what padded, padded it out. And Son Wolu, uh, is his ethnicity, is lack of Yoruba speaking, he did not sit with a lot of people. Uh, is um not his ethnicity, uh, but his lack of capacity to speak the Yoruba language or, or or to show an understanding of the culture. He did not sit with a lot of people, so a lot of that played out. And those are spaces that people reach to organically. Uh, maybe political manipulation, but certainly organically. So the, the yes, ethnicity they play a role, and there were dog whistles that oh this guy is an Eastern agent. But I won't I won't say that the abundance of what brought some Wolu in was that space. That was just politics, uh, but uh, ca carry on. It's just you you were talking about gaslighting. It's just now I want you to have that at the backdrop so you don't gaslight as well, but uh, carry on up town. Um again, with uh, all due respect, sir. Every single thing you said now. If I make this submission from now till next year, none, no part of my submission will dispute anything you said. So I find it funny that you're making those submissions as if I am making something that is counter countering it, but I'm not. I'm actually speaking to some other space because every single thing you've said, I am aware of it. I am on ground, and when I say I'm on ground, I have it on good authority because I've proven it that I'm on ground times without number in this platform. And I've challenged people and I've said things that is happening in Lagos, and they said it's not happening, I end up happening. That means I'm on ground. So I have that authority to speak that I'm on ground. So when I say, during the governorship election, like I was saying before, again, let me see. Whatever happens in Lagos State, as far as I'm concerned, and a lot of people might disagree with me, some obedience might even disagree with me, Sam Wolu was still going to win that election. And that is why I find what you're saying one man funny, because it's almost like you're re echoing what I'm saying. We are saying the same thing as if we are countering each other, but we're actually making the same submission. Sam Wolu could have still won the election. Why? Because some people, a lot of people, believe he's doing a good job. Now, I, I added something on the side that some people also that some people that are part of people that believe he's doing a good job also has a side ambition of, yes, he's doing a good job, but, uh, well, this is an opportunity to dislodge APC. Maybe I'll jump on it. Now, it's just some people. But the greater majority, both from the APC camp, which was obviously re-energized in the governorship time, and even parts of the obedience who voted during the presidential, who also believe. And obviously, people like Chief Priest Kubana, who, who, who supported Obi openly, also went back to support someone openly. He's just only one person. And there's millions, um, and sorry, thousands of other people like him. I am in that WhatsApp group as well. I supported Obi in the presidential. I supported someone in the governorship. So whichever way, someone who could have, would still win that election. Maybe not with the size of margin he won with. But there's no way Sawoli couldn't have won that election. It's really very simple. Buddy, but they didn't have the they didn't have the, the job experience.
Madibo didn't have a, a resume that is so attractive as far as, as far as I am concerned. Somebody else might think MIT is good enough. I don't think so. Now, what what I'm trying to highlight that I uh, that I have problem with is not the fact that Samolu won. And again, Samolu didn't win because of what I'm trying to highlight. But what I'm highlighting is that APC. And I made this advice to APC on this platform the day I was making this analysis. I said, again, with what I'm read, I was reading that was part of their agenda after Labour Party won the presidential and we are moving to the governorship. I started reading their body languages and I saw the routes they wanted to take. And I said in this platform that APC, you do not need to go there. Saulu is going to win. But I guess they were just having anxiety because of the presidential. I checked in all the indices. All the indices leads me to a Saulu win. So why are you guys scared? Don't go to that tribal line just to make sure Saulu wins. He you don't, need to, you don't need to go there. He's still going to win. But maybe, maybe they still know that he's going to win. But maybe they just wanted him to win with such a wide margin. And again, extra, in addition, also, there was already an agenda post the presidential election to color Obi and the Labour Party tribal, so to divide the ranks of the obedience along tribal lines, just to whittle down their strengths. Uh, sorry, uh, Uptown. Yeah. I want to ask you this question so that you add it while you are speaking. Sure. Do you think I noticed in the governorship election that there was a tribal um, connotation to the dimension the election took i cannot deny that and also the presidential election at the initially it started with tribal and then there were tribal connotation don't you think let's start with the state that the tribal uh, sentiment that came up in lagos was a response to the aggression and the tribal sentiment that was stirred by the obedience one in the governorship election. Then, if you don't know, I noticed that in the presidential election, that before Obi joined the Labour Party, there was not so much pressure as to tribe. But do you know that when he joined the Labour Party and Obi came out, it became like, this is our own agenda. And the Yoruba people just responded. That's why I saw it. They just responded and said, okay, if, if is that the way? Unfortunately, Lagos is a place where it's like a hub. Anything that is happening there goes to every part of the country. So, and the boys in Lagos, the Igbo guys in Lagos are very aggressive. You will agree with me. People like, people like Peter and Paul Okoye, people like all these, uh, even my friends from, my brethren from South South. People like um are you gonna mention the southwesterners too? The macaroni no, and the, the, no, the southwesterners the are not even as aggressive as my people. Faust, Faust wait, is not now, aggressive, macaroni wait, is not now, aggressive. Wait, make I finish. Even. Macaroni was active, but he's not as aggressive as somebody like uh what's that late Muslim lady? Um Aisha Yesufu. Aisha Yesufu from my Edo sister is not probably as aggressive and as almost blackmailing as Larry or Bayern. He's not as aggressive as a boy. He's not as aggressive. You understand what I'm saying? David, David don't dare you. Uh, David don't dare you. Are these people from, people are these from are South, are these South South? Are people he said South South. He said South South. That's what I just said. Are you not Peter, um, Patrick, this is your aggression. This, is this subjective to you, what you interpret as being I'm aggressive? I'm talking to... I'm, I'm interjecting. You should not interject the interjector. No, yeah, it's something we can interject the interjector too. Because no, sometimes when you do no, certain things that are not, we'll end up, uh, are not, we'll not have a conversation now. <laughs> okay, go on, go on, please. But I just want to put that if out I there. If I interjected, you interject, and that person interjected, they won't have a conversation. Yeah, no problem. I just want to say that real quick. That's mm -hmm. it. I'm just, it's a question. I said, don't you think is a response? So it's not as if I'm making a position. I'm saying that my brother in the South class are very aggressive. And my brethren in the South is very, maybe because of our culture and our nature. We are very outspoken people in Edo, for example. So don't you think that now was the one, because the Yoruba part naturally calm and quiet and they are a bit not as proactive or as, 
But they can when you push people, they can react. And when they react, then you people start saying, I see them. Your boss are not they say when the fly is eating the wound, nobody will notice. But the person who has the wound, the moment he kills one of the fly, decides to put it in his mouth. They say, Look at this dirty man, he's eating flies. So to me, do you think that the Yorubas has responded to a stimuli of uh, tribal sentiment from the Southeast and South South brethren? Oh, all right, it's your fault. It's your fault. Uh, carry on. Yeah, it's, all, it's your fault, is what you're saying. Carry on. Thank you very much. Um you know, but, but but address it in the expansiveness that it presented because uh yes. what 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 uh, Patrick presented you is, is a point, you know. Yes, yeah, the point. And I, yeah. I'm, I'm going to address. I'm going to address him. It's, it's, it's it, you know it's very easy for us that when we set a direct when we set a destination to go to, uh, it's easy for us to uh, avoid the obstacles that will lead us to that destination because we really want to get there. And uh, when, when uh, my good brother here started listing names, first of all he said southeasterners, and then by the time he started listing names, found out that southeasterners are there, and then he said southeast and south south. But then I I reminded him, and I can go on and on. No, you were not listening. I said the obedience, let, let me my, like you Paul and brother. Peter, then my brethren from the South South, like Aisha Yusufu, like you were not okay. listening. That okay. was the point. Okay, let me continue. So in, in, in the spirit of listing people from South East and South South, which obviously what happened here in Lagos on 18th was people profiled as Igbo. Nobody says Southeast and South-South. But in the spirit of listing Southeast and South-South and singling them out and then removing all the Southwesterners in that space or saying that, oh, it's not really as aggressive. We are mentioning aggressive the ruler. So there's a ruler, this is 30%, 30 CM aggressive, then this 23, this is 25. Uh, because we want to land with this nation because when, when anybody that is conversant on Twitter here, we tell you that there is nobody that challenged every single thing Tinibu represented an APC, the same, the same way people you just mentioned are challenging, than David Hondo, he's a Badagri guy. And he, 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 represent, he presents himself as a, as a Lagosian and as a Yoruba. That's how he, he, he represents himself. Other people on Twitter spaces, Southwesterners, Macaroni was suing people. Macaroni was insulting people. People that was calling him Omale, 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 Omale. He was insulting them back because they were insult, raining insults on him. And he was, in, he was calling out Tinibu all the time. He was calling out APC all the time. He was insulting them, but somehow in your measurements in your ruler, uh, because you don't want to include it, so you just say, eh, not really as aggressive as this person, so that you can push it by the side and get to your destination. But what we are doing, this, prop, this thing we are trying to cook, nobody's going to buy it. Because the last time I checked, the people that moved heavily against Tinibu during NSAS, why didn't Yoruba feel that they were pushed and then moved? Yeah, well, 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 was, was NSAS against the Nobu or the Nigerian state? It was against the Nigerian state, but uh, Tinibu's properties were being targeted. No, it was a major, it was a major thing. After placing Nigeria. It was not against Nigeria. It was targeted at Tinubu. He just told you now. Listen, listen to me now, my brother. I don't shove my words back into my mouth. I like being clear because uh, I speak a lot and i know when people are trying to get me to say what they want me to say now answers clearly was a, i was full fully involved in answers answers was clearly and a police brutality issue here yeah? and when it started but for some reasons so this resentment of the of, of youths a section of youth against the personality of Tinibu didn't start now, didn't start in 2022 or 2023 when he declared for presidency. People have always had resentment just because of the personality of the stories that they grew up, the millennials grew up to hear, he did this, he did that, he did that, he, his first certificate. So everybody have always had that issue about him. 
and that every single thing that goes wrong in Lagos is Tinubu, regardless of whoever the governor was. So when the thing that was happening in Lagos under NSAS, people said that even the shooting, people didn't even blame Buhari. People were saying Tinubu sent the military, which I do not subscribe to personally as uptown. But was that the narrative? Yes. So people we are we are against Tinubu. They even they, they at some point they said Tinubu has run away from Lagos. People were targeting TVC. People were targeting Oriental Hotel because they heard that Oriental Hotel belonged to Tinibu. Oriental Hotel, right before my eye, it's just steps I, 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 I can trek from my house to Oriental Hotel. They raised a huge signboard, boldly written, this property does not belong to Bola Me Tinibu. It belongs to so so and so Yoruba family, blah, blah, blah. Just to keep their property safe because they know the use we are running riot against this, this guy, this man. So, the, why didn't then Yoruba feel that, oh, this NSAS is targeted, since Tinubu is now, since anything targeted at Tinubu now is automatically targeted at Yoruba, according to your, your explanation. So, why, <coughs> was it, why didn't Yoruba? Wait, wait, which explanation? Oh so, sorry, sorry, wait, oh, oh, hold, hold on now, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Well, don't do that now. Which explanation says anything targeted against Tinubu is targeted against Yoruba? I'm going to explain to you why. Who I'm, said I'm that? Explain to you why. Because the last time I checked, throughout the campaign, or whether it is whether it is P Square that he mentioned, whether it's macaroni, whether it's Tunde Ednot that is firing up on Instagram without break, who is a Yoruba man, whether it is every other person, Aisha Yusuf, and every other person he talked he, he talked about now, none of them, if you can cite one instance where the target was not Nibu or APC, but Yoruba people provided it to me. Because uh, but what, what point are you making? You, you, you are saying, you just said now that people are claiming that, or, or we are claiming, or this space is claiming that any attack on Tinubu is an attack on Yoruba. And I'm inviting you, where was that said? Who said that? That's what I'm telling you. The, the person that put the question to me now, let me tell you, see what he said. He said that the reaction or something he chose to call a reaction i call it an apc propaganda that sticked and they played it out and it worked but then according to him the reaction of the yoruba people was because of what the names he mentioned online has been saying against them no 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 that, that wasn't what he was saying he, he cited that those names as examples of narratives that had ethnic colorations already, and he said that, that they that, that they, what they, I'm they saying. yeah. I, I I I challenged him to give me one example of an ethnic anti-Yoruba coloration from any of the names he mentioned. One. No, he he, he told you that uh, when Peter Obi declared uh, for the election, that was when the oh. ethnic ethnic ratcheting up really spiked up. No, no, no. One man, you know, it is easy for us to, you know me. You know me, I can stand, I can stand there for anybody. I can once I have my facts, you cannot defeat me unless I don't I don't know my facts. It is easy for us to paint a narrative, and when we are asked to act, when we are asked to just like what Baba did some hours ago, painted a narrative, when then we asked him for specific, he couldn't provide it because we mentioned names of notable names in the APC and the and the tribal statements they made. Okay, but he let's, said let's the other camp did that. it. And we said mention can, names sorry, in the other camp and the tribal statements they made. Can I interject? So I'm coming, let me finish, please. Mm, okay. So it is easy for you to say someone on Twitter space made some. No, when I wanted to accuse APC, I didn't say some APC people in Audio Leba or Isolo. No, I mentioned name. I said MC Oluomo. I said, by your non I said, I was mentioning names that directly shoulder APC. They are representing and standing for it. So they are standing for that space. And if they made tribal statements, I said, this space made tribal statements. I can point. If police want to sue me for libel today, they tell me, okay, who made it? I can point and say, this is who made it. This is the video right. made. And this is what he said. Oh, all right, um, uh, uh, all right. Oh, uptown. Let, 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 um, let Patrick have that interjection and then bring it home swiftly so we can move it on. Uh, so have the interjection and then wrap it up uh, uptown. Uh, so, Patrick. 
Yeah, I want to bring. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. I'm here. Yeah, I want to. Say, I want to bring uh, 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 back to where he said when people try to paint the narrative. No, we are not. First, I don't know. Maybe people try to do that now. But I, I'm just trying to unravel uh, a mystery. I'm trying to unravel what we don't, maybe what we don't understand. So we begin to do some root cause there and say, how did it happen? Who did it? What happened? So I'm not trying to just fix it now. I'm trying to ask questions because it should be something of concern. And I want you to, to try also probe these things that I'm saying. Initially, when that's my observation, and thank God we're all adults when it happened. It's not something I would say it happened in so so and so time, and you think, oh, this man is older than me. When Obi was in PDP and was moving around, there was no so much noise about um, um, a Yoruba agenda or an Igbo agenda. It was something on the party line. It was PDP and APC and maybe some other parties. You understand? Which to me was okay. You understand? But the moment Obi moved to Labour Party, then the thing started with, it, it, it became a Yoruba and Aousa and uh, an Igbo thing. Now, the the new dimension to it was that luckily Obi had some supporters in the Southwest. But that does not necessarily make it, for example, uh, Tinubu also, it became like uh, it is a ton of Yoruba. Yoruba st also started saying it's a Yoruba thing. It's a thing of pride. I would say Yoruba also played that card, but Yor uh, Tinubu also has uh, supporters in the north. But that does not disprove the fact that Tinubu played a Yoruba tribal card. You understand? Tinubu played a Yoruba tribal card. So the fact that Obi has some supporters in Southwest does not does not uh, rule out the fact that he played the tribal card, and it, it is it is it is it is when did you say when did Tinubu play the tribal card? Uh, no, did did the did Yoruba did, did Tinubu people play the tribal card and say? Let me tell you where. Let me tell you where he did now. In Abeokuta. Oh, oh, hold on. Let Adani Koko come in. Sorry. Let us put it in the right perspective. When he mentioned the Milekon, that was the contest within APC, not, hey. not uh, um, as a flag bearer of APC against others. Okay. Let me say something. So, Yoruba, he said something, Yoruba, you people didn't notice. Tinubu said, Agbara, Iko, Afan, Ara, Oke, Oyanikan. Did you notice he mentioned that? People didn't even say anything about that one. They said, Miloka, Miloka. Then that's the major key. No, no, you no, know what he meant no. by that? Oh, he said, this oh, oh, power. What he said. Oh, oh. That I'm I just going to interpret that I now. I heard now. Buhari, Buhari was crying. I have uh, Jack is I to have so now. Oh, hold on, Patrick. Let us tell Koko. We, we've not heard from Jack Lekoko for a while. Okay, Carry okay. On. I help him to attain power. And now, if the power has to come to the south within APC, and the zone to the west, and if they should zone it to the west, then it should be mine. Meaning a Milokon. If power should be shifted to the south and they zone it to the west, then it should be for me. That was that was within APC. It didn't play that tribal card against any other candidate as a flag bearer of APC. It didn't do that. So let when, us put it in the oh, Can I do? No, see, see, when I say that obedient paid tribal card, eh, I'm not only narrowing it down to Obi, I'm saying the followers too play tribal cards. You understand? Tinubu directly did not play tribal card in that sense. Or saying 
and your more you back. Why are you trying to separate Tinubu from his um, people that work with him around? Wait him? now. Da, I'm not separating him. I just told you that I played Rabaka. What do you, what do you want me to say again? Who, who is the okay, benefactor of the whole thing when you're dealer. talking about now? I just said something. I said Tinubu played a tribal card. I just let Kona corrected me and said, and I take corrections. I said, yeah, he didn't play that directly, but his followers. I'm being objective, I'm batified, but we have to be truthful. His followers. I think, also, Patra, I think Patrick is right. Yes. He's his right. followers played the a followers tribal did. card and said, yeah. Are you are. No, 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 no. no. That, 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 that right is, sub that is your subjective view, uh, Adele Koko. Okay, Keep I'm not right. right. Now, I'm not saying I'm right, but I'm saying I'm, I'm pro, I want us to probe this. That's what okay, I'm saying. Know. Are you saying that Tinubu played tribal card? Directly. He played it. He played it, yeah. Okay, tell us yeah. specifically how he played. Um... Uh, yeah, you asked me for specific, right? Yes, specific. Now, you see, uh, I mean, uh, you see, I don't like going to all of this kind of um, conversation whereby we have to ask for specific like that. No, he has people who all don't know now. Uh -huh, okay. He has people who work for him. He benefited from me, from it, right? And then you, when, when they were playing all of this, we didn't hear him make any statement. Rebuking these people. Oh, 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 hold, hold on, hold on, no. You ask, you ask for a question. Don't, don't talk over me, please. Let me, let me make my point. This. He, he's the benefactor. He, he benefited from it. When these people were playing this tribal card, he never made any statement, rebuking these people that please, you people stop this. This is not what I am for. And then you're telling that. It, it, I mean, you're telling me that. It, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's not involved. How is he not involved? Who is the one benefiting from it? Are you telling me that you don't know what is going on? When he appeared before the Europe, Yoruba in uh, Abekuta, when he was saying that Taba 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 Kwenye was he uh Southwest a local, what who was he speaking to? What was he playing on, on in there? I mean, you see, we, we we can talk about this. You see, I just don't want to go into. You see, that's why you see for me, these things for me, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just want to move on. But when we start dwelling on these things. Who is at fault? Who did not do this? We just keep opening more and more, going back to what is not necessary. We, are, we just waste all our time. And this is what we Nigerians were doing a lot. There are so many things we can use our life for than all this, this things but, that but are not Rastanama, You couldn't necessary. mention anything specifically that he did. That uh, I mean, how he played Tribaka. You, did, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't pinpoint anything. I cannot pinpoint anything. As I, you, you, want me, you, want, you want me to go and bring no, an audio, you, audio, 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 audio say, clip? Where you, you, you saying that there now? I mean, well, like, Patrick, not, but like Patrick said, he said hmm. the followers on both sides play tribal card. Okay. Which I agree with. That is absolutely okay. true. I agree with that. But you are insisting that Tunumbu did he play tribal card. I said, okay, pinpoint, mention specifically how and where and when he did it. You you couldn't do it. I just give an example. Can I can he, I can he, I, he I appeared before the Yoruba, uh, Yoruba audience in Abekuta? Was, the Yoruba was, 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 audience, was they, they Ibos? Hold on. Was they I, okay, listen. Yoruba audience. It was uh -huh. addressing Yoruba audience. Uh -huh. addressing that. So what is that? Oh, oh, hold on now. Hold on. He was addressing Yoruba audience. And he specifically uh -huh. went to Abekuta to Taku Oshibayo. An APC member. He, was hold on. An APC member. to Taku Oshibayo because he knew Oshibayo is from Ogun State and the people of Ogun State wanted to vote for Oshibayo that time. Okay. As a delegate. All the delegates from Ogun State wanted to vote for Oshibayo. So this man went to Abekuta to address them and told them that Emma Vishay Goleo, if this power shift should, if the party should, 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 should zone it to the south and they micro zone it to the southwest, a milocon. Because. But, but he didn't say if he said Yoruba local, it's ton of Yoruba. He didn't say if he didn't give them option of. Yeah, he's the one Yoruba. Okay. 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 Oh, hold on. I have supported so many people to so many places, and he mentioned specifically how he nominated Ojibajo for the vice president position that he occupied today. He said Buari team asked him to submit two names. He said, but he said he knew they wanted to play game, but he told them that it's only one name he will submit, and he submitted the name of Ojibajo. And that was what made Kochibayo the vice president today. And he referred to a lady, the governor of Ogun State, that if not for me, this governor, a lady, he won't be governor of Ogun State, that I was the one that fought hard for him to be where he is today.
And then he told the people, look, don't 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 look at it that uh, oh uh, you want to vote for Shibaz or your son. No? Vote for me. And he prostrated for them. He prostrated. When he ended the statement, he bowed down. He went to his knee. He, he bent, bent down to his knee to, 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 to appeal to them to vote for him. Let us put things in the right perspective. He, was, he went there to tackle Ashibajo. And that was what he did. No, but, but can, I, can I ask a question? Yeah, Let me I ask Baba a question. Ajali, 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 question. Okay. One question on that space. Uh, uh, oh, 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 okay, ask the question, and then when Ajan Lekoko responds, I'll round off that space because uh, we, okay. we're now in deep hours, uh, but ask the question. Okay. So, Baba, just allow me to finish the question before you answer. Hmm. Timibu, months later, returned to the same Abiyokuta. Again, speaking in Yoruba again, to tell them that people wanted to keep me away from the presidency. When they are using... I, 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 I said you should let me finish the question. So, okay, please, sorry. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Okay. So, he went back there. And he's already candidate now. Candidates running for Nigeria presidency. Hmm. But now, he wants to play whatever he wants to play again, and he returns to Abiyokuta. Mm -hmm. speaking in Yoruba, mm -hmm. telling them that these people want to prevent me from being president. They mm -hmm. are using Naira design. They are mm -hmm. using this. They are using that. On mm -hmm. the same breath, and I can provide evidence to this, on the same breath, while he was doing this in Abiyokuta, mm -hmm. FSK and the likes who are able, that's why I said APC played tribal card, and I can list just one out of like 50 or 80 that I can list for you. In the same breath, while their master was doing that in Abiyokuta, FFK was shining out to it, saying that what Sinibu is saying is true, that they want to give him the NKO Abiola treatment that Southwesterners should not agree for a repeat of 1993. Mm. So, painting it as if, so who put on sentiments in the Southwest that this is what they did to Abiola. Mm. So, don't allow it to happen again. And again, they, they continue to play the same Abiola card, which I think is really unfortunate to somebody as respected as the great MKO Abiola for people to play cheap politics with him, especially this media spokesperson of, of the APC. They have been doing that a lot. Abiola, 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 by your nonga, Abiola, Abiola, Abiola. The same time they wanted to whoop up the interim government thing. In fact, it was so much that let, let us when, concentrate on Abekuta, what it did in Abekuta. Don't let, go let me let me, let me, let me let that, 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 yeah, no, no, let don't me, take us on a don't take us on a long journey. Let me round up my, my <laughs> question. So yeah, 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 but uh, but but, but uh, everybody okay, not okay. to have uh, yeah, 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 So the okay, in the same breath, when Obi went to court, just one second, when Obi went to court. And submitted a case against Tinibu. Bayononga went to Twitter and said and responded and retweeted that case. Obi submitted and say, Obi, and anybody can check this online. He said, Obi wants to give Tinibu the MKO Abiola treatment in 1993. Just because Obi went to court, Obi didn't say, I will annul, I will do anything. So, what are those if they're not travel cards? So. Okay, let me, let, let me respond. The the one for um, mm -hmm. um, uh, the one of Abegutan, let me reply you on that. The one of Abegutan, those that you were referring to was uh, Wari and the Kaban. He said they stashed away the money and they created scarcity of money, they created scarcity of um, currency. But whether they like it or not, we are going to vote and we are going to win. 
people must come out and vote, and people must go and we will win. One way, one way, I mean, one way, 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 one you people were celebrating. You obedient were celebrating that, yes, they got this guy. The administration has got him. They have stashed away money. He couldn't get money to spend, to bribe, and to, 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 uh, for, 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 uh, 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 I mean, to, to, to bribe voters or something like that. You obedient were celebrating. You were you were celebrated. Buari became your hero at that time, and you are jumping up that yes, yes. Uh, so so what was that? What but, was but that's not the question. Policy, about the policy, tribe, good, hold on now, hold on. This policy uh, is good. God, I mean, they should continue. Nigeria should endure. So he did not use any tribal card. He didn't play any tribal card against anybody. But he unleashed an attack against Buhari, monetary policy without the designing of note and the fuel scarcity. So that, that because he, he, what he was telling people that it was, it was, it, 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 I mean. What he was telling you, Robert. What he was telling the people in Ogu State, forget yeah. about Yoruba's. Whether I was telling you, speaking in Yoruba now, so he was saying Yoruba. And yes, Yoruba people would. Uh, hold, 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 hold on, Ajan Lekoko. Uh, so, so, sorry, Ajan Lekoko. I, I've heard you say that twice now that uh, he was speaking in Yoruba. Uh, I've, I've, I you know, I you, oh, you, you, you know, we used to live stream with, uh, quite a few of the campaigns. Uh, countless occasions when Peter B was in the East, they spoke to them in their, in their language. And Buhari, uh, often, anytime he's in the North, he speaks to them in their language. So, so what, no, what, that's no, the, that's no, that's no, that's no, 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 that's no, that's no, what we're talking about. So, no, you keep, you keep, you keep no, saying that he's speaking, he's speaking to them in Yoruba. Speaking in Yoruba now. How can I have a problem with why, why would speaking Yoruba in Yoruba? And when he was in Yoruba land, he talking to Yoruba people. So you wanted to speak English. So he addressed them. He told them that this currency policy, the the the, it was a man created problem so that people will not come out and vote. But he encouraged people to come out and vote. And he said if they, if they can come out and vote, they will win. He will win. And they will all win together. So how does that connote a, a tribal card? How, how, how does that connote tribal card? Just explain to me. Explain um, to me. One, one man, um, you, you can know, I say something? To just round up this. Um, so, um, can I say something? Let me just round up But on, on round up one, one, one man, when well, can we speak now? No, no, you yeah. come in. I'm, 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 I'm the one on the floor now, my brother. Yeah, go, go on. La, la, land yeah. it. He's just, he's just saying it's taking too long. That's what he's really saying now. Because yeah, of the indigestions now. I, I'm yeah. Ca no, carry on now. So, uh, uptown. So, sorry, um, Fatai. We'll come to you. So, um... As for um, Baba Jali Koko, I mean, it, uh, I, uh, why I just wanted to call it off because I remembered that uh, um, you cannot change your grounds. It has never happened before. So, but then uh, no, I just pointed fact to you. I put everything in the right path. No, I accept. No, I, I accept. I accept. But oh, what wow. I'm saying is that it's clear. But again, even I'm even I, I ask that question on behalf of. Uh, the other person that was but, speaking. Uh, uh, but I want to me, give you something before you conclude. I don't want to speak in this platform. I just want to give you something before you conclude. Then you, every, you can conclude. Okay, sir. Um, I don't want to speak on this platform. Okay. So what I want to drop to you before you conclude is uh, the issue of this uh, tribalism. The thing is becoming too much. And uh, we, the supporters, it's like the thing is getting our head too much. But... One thing I want to drop to you before you conclude. There was a statement made by Ojo Zokalo. I, I, I guess his wife died today. But uh, there was a statement he released before the death of his wife. He said, 
when Tinubu shattered Emilokon, the people of Southwest came up and supported him to become the president. But when I shattered Emilokon to become the Senate president, the Igbo people started coming against me. So I want you to add that statement to your conclusion in every all these contests of tribal and all these uh, issues. And I'll be okay. there. So no, most no, of this, our this, this thing is just subjective view. I mean, what about the Alekoko just said? It's just a spin of his own. That, that is what I subjected it to him. I, I mean, he said it's his fact. That, that is his own fact. So just look at what he just said now. I saw that statement. Yeah, by, that's why I abandoned that speech. By this way. guy. But then, let me go. Uh, by the Senate president. I mean, I mean, what was I say, president, president? Uh, you use Okalu. So everybody has a way of re reading what happened in uh, in um, that area. No, but no. Tinubu is Rational a, man, you can't from tribal can't camp. Can't tell me. Can't tell me. If, if, if what I said, we all know that Tinubu not benefited. True. He also played the tribal card as well as religious card. So let's. I've not... been asking you. I've been asking you for you over ten been minutes asking, now. Did you, did, did you just hear what, what any, APC man, anyone, an APC man just said? Anyone incident where he played tribal card when as people. a ticket as a flag bearer. Of oh, his party, oh, hold on, hold on. You couldn't mention any question. Are you, you let me answer your so question. Let me, let, me finish, let me finish, then you people can conclude. I don't want to speak in this platform. I just want okay, to. Okay, if, if you don't know. want to speak in the platform, then you're well, welcome to. Yeah, so, no. so, so, sorry, carry on. I don't know what that uh, kept on saying that. So, thank you. Well, I'm carry on now. Yeah. Uh, what, what's the meaning <laughs> of I don't want to speak? If, if he finds a place so offensive, then, you know. No, no, no. But I think maybe he, he just wants to be a listener this time, just to make sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, what is that? Well, that's what I don't want. I don't want to. I want to listen, but I don't want to label oh, you. Oh, all right. Oh, 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 okay. So it's just that I want yeah. to draw something to up and so that you will conclude. I, I don't want to label the oh, topic oh, so oh, much. That's what oh, I mean. All right. Oh, all right. Carry on. No, no. Because I know if on. I want to speak, it, it, oh, might, it might not be my point today. So no, what I want I, to. You know, I, 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 I so, 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 sorry, apologies to everybody that has been waiting. It's just one of those sessions. Uh, about, uh, sorry, carry on. Yeah, carry on. Kenny. Yeah, so the, the reason why I brought the, the topic is just for I'm um, often to add it up to conclude this uh, section. Uh, the, after the statement he made, uh, I know some notable people that came out to counter him and begin to tackle him. That, as I mean, Jules Okalo. Yes, uh, most of our comedians from Monica, many of them, they came up, they were bombarding him, they were telling him or calling on him all, all sorts of names. You cannot uh, just, we are, they were able to drag him, show us what you did that will make us to support you. It's not just shouting, I'm a Milokon, my turn to be Senate uh, President, and you think that we can support you the way Yoruba supported uh, Tinubu. No. We don't do that type of politics. You must show us the reason why we will support you. We don't care if you become the Senate president also. So all those narratives have been flying around yesterday, today, and all that in the Southeast. So the man just kept quiet. So I want to throw that to Uptown because of all these tribal things so that we use it to conclude our narrative and move on as a country. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, my brother. Thank you very much. Um, I, I mean, it's um, it just in addition to what I said, but for some reason, uh, personal to me, I don't think I want to talk about objects of color just for, for out of respect for his wife that just died. So maybe I should just keep him out of my analysis and may her gentle soul rest in peace as well. Um, the, 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 what I'm saying basically is that if he sees campaign architecture and i follow all of them in that their media team bomba to bomba the entire language framework that the framed work and none of them is speaking is a framework is an agenda they drew up in the media board and every single one of them is aligned and i must give it to them one thing positive about that space the apc campaign council one thing positive about them is that they have unity of purpose whether positive or negative, but in this case, negative. But then, even within the negative whatever agenda, they have unity of purpose because you can tell that they are always having CACOS meeting. They are always aligned to a particular agenda they want to push. And all of it 
almost all of it, up to 85% of And anybody, don't take my word for it. Go and conduct a forensic audit in all of their pages, including their official press releases in the entire campaign season, especially nearing towards the campaign. Put everything on the table, and you find out that every single thing they said, every single, whether reactional, whether attacking, whether agenda, whether everything, every single thing was tribe. Every single thing was religion. It's either they are trying to whoop up sentiments in their own base, or they are trying to divide another base based on religious line and based on ethnic line. And they did that. The only, the only time, it, it didn't succeed throughout the whole long eight, eight months of campaign eh, because obedience kept kept testing it, testing it, testing it. it. It was penetrating little, little, but it didn't really go anywhere. The only time it was successful for them was during the governorship. That one, it, the agenda really agended during governorship and they had their way. It didn't work for them in the presidential. If it worked, Obi, Obi would have been long, Obi would have, wouldn't have been even a, 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 a thought force in this campaign itself if the agenda worked. And it is really sad because, and I'm not the one that, I've heard a lot of pundits on this place that say, even a lot of European people as well, people like Yemi, Demoloko and all of that, they say, this style of politics EPC is playing, it might work for you, it might help you to keep power, but if you keep power, you know there has to be a country for you to govern. Are you thinking about the repercussions? Because they will be like, okay, let's just do it and, and grab power. Maybe later it will fix itself. No. Those things you're doing, you're going to come back, even as president, if you succeed as president, you're going to face it. So... Oh, all right, oh, 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 town. Let, let, let me let me ask you a question, and I want a completely condensed answer to this question. So not a long, you know. Do you do you think the do do you think the southwest? Do you think they object to the APC victory? Uh, uh, um, ticket Tenobo. Do you think the southwest object to it? A greater majority of southwest. Who voted for Tinibu cannot possibly object to an EPC victory. Oh, 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 okay, let me ask you the second question. Do you think the North, do you think they are object to the APC victory? The core North does not object to APC victory. Remember, it's flying the Muslim Muslim ticket, and it, it, that's a big deal for them. Right. So if the North and the Southwest does not object to the APC victory, then which part of the rich, uh, because you are saying the country, uh, there, there's danger and whatnot. So mm. where is the objection coming from? Okay. If the Southwest, as you rightly said, don't object, the North the don't object. So uh, what do you mean a part of the Southwest? They, 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 because of the, Southwest. the abundance of the Southwest, who, do they object to it? I can tell you probably 45 years above. No, no, I'm talking what, about, what, no, what, what, I'm talking about percentages. In percentages, the Southwest, do they object to it? Yeah, a greater population of it. They object to it? No, a greater population do not object to it. What I about the, 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 the... No, you can't say anything categorically. I'm just asking for your subjective view. What about the North? The greater uh, mass, do they object to... Uh, if, uh, if they don't get a tickle, then would they object to an APC victory? Yeah, I'm going to answer to that, but uh, you've said this a couple of times, so let me address it. So, mm -hmm. I want man, when I answer your question, sir, I really mean my subject, my view. I don't mean mm -hmm. anything categorical. So no, yes. Really, yeah. I don't know what, what differentiates between categorical and subjective view because it is my view, it is my analysis, it is how I see it. That's why you asked me the question. Right, carry on. Okay. So, the, the question is a greater number of uh, Southwest. And really, rightly so, should support their son, right? I don't think they should. In fact, I would be surprised if a greater number of Southwest uh, object to a Tinibu presidency. Go, go, go to again, the north. Go to the north. Go to the north. In the north. Hmm. Yeah, are they up in arms against uh, Tinibu's victory in the north? Up no, no, yeah, no, 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 up no. Can you use a compass, compass was, um submission on uh, BBC Hausa? 
to answer that question. That I no, 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 uh, no, no. Let, 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 him, let, let him answer because oh, 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 hold on. Let let him answer because um I I, I just I'm, I'm going somewhere. So so mm. uh, the but don't give a long answer. Just the north. Uh, do they object to Tenobo's victory largely or not? It is it is divided because mostly people that are okay with Tinubu's victory are mm. the a, a huge part of the Muslim North, not all Muslim North anyway, a, a, a considerable part of the Muslim North. We've had we've had spaces, we have had people, voices in that space talk. We've even had we've even had uh, not any other story say that judiciary, the fate of your con this country is in your hands and all that. So, but what what, what the point I'm making and in conclusion really is what the PC is doing, and it hurts me, especially being here in Lagos and seeing what they are doing here in Lagos, and also seeing some people, because what they're doing here is is almost like when I was in boarding school, rats used to chew your leg. So if the rat chew your leg, it used to blow wind into the leg so you don't wake up. So what they're doing here is they are doing what they are doing, and then the, go the, 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 the government is acting like they don't know this they're doing it that thing that don't know and then they gaslight and then the, the, the media spokesperson will gaslight you and if they keep doing it if one voice from the other side the receiving angle dares to say why is everybody shutting up and taking this let me even speak up like the uh, ajao guy that's that said i pop as as stupid uh, excuse my language as what he said i don't know what would prompt him to be thinking? Why, why are you not talking about you can there's other ways you can rain, rain say governments should rain down on this whatever that is happening in lagos you don't have to bring a pop inside but then he dared to speak up just because the government is not responding and the same dss that refused to pick everybody that has been issuing tribal warnings and actually carrying it out the same police that came to tell us that oh my god, MC Oluomo, we invited him for a tea, a team, a, a, a coffee meeting, a, a, you know, and then uh, we find out that he's a very funny guy. So you know that statement he made is just cracking jokes. And 24 hours later, he, he carried it out. It was carried out, and he's still walking free. And then they keep doing it even after election. That's the one that's pinning me because if the whole idea, and that is why I believe. That the whole idea does not just stop from stopping, does not stop at stopping GRUV. I don't even think GRUV is a personal, it's not a personal, it's a personal non grata in this thing. They know it's not even going to win this election. This, it has a bigger picture, and that is Obi. So if this case gets to a rerun, they want to make sure that Obi is not as popular as it is a couple of months ago. So, because if this thing is just to maintain Lagos, you have retained Lagos now, now. So why is the boy still running? around the streets and attacking ethnic groups why because you want them to get to a point where they will now retaliate violently and you say oh, oh, oh you see you see i told you guys these guys they want to take over lagos i told you, you see what they're now doing but smart as these guys are these southeasterners that's in, we know what you guys want you guys want to push us to anarchy the same thing they did with obi and that's why obi is insisting no matter what protest anybody call obedience don't go there stay in your house don't protest because they want places to burn so they start this crisis so we told you these guys want to bring nigeria down yeah so i'm saying and so and the, i think this agenda this their style of politicking i hate it. anybody in this platform knows how much i hate pdp and every single thing they stood for in 16 years of power every single thing they stood for but the politicking of the apc is almost making me feel like even if it's PDP, let the coup take over with all the hatred I have towards that tickle. Because how are you going to build a country with this style of politicking? It's, it's toxic. You can't be... They are politi in PDP days, at least, I'm not saying the only problem where they get now corruption, they, they tip our money, they're sharing money in Abuja and all that. But they did well with diversity. They did well with managing conflicts. They did well with managing diversity and all of those things and putting the country into be calm. But this APC, with their uh, wait, this campaign media team, what scares me when I wake up in the morning? Are they the ones that will run this government? 
are they the ones that run this government with their rhetorics? And somebody needs to join me on Twitter because people are disconnected with what's going on. People need to follow this. Do you know that FFK came out two days ago? Do you know what he tweeted? He said that this unity that we are found. No, F FFK has always been a wild card. They did not know that. He is a director of media. No, no, no. That wasn't the question. No. The, the, that, that wasn't the question. Uh, FFK. Did, 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 oh, 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 hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, sorry, can you hear me, uh, Uptown? Um, the, were you aware of FFK during the twenty? You know, he was the director of our uh, Good Luck Jonathan's campaign. Okay. Did you but know he, that? He, but he was never tribal. Ah, he was, oh, he was, oh. No, no, no. Should, should, should we go back? You, you, I, 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 I can. I can't give you off the top of my head, but I can just go into Google now or, or YouTube and bring one it man, up. One man. It, it was the language that he was using towards Buhari. It, it, it would it would, it would be locked up in the UK. No, 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 no. You see, FFA can be everything, but bigotry back then was never one of his, his style. It, it see, was. Bigotry, it, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just a master you plan. See, you see, if you join APC, if you join APC, Tinubu's APC, but Buhari's APC. You see, I want to say something, my man. Oh, let, me, right. let, me, let me quickly say this, um, um, up down. If you see the composition of APC, it's a Muslim-led party. The, 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 the leaders, the, those people who have the key... Uh, like like, like, like Oshiba, do you mean? Or Fire Me? No, Oshiba is a spare tire. No, Oshiba is a spare tire. No, Fire Me? Forget that thing, forget that thing. The the uh the, the current president and, 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 the current uh, president the current president is a Muslim. The one that took over from uh, what's his name? Uh, this guy that they pushed out, Adam uh, Adam Zoshimole, is a Muslim. Now the one that succeeded him now is a Muslim. The presidential candidate is not just a Muslim, even his debt. Oh my goodness, what are we talking about? You see, the, the, the fear this guy expressed here right now, that is where I'm going. If these people can be setting this tone right now. Like Yemi Ademolopi said, what are we to expect under these people when they become, when they, when they take over eventually? I see, I foresee a very bleak, well, I just, I, I, hope, I, I, hope, I, hope, I hope I'm wrong. But looking at the, that's what I'm saying to us, that let us not play into the hands of those people. Let us know where to draw the line. We can talk about these matters, but let us know where to draw the line and just move on from this topic. Because I can't, right now, I'm, I'm getting traumatized, even just hearing us saying all of these things. And even imagining or imaginable when it eventually comes to pass. Because when yeah, you have a party that has told this line, and then you have you see the composition of that party is swung to one side of the uh, of a religious divide, it tells you. So the FFK you're talking about, it could be anything, but as soon as he joins APC, he sees the style of their the kind of campaign that is always on the line of not just uh, eth ethnic but religious. That tells you. I, I, that uh, sorry, if, if anybody listening can dig up um, FFK under Good Luck Jonathan and the rhetorics that he please was do, throwing at Buhari. Yeah, you, you know, because I remember distinctly, he was calling him uh, the, the, um, sleeping with cattle, you know, uh, the, the B word, a uh, savage from the Sahel, so, yeah, all, yeah. all of these things. Yeah, he, this he was talking he was about saying. the personality, he wasn't talking about his people. It is different now. FFK yeah. is talking about the people. His last tweet. Yeah, but to, it, 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 did he not? Who, who was he fighting on Twitter from the north? Was he not using the same language? Just the same way. He was fighting somebody on um on Instagram from the north, and they called him. Uh, was he was it Dati Baba Ahmed? He, he used the same okay, language. Yeah. Okay, that, that was when he joined APC. Now, what are you talking about, one man? Yeah, no, but I, I, I just don't want to make the effort. If I go to 2015, I'll do, I can dig up all of the things he said about Buhari. Yeah, I'm not going to make the effort now. Near six hours into one this. Man. Man. Yeah, you know that even you know that even even Kiyamu, that used to have decency have also pulled himself down to also spewing tribal. And religious rituals. That's why I told you that one man can we speak walk. also. Oh, 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 all right. Ra 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 yeah, round off uh, uptown because I think yeah. people are getting impatient. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to round off with that FFK tweet. This man came to tell us exactly what they are planning. He said that this unity between the Southwest and the Muslim North, it's the unity of Nigeria and every other people that want to scuttle it. 
will never score too late ever again. So he has divided Nigeria between the Southwest, obviously, by Southwest, it means the Southwest that is supporting APC, and the Muslim North. That is the one Nigeria IFK have mapped out now for APC government. And then every other person that is not in that space. So people started commenting and saying, please, did, did FFK and the APC give people like Omai, Joe Ibokwe, this memo that they are not going to be part of this government or they are not part of this one Nigeria that FFK have, mapped, have carved out according to their victory now? They have carved out a particular one Nigeria called APC Southwesterners and Muslim not every other person is uh, they are they are not you, you, you know you like, know you know you know the most dangerous thing coming out of these elections at the moment is not a uh, whatever Banyo or no guy is saying or FFK is this doomsday apostasy that we're hearing from your camp this doomsday apostasy uh look oh the uh, and, but uh, there it is that, no, that's no, just no, my no, view no, no, this no, doomsday apostasy that, no no Anybody that do not call what APC is doing out, I'm sorry. Every brush I paint APC with, I paint the person. Brother, I'm APC really very is sorry. not doing anything. Because it's APC, a political party. We have spent oh, that oh, oh, in oh, APC. Oh, oh, what is it? It's a political oh, oh, party. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, 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 Let's go on to Fatai. Fatai, come into the conversation at whatever entry point of your choice. Come in, Fatai. What? One man, one man. Uh, and and by the way, uh, and by the way, so apologies. So it's been like an endurance test, isn't it? All the waiting around, but there it is. Uh, I mean, it's amazing, one man. Actually, I mm. came in. Actually, you didn't even want to spend a lot of time on the program. You know, and actually, <laughs> yeah. And a boy, a boy, Alexander Gomez. I just, I just, I just hate fatal. Let me, a boy, a boy, I'm here to see you plan, plan for me. But the taxi we just love back, but Jerry. No, you, you, were, you were right. You were right the first time. Oh, oh there's no planet. <laughs> Never buy <a> platform. <laughs> <for carrying. laughs> platform, platform. Yeah. And I even just wanted to come and say, "Egbo, I kill on shell." I've not even been able to say uh, after uh, Egbo Alexander addressed uh, the situation that he just mentioned my name in the past. I've no, no, I know. I, I just wanted to say, "Egbo." Uh, Boy, uh, how far now? <laughs> she will show. <laughs> she will never show. <laughs> but that's by the way. But see what I like. But I could do better. One man. I want to. One man. I want to say two prayers. You know, to God. You know, one of them. I pray to God. The name of Abiola, right? Name of Abiola will never be censored. Because I've heard uptown like two, three times repeated the name. Oh, they say Abiola. They say Abiola. Hey, this man laid down his life to in the fight for democracy. And so people, when people are saying democracy, this demo, uh, in this situation that they want to put in uh, truncate this democracy or whatever it is, or uh, they want to do in time government or whatever it is, and they are likening it to Abiola. It's the it's 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 a parallel to pa democracy. They want to truncate democracy. Just like they did with Abiola, how is that tribal? God will not let anybody as uh, use Abiola's name and say tribal to censor it. No, we will always forever say Abiola is a hero. Why can't we see FFP to uh, retweeted Abiola when uh, Tunumbu was speaking in Abiokuta? I don't even get the link. What is it? What is all this jump? And Abiola is a hero. That is a Yoruba name does not then mean it has to be seen. People cannot say his name again. People say everything is tribal. Everything is tribal. Even our own name now also has become tribal. We cannot mention Igbo name is tribal. Now our own name now is going to be tribal as well. We cannot also mention our own name. And this thing needs to needs this thing needs to have boundary. At some point, some of us will not even care what anybody say. Oh. Some of us will not even care. Oh. All these things need to have a boundary. Oh. One man, God will bless you. God will bless your platform. Oh. May you never be censored. Oh. We, we, some of some of the people that love the platform the, for the conversation. Nobody can say we can't speak now. You would rather not come to the platform than, rather than not speak. I would rather not come rather than not speak. If I don't want to come, I don't want to come. What's the point to come and not speak? Now, Rational Man made a rule now. He said nobody should interject anybody. Since that time I waited, I was watching. Rational Man has interjected one million times people. But he, to his today, he made the rule. That some people should not interject people because that time they were speaking about this uh, this uh, deep fake about a tape that is not deep fake that is original. Oh, all right, take take us to that space then. Deep deep fake. What is is now something now that we all have to become expert in now. Deep fake 
or not one night is not you, you know you know somebody actually now. just sent, sent me something yeah, on, yeah. On, on, yeah, yeah. Go carry on. <laughs> one mind is not one mind. They say if we speak, we go die. If we no go, if we no speak, we go still die. Man, we will speak. When that death go come, it go come. The thing not be deep fake. The thing are real. They first of all they say is DSL release it. Well, if DSL tap your phone, right? They tap the phone conversation. Well, there is so, like if you if there is somebody speak who was before Peter Obi starts to speak. There is somebody speaking in the background. So DSL will tap the communication going on between the speaker, the caller, and the receiver. Right, and if the receiver didn't put it on loudspeaker, he's not going to capture external voices that are not part of these two people. So there, are, there are external voices captured in the conversation. How many, how many things do you, how many, how many resources are you going to put in to make this deep fake? What is the value of this deep fake that people will go all? What my if you know the variations of of the pitch in that this thing, it is not possible. It, 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 that is 99.9 percent .9 confidence that is not a deep fake. The, of course, you can make a deep fake of anything if you really, 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 really want it. You can sit down there and spend all the money and everything and do and feed in everything. Look at the layers of the sound now. The layers of the sound is too there's too much variation there. How can anybody call that a deep fake? The on arise, the arise never even debunked it. All right, they were playing it. Oh my, don't you know uh, when uh, when uh, what is his name? Uh, what is his name again? Uh, this guy, rice guy now that was fighting, um, that was on Doctor Damages over the week. Rufai, 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 Rufai. Yeah, Rufai. When he wants to do salmonization, when he when he have the uh, the facts, when he say, or oh, at least he think, we even did one day one man here on this platform when he was accused, when he was saying to uh, the lawyer Kayamo say. Oh, Vatai, we lost you. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I think uh, yes, the video will, they captured him. One man, can I come in now? Uh, at least? It, it, yeah, yeah come, come, come in now. So sorry, me ASAP. Is, uh, apologies. It's not usually like this, but this is just how it's gone. Uh, uh, so yeah, let's hear from you. You're new to the space, are you? Well, I've been here. One man, can you hear me? For... Uh, no, we, we we yeah we lost you, but now uh, 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 somebody has stepped into the bridge. Just give him a moment. It's a new voice. Uh, okay, come okay, in. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah, come in. actually uh, I would like um you know I I was actually supposed to speak after um what's his name the uh, before Adadia Adaya. So I've been waiting before even the and and I think um when Mr. Fatai entered. I was thinking I was, um, one man had indicated that I was going to come in before him. Um, so oh, I, I, I apologize. I, I, I no, take no, the for no, 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 no. Yeah, fair, fair is fair. So, so apologies. Yeah, so I carry think on. I mm. close to um, about three hours. Um, I did, what I wouldn't have spoken with today. But first of all, let me let me start by appreciating your platform. I've been following you for a very um, for quite some time now since um, the beginning of the election. Um, that was uh, before the beginning of the election. That was around January. I'm, I'm not sure February, but um, and then I would like to appreciate your tenacity and then your, your panelists as well. Um, Who, who's who's your favorite? Who is your favorite panelist? <laughs> as, if, as if we don't it's know. Actually, as if we don't. I, 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 it's you, obviously. So <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not a panelist. I'm just the noise maker. Is that is that good? Yeah, so I actually like every one of us and your contributions. However, um, um, you know, the variation of that it comes, you know, sometimes you still learn a few things. So, but one of the things that, um, and then I also like to appreciate panelists too, in, um, in particular people, I don't want to mention anybody's name, but I, everyone that is here today and those who are absent as well, I, I appreciate you guys and I've learned a lot. So um, what actually spurred me to come to um, say today, at least I would um, break away from my shell and I would want to speak is because um, I, I wish some, some people had not gone off so I, I could um, like try to speak with and rub minds with them and let them see, maybe present a kind of mirror so that they will see where they are speaking from and uh, they would also be able to, you know, uh, uh, come to terms with some of the things they say. 
I think one man has been very, very, very lenient. He has been very lenient, and um, this the sort of things that take that happen in this space cannot happen. I we know we've been saying it. People have been saying it before me. The likes of Ogbeni have been saying it before me. They cannot happen in another space. And I think that many of the many of I think it has come to a point where this thing is taken for granted. That is what I, I can see. If you know you can't go to another space and spew some of these things with with um uh, with reckless in some in some instances in with a uh, with a uh, confidence and with a uh, with a uh, a kind of convenience then why do we come here and then we can say some things and then we also challenge one man again over those same things so another thing i want to say is that one man please is it possible is a suggestion it may not be taken but because you know how the platform runs better than i would know is it possible that because i've seen this done on other platforms i mean in the in the us here is it possible that you uh, kind of time people because i think people are not are really aware that other people are also waiting for them to finish talking and you know as one is talking somebody is already interjecting and i can see that there's this kind of um way that people, there's this kind of um, you know, com com comfort that we have when we are already talking and then we are not really maybe conscious of the fact that somebody else is also waiting in line. And then we even keep going on and going on and going on and we're not really conscious. I, if there could be a kind of time that one is already expected at this sort of time, maybe 15 minutes, I would end and then I pass it on to another person. That may give some of us, um, you know, a kind of like a kind of uh, di direction and reg regularity in this. Then the other thing I wanted to say, which I wanted to really address, I wish the person was around, is my very, uh, 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 I'll call him my, like my, like my egg bone. And that's uh, Alexander Gomez. And I wish he's... Uh, you can't attack Alexander. Oh, you know that's the rule. There, 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 there are two people you can't attack. Uh, Alexander <laughs> and Ajan Le Coco. You can attack everybody else, but those two people, they are protected species. <laughs> Yeah, uh, 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 certain things then he went on to make and the reason i'm trying to is not an attack is to because when he made that statement i was like okay so people will leave now with this knowledge and whether you like it or not my, 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 that many, there are many people i believe that are listening to these spaces and they are in a position to speak but for one reason or another because they will be looking at uh, certain things they may not come up to speak so but then again we have to uh, run at a risk of um, having people say statements that might not that make might, might make that may give a wrong impression and if we're not careful people will go on with that wrong impression thinking that they are carrying out uh, maybe that based on certain things they've heard especially from the horse's mouth so he made which is he, he, what is not an attack please but it's just a kind of misnomer that i want to bring our attention to uh, Egbon said something along the line. He, he, he said something about Samuel Ajayi Crowder being the one who coined the name Yoruba. I, I maybe I stand to be corrected, but I don't think that is the case. I don't want to go into the specifics of it, but it was but from based on my little knowledge, Ajayi Crowder did not coin that name Yoruba. The Anogo that he mentioned, yes, that is our name. And that is not the only name we've also had. I'm, and the, you see, it's funny because there's a lot of research that has been done already on this. So if people really care, I'm not talking about um, um, Mr. Gomez now. I'm saying the people... No, no, what is, your, what is the basis of your disagreement with Alexander? Because you can't say you don't think and then, and then not present a contrary explanation. Okay, I, so, it, so what's it, your again, contrary? Again, it's not a disagreement with him. It's just no, that. no, it, we are, you are evolving a narrative now, so evolve it then to a better understanding. 
Okay, right, sir. So, okay, now, so this is what I will say. In, in through my to my knowledge, the name Yoruba itself is more or less what we call an exonym. It's a name that actually we got is not our own name. We have, like you mentioned, our own name. Manogo. We, there are other people that will say things like uh, um, 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 there are other people that will say things like um, oh, okay, uh, uh, um, there are um, uh, um, uh, there are other names like that. But the name Yoruba actually emanates from from the Hausa tribe as an exonym, which is a kind of... Y Yoruba wa, are you doing the... Is it the Yoruba wa? Yes, sir. Exactly. Okay. So it's... So it's even, then, and there are, there are other, other, other scholars who will also give a different interpretation. So it, I don't think that is a, a, a representative. So, so that I'm sure that we will not think, okay, uh, the Yorubas themselves are actually at a, a local heads with that a particular name and there's a lot of because what made it, what spurred my egg to even say it was the fact that there were a lot of there's a, there's been a lot of you know jostling about who uh, who owns lagos and who and then um uh, what's his name uh, um this man that all that you were trying to correct at some point um uh mr joel made a statement that uh, who is the person mentioning uh, Lagos is no man's land. And, and I looked at it and I've been, we've been hearing this over and over and over again. Let me let me now, so I said, okay, no, okay, maybe I should now give my own personal example, my own personal experience. If, if you are saying that on one hand I will shoot point, no, but of course, let's just be realistic. Nobody's going to be able to point and pinpoint and say, this so, so, so and so person, a personality said so. No, but we know in our personal experiences we, that people that are not Maybe may not be personalities or maybe not be celebrities. Have we've come across certain words like that in the past? Even is it going in the buses? Is it going on? I, for one, what I remember growing up in Lagos, I will be in the bus going from a cotton to Oshodi, and I will hear in the bus, except somebody is not telling me that I am lying. I would hear, I remember the conversation going in the bus, going to Oshodi, and I will hear someone make a passing statement, derogatory statement, and say things like that, and say things like. Lagos is no man's land. And I know the extraction from where that person is coming from. And, you know, some people will keep quiet in the bus. Some people will take it up in the bus. Now, can I point out, can I, can I come to this platform now and now say, okay, I can point out that person? Of course, we don't know that person. That person was, was we're just the same. We also rode on the same bus with that person. But those kind of one-to-one -on -one experiences don't necessarily, we cannot pinpoint and say that, okay, this person said it. So it's more or less like the same gaslighting they talked about is the same tactic that is being used when you want to now drive home the point that nobody said Lagos. We know people say it. And but is, is, there, is, there not, is, there, is there not an argument for it, though? Because when people say Lagos is no man's land, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that there were not a, a bunch of people indigenous to the space. But for, for the special status that Lagos State has in the Nigerian experience, it's uh, evolving uh, out of being at uh, the federal capital territory for such a long time, which then became home to virtually all ethnic nationhood within Nigeria, and they don't know any better than Lagos. So the sense of ownership that are uh, yeah. born and bred three generations deep, southeasterner, northwesterner, etc., that they feel towards Lagos, uh, it, it lends to that it being like a cosmopolis uh, for everybody. So uh, uh, one well. man, just a quick intersection. What you mm. just said now, why can't the Ausa, the Efik, the Edo, the other people that are also stay in Lagos as the capital city of Nigeria, why don't they lay the same claim like the South are laying? I want you to I mean, I mean, well, how, how, do, how, how, how do you mean they don't lay? How do you know they don't lay the same claim? The fact that they don't verbalize it, they, do, they don't vocalize it, don't, don't mean that they don't hold that sentiment. So if they okay. lay the same claim and they don't verbalize, that means they respect the culture and tradition of the indigenous. Which is good. No, no, it, 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 no, no. It's, it's down to ethnic personalities. Now, the the northerners by nature are instinctually conservative and quiet and set to the background. You have to prod at them to get a reaction. But the 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 easterners, they are very they're very confident and very fort fort forthcoming in expression. Okay, if oh, you say woman. something okay. like that, then you don't blame the indigenous for coming now to to say enough is enough. 
Oh, 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 all right. Let, 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 let's go back to me. me. Yeah, go back. Carry on me. Kilo why, why are you laughing? <laughs> because I like one man static. One man, one man tries to play. You see, that's one thing I love about one man. He tries to play it fair, even on the behalf of those same people that are attacking. Because no, it's, 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 just for, it's just for balance now. It's just for <laughs> yeah, balance. And, and yeah. I really appreciate it. Now, mm. so, okay, now this is the thing. One man, I will not even go in that direction. You know why I won't go in that direction? Because the likes of Baba Ajahn Likoko has sufficiently, sufficiently, uh, um, um, what's his name? Uh, Ogbeni has sufficiently dealt with this, with all of these things and this in, in windows. But I will come from this angle. Now, if you say that, um, uh, because the whole thing that generated, because I was even surprised, I was like, okay, I thought we've dealt this with this issue. And why, why am I not hearing cases of Jandol again? I'm sorry, of um, GRV again. And that was why I, I was going to speak today. So I, now, let's even look at this. What brought up this was, okay, they, we rejected our child. He's a uh, Chinedu, Igbao. Okay, let us, let me ask a question. Was it only Chinedu who ran for governorship in Lagos? So it, 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 you know, it, it is this kind of narrative that I'm, I'm beginning to see. It's as though if you don't vote for Chinedu, you have rejected him. It's as though, like somebody said, it's a zero-sum game. You, we, we will still lose at the end of the day. Even if we win, we will lose. That is the what that is what that is, that is the bottom line. Okay, because let's look at it. No one man, sorry, I, I may be wrong. So I will have to ask you because you 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 are very, very vast in this. Jando, where is Jando from? I think it's from Ikorodu there about. I'm not sure, but I think it's a Lagosian. Uh, that's my uh, uh, unless somebody wants to correct me. Yeah, he was born in Motion. He's now and he's also a worry. He's a worry by ethnicity. Now, so let's even talk about indigenous. If Jando is a worry and Chinedu, let me use his name. Bodanon is a is a um, Lagosian, which is Lagos Island based, right? Whether somebody says returning or not, he's Lagos based, he's indigenous. Now, well, why do you have that name as Chinedu? Is Chinedu his first name? No, no, I as I you can see that you can see I used Bolaon. You can see I used but, but, uh, you, you can use Badebo if you want to get sorry, his sorry, name sorry, really. Badebo, <laughs> Badebo. So yeah, now, I, I say I, I say okay, now Badebo is also a um, Lagos Island based, right? Now why can't why is it that the narrative that has held that has held sway till today, which should have even died long ago after the election? Why is it that people are particular and when they are bringing up this issue, they are particular about GRV? Where have you put Jando, who's a worry? Why are they, why are they so much you know simple? Is, is it is this your question that uh if people are asking that um uh why it was Badebo not voted for? Uh, uh, and they are attributing it to its uh, ethnic diversity in terms of parenthood. Yes. So then, then why then do you explain why Jando was not voted for? That is what, that is, that's also my question. My question is like, so it's, it's already, it's, it's like as if they think, look, as you people are talking, you have to understand that there are people in the background who are also listening. And they are hearing your sides of the argument. They know our biases. They are listening to me right now. They know where we are biased. And see, bias is not a bad thing. That's one. That's another thing I wanted to. I wanted to bring. Uh, I, I was. I felt like sharing. Bias is not bad. It's part of human nature. In fact, it's necessary for survival. The only time when bias becomes a uh, terrible is when it's done at the expense of the other. But that's why I said this thing has been dealt with. Has been done f uh, flawlessly by the by the other panelists. I'm surprised that it still keeps coming up. So if GRV is 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 um, contesting for the same post, and he is has a Lagos Lagos indigenous that he can trace, and then Jando too also is in the same class and can claim Lagos with the same to the same degree. Then why is it as though everyone is circling about the uh, um, um, uh, GRV? Is he the only one qualified among the three, the three major? He's not the only one. So it's the, you see then that then the, the person who is on who is now the listener who will begin to think that Abi there's something wrong there's something else about this Chinedu or uh, Badebo. People will think that way that you did you know it's not it's that still you're not fighting for Jando which is also a, a Lagosian but you're fighting for that 
And that's, those are the things that would make people now say, okay, they will enter into what is kind of survivor defensive mode. I say, okay, it seems there's something else. And I don't want to go into all the things that surround uh, uh, because, they, like I said, they've been dealt with. But the only thing I wanted to just bring out is their worship of Jando. And he, if you look at his qualification, he is well read, well sound. In fact, go if you look at his CV, he's not only schooled in Nigeria. So if Yoruba could not choose that one as why are we now being nailed to the cross for not choosing a uh, GRV? You, if, 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 you, if the narrative... You, was you, are, that, you are really struggling to prevent yourself from calling him Tine, do not you? I can hear that. <laughs> well, carry on. Another, uh, thing I wanted to bring, another thing I wanted to bring to, bring to our, our, our attention is this. People keep saying things like um, uh, our, our diversity. Then we should put aside our diversity. And we should, I, 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 I'm so surprised that Nigeria is going down. Uh, but because, um, my, my brother, uh, one man... The name Chinedu is this middle name or third name? I it's just a want mi- to it's, 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 it's his middle name. His first name is Badibo. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think I called him Badibo last the last uh, uh, statement I made. So, no, carry on. Yeah. Okay. So now, so there's nothing someone else said here that I was like, okay, this thing has this person has been saying this thing for a long, and it's like he thinks we are not listening to what he's saying. We are listening. And, the, and we, we know he cannot say those things on the reverse. But he's saying it when it's our own turn. You see, when you... Okay, I'm not going to try. I will try to be on point as, as much as possible. Let's... Let, 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 let me, I want to talk about this issue of... Uh, if uh, somebody came up with the narrative that... Uh, uh, the way, you can see the way the platform is... The, even the vibe, one man, one man, can I interject, please? Please, please, sir, before you interject... Like, yeah, yeah, you, 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 you can interject, but before you interject or anything, just give me a moment, me, uh, me, ASAP. Uh, just give me a micro moment just to quickly document something. Uh, you already all know where I'm going. Uh, so uh, Ayo is on the platform, and you, you know whenever Ayo turns up on the platform, he, he registers himself properly. So that's Ayo doing the coffee thing. So so thank you, Ayo. Uh, and, and, and then, of course... Uh, the, the coffee thing was backed up by uh, 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 um, uh, Super Chats from Alexander Gomez, uh, Rotimi, who has been using that space uh, uh, a bit, and he used it twice. So a bit of a lull in that Super Chat area, but uh, it carries on. But it carries on only now under the excellent uh, supervision of uh, the mighty Thomas. So Thomas, over to you as I ease myself out. Uh, carry on. Carry on, uh, me, ASA. All right, sir. Now, uh, uh, so another thing I wanted to say was the issue of uh, we, 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 is as though we should not be Nigerian. They, they make a comparison between Nigeria and America. Actually, in the U.S., uh, nobody sees himself as uh, one tribe and the rest. Those are what I can call false equivalents. Because, number one, they, like I said, there's nothing wrong in bias itself. It's only when it's now beginning to be weaponized and used at the expense of another, that's when you cannot say bias is now becoming a problem. Bias is meant for survivor. Now, if you say uh, we should drop our ethnicity and we say we are first night, no, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think, so, think so. And I, here's, here's the reason why I don't think so. Because even our founding father, Tafa Balewa, also made a statement to address this issue. When Awo was trying to wonder, okay, uh, should we, we should we should put aside our differences and the and and and, and, and so that Nigeria can move forward, and Tafa Balewa had to call him and say and say, read in one of his speech and said, no, he doesn't think so because you see, like I think Ogbeni has dealt with this issue where he said you cannot take away the culture of a person from the person itself. The culture is the person itself. It's his way of life. It's his way of doing things. If you take away that culture, you, what we should strive for is that you is that unity in our diversity. Not that you will not tell us that okay, we should drop our diversity for the unity. That's not how it works. It's like putting a cart before the horse. And Tafa Balewa will go on to make this statement and say we must recognize our diversity and the pac- the peculiar conditions under which the uh, the different tribal communities live in the country. That's what he said. I think in one of his speech, and his speech is online. is very is, is one of his magnificent speeches online available. So this issue where we now begin to say, okay, we should put aside our uh, urbanness. Now let me ask you a question. 
Why is it that anytime it comes to issues of this election, all that we have discussed today, all that we have discussed today, in fact, the topic of the on the on the thumbnail is completely different from what we discussed. Why is it that everything we've discussed today has been on Lagos? I thought we are after the development of Nigeria. We are after unity over Nigeria. Okay, is it only Lagos that has a problem? We it's like we live, we are focusing on Lagos. Fine, no problem. Let's focus on Lagos. But at the expense of other parts of Nigeria, for heaven's sake, other parts exist. So it's as though we are feeding Lagos and we are now malnourishing the other parts. Everyone is talking about Lagos. And I said, okay, this all your wisdom. All the wisdom, all the ideas, the intellect that you are bringing a suggestion that we should put aside our differences for Lagos, have you applied them back home? Don't you, if, if it's so good for Lagos, don't you think it would be good for back home? Don't you think it would be good for, if it's good for Lagos, yes, it will, if it, it, will move, it will move Lagos forward. Then why can't we also apply it, if it's so good, why can't we also apply it back home? Why is it only Lagos? These are the things that will make people think, okay, it's like there's something about this Lagos, and they will become defensive. Another issue is the issue of a, a Badagri, whether Badagri, um, I think it was Ife that made that statement, and I was, and I, and I just shook my head. Ife cannot tell me that his tribe or his subgroup in Badagri is the only subgroup in Badagri. And why do I say that? There are other subgroups in Badagri that can trace their direct lineage to the Yoruba race. It's all, it's, and all of these things are online. They've been dealt with, they've been done by, what's the um, professor, what's his name? Uh, Falola. Tony Falola has dealt decisively with these issues that we can, if we start to start dissecting all of these issues, we cannot leave this platform today. There's a lot of historical evidence that has been documented that shows the, the indigenous ship of Lagos has been Yoruba. And what pains me is that our leaders have, and that is one of the reasons, when our leader, I don't want to mention anybody's name, removed history from the curriculum of, they did it for a purposefully, and, that's, and we have seen the result today. Because when you can, if, how would you feel if I came to, if, I, if it came over an issue of maybe a southwest, southeastern state, and I begin to cast aspersions over the ethnicity, of that state, would you be happy? Even um, the, um, the, the lady who mentioned, what's her name, um, Adaja, I was just laughing. Erelu, Erelu that is in Lagos State, Lagos Island cannot make the statement she made. We're saying, okay, uh, 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 is, we, she presented this, the, the narrative as though it were uh, Lagosians were being forced to vote APC, and I laughed. Um, Jando is Awori. Now, who do you think Awori's will vote for? Would they vote for LP? So it's, it's, as, it's as though uh, when um, Jewel was presenting, it's as though, though everywhere we, sh we, sh we, have, we have now hoodwinked the entire uh, South Easterners that are living in Lagos to vote for a part, particular part, um, to vote for a particular part. That's not the case. Lagos is very diverse. So I, I, I honestly, this on uh, and uh, Badagri has, from from the onset has also been diverse, and there are tribes there that can trace their lineage directly. Now here's here's the thing. For the records, if you like, we go. If no matter where we go, you know. If we grow down deep down 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 to the to the beginnings of the beginnings to ground zero, we will still find that the first original settlers, original settlers in the place we call Lagos, we can call it whether Lagos Island. Some people will say okay, Greater Lagos. Some people will say okay, the entire Lagos, whatever language you call it, the entire region that is currently called Lagos State today, I want to tell you though the first settlers that put foot. On that region with the Awuris and they are Yorubas. So even if we want to go back to the beginnings of the beginnings, and these things have been dealt with by numerous scholars. One and, of them is an Awuri are from Ilefe. Thank you. Uh, that, that, that's from Ilefe. Yes. Uh, if please, for, for those who are in doubt, for those who are in doubt, 
I would like you to go and uh, read the works of um, what's her name, this fantastic uh, um, scholar, uh, which, which is which um, which. Okay, just give me just give me one one minute, and I'll and I'll fetch and I'll fetch her. her, 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 her you may you may need to buy it online, but you go and read. She did a decisive a seminar work on the on the historicity on the historicity of Lagos. And the funny things that our leaders know, but this Baba Josa, I have a message for you. Please, sir, in, in your meetings with the people who are uh, who are in charge, who are in, in, who are who have been given the opportunity to hold the reins of power, I think uh, it's time they do a decisive. Um, to, it is not the fault of all of us that are dragging this issue, but when our leaders, the, the, the posture that our leaders have taken has actually given room for this to happen. So I, I, I would appeal, sir, that maybe they can do a decisive job and let us know where things stand so that this kind of thing will not crop up again in the future. You know that I don't uh, 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 I'm not. Uh, I don't align with uh, any one of these two parties. PDP. Shawere is my guy, yo. so they, <laughs> and they are not my people because they don't. Oh. Uh, they don't represent anybody but themselves and their family and their political associate. That's it. So, oh. um, uh, I, my my political alignment is uh, Shawere. And uh, Adewale, those are the two guys I believe that uh, the young Nigerians should, uh, you know, line behind. But they decided to go with uh, the whole card. I mean, old guard. So <laughs> the old card goes. Yeah, old card. Goes. <laughs> I don't. And I, 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 and I actually I was, I was surprised when everybody decided to go with uh, this thing because I thought we were all going after Shure. All, all of a sudden, we we, we switched. And I and I and I wonder. Anyway, to to for those who are really interested in really digging deep, and they don't want all these side shows, they want the truth, and nothing but the truth. You can at least, uh, um, if you can lay your hands on the work of Christian Mann. On the title of the book is called Slavery. And the you go, you? sorry, another you both telling us the history of Lagos, sir. Eh? Sorry, I didn't get that, sir. Is is it is, is this person this Christian uh, Ma you're talking about? Is he the white person? Yes, a white white person. Yeah, so another... <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just I, I just did, did you hear when I mentioned Tony Falala? I, I think I heard you say that. Eh, so I'm 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 now why I brought it up her own work is okay. because you know if I bring in Tony Falola now, you see that's the funny thing. My my thinking was that if I brought in Tony Falola. The first inkling would be like, well, of course, where do you expect what do you expect him to say? Is it not Yoruba? That is why I said, okay, let us bring in an independent. And this why is it independent? Because she was um, what do they call these scholars? This um this um ones that they give special grants to that is very difficult to get the grants. Um archaeologist. Eh? archaeologist. No, 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 no. There's a there's a there's a particular scholarship that is very difficult for um, researchers to get. There's a, that we have to strive. It's a very very competitive um um uh, this thing. It's like um there's a name for it. Anyway, I will remember. Let in remember. what field? No, in any field. It, 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 they, they can give you the grants, you know. And once you get the grants, you it's always it's boys before you can get that. Eh? NGOs. No, if I mention it, people will know it here. If I mention it, they will, they will know it. But she, she was given that grant. So there is no, on the basis of, you know, um, conflict full of interest. Bright. Full bright. Exactly. Full bright. She was given a full bright scholarship. So this work was not a work where uh, it was past nine. She has any, there's no, there's nothing like a conflict of interest in this. She doesn't, she's not after, she's not a Yoruba. She's not a Benin. So she has no dog in this fight. And that is, that, is, that is the reason why I referred to her work. It's not as if I don't... Now, there are other works too by other people. There's a man from... There's a man, he's a scholar. He's, a, he's from Bini. And he's, he's a scholar. And he has done a fantastic work too. He too, if you look at all of these scholars, they point at one in the 
indefatigable, indefeatable fact that Lagos is Yoruba. There's even a court case. Albanish will know about this, it's what I want to say. That was done in, I think, in, 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 uh, in, the, in the 1900s, that's in the 19th century, over the same issue of Lagos, Lagos ownership. And it's in the annals of the British, of, of, in, in British, in current day UK. And the, in that same case, also, it was determined that Lagos is Europa. So, even if you, the only, the only way problem now starts coming up is where we now start having cases of Lagos was a, a capital city, like um, he was bringing up, like a uh, woman was bringing up. That's where people now begin to now lose sight of where Lagos actually really stands. And then the, the so called indigenous too have not also helped matters. I grew up with, with, with these awardees. I know their lifestyle, but that can bear me weakness. People that are here too can bear me weakness. We know that awardee people don't they naturally, they don't contend with people. They take life too easy. And when they, how about the people, our brothers in Lagos Island? They are the Jai they are the ones that enjoy. They go, even the same Rhodes family, we know the kind of lifestyle they lived. So that kind of thing has, has like given inroad. To this kind of thing that's it. Lagos from the onset has been always a, a hospitable, welcoming family. I don't want to go into some of these, but if there's cause to go into some of them in the future, I would I, I would maybe begin to go into the, the, the nitty-gritty of what it means. Some of these things as well are available on, on Lagos State website, the Lagos State official website. You can read some of this history. So Oh, uh, thank, thank, thank you so much. Uh, can you just sum up in maybe two minutes? Then we okay, can so, go yeah, to so, the next. Thing. Okay, okay. So I think I think that, I think I will just end that from from, from here and maybe talk about it and uh, other things later. But those are the major things I wanted to just bring to our attention. Uh, uh, please, thank can, you I, so can much. I call me? Uh, can I call me? Because I have some question here to ask. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let, if we want to balance our history. Is going to be very very complex. Yes, that's true. Because the reason is this: the British arrival did a lot of harms to we. I'm I'm from Edo. I'm from Benin. To the Calabari and to the Ife. Why do I mention these three uh, people? I didn't mention Yoruba. Neither the Igbo. If you go to ancient book, even 18th century books, they talk about Ife, never Yorubas. So we have a lot of research to do. So we can analyze this thing in a way to unite ourselves. Though the Benin narration of history of Lagos, Ife, differ from the way Yoruba narrated. But one thing is very clear, that these people coexisted they have functioned together. They have lived together. They might have trade together. And so many things have been taking place for centuries upon centuries that connected these people. We can't deny that. But they came and they arrived. They never want to document anything about us. All they were just after was for their own interest. And uh, we also, the, the current day Yoruba, that word Yoruba that we use to describe Ife people, it's a very controversial issue that yes, we really need to true. analyze. That's, that's very we, need, we really need to analyze. analyze. The Benin still remain, oh, but that of Ife is completely silent with the word Yoruba. Then yet there come another area of the Igbo themselves. And that word Igbo, even prior to the colonization, you hardly find a book that recognizes it in Nigeria. People need to go and make research. Midwest, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let, me, let me chip in a little point. You will continue. You still have the ground. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yes, it, it's good that you are, you, you, you mentioned that, um, you mentioned those three kingdoms that were empires. They were empire, not even kingdom. Yeah. yeah empire. Description. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, three empires. Um, yeah, that means many kingdoms were involved, yes. but there yeah. was a center where they were all governed. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Without uh, the Yoruba. You, you know the people that were the original Yorubas, 
are the your, your people. The yeah, your, where your, the Ife is, Abi? No, 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 no. Ife is a kingdom okay. of his own. It was if a kingdom of his ever, own. If there were never Yoruba people, the okay. people that call themselves Yoruba people are the or your people or your empire. Yeah. Or your empire. Yes. And that or your so, is so connected to Benin. So I'm telling you. Or yeah. your empire were the one that called themselves Yoruba. Even the Ondo, the Ondo kingdom. Yeah. And the um Ejabode kingdom, the all of them did not call themselves Egba Kingdom. All of them were on their own, on their own separate entity. They were yeah. never all Yoruba. It was in but, 19... But I, I also believe it that was one 19... of these people for the Midwest, empire Midwest, of hold on, Midwest, hold on, let Adalego okay. could land. There it was in 1930 or so that the colonial... Mass, you know that the Oyo Empire that called themselves Yoruba, they were more uh, popular than other kingdoms. And uh, they control more territories. And they were the ones that um, when these British people came, British discovered them that they control more territory than others. And having, you know, listening to our history, they discovered that the Egba Empire, the, um, uh, I mean, say, the Egba Kingdom, the Ijabu, Ijabu Kingdom, and all the rest, the Ondo, all of them emanated from Ileife. So it was yeah. these people met them, the British met them. The British were the one that recommended that since all of you are the same from the same source, why not be one name so that you can all be, you know, be recognized? Because it was so difficult for the British then. You know that white people, they are very smart. So they teach them. They were able to, you know, in order to control them, they, they advised them to come under one umbrella as one entity, one uh, identity. Let them have one identity. Yeah. It will be easier for them. So some kingdom, like the um, uh, uh, Ife, didn't want to accept it. He said, no, we are, we are the father of them all. We are the father of this uh, or your empire. We are the father of all, all of them. I can't bear them. My, my name, we are Ife, and all of them, they would rather bear this thing. But, you know, due to persuasion and everything, and all of them, say, well, what is the point? Even the name it doesn't matter. It is even better. Let us come together as, you know, one uh, let us be our one family name and that was and since then everybody from different kingdom have been uh you know uh, uh become part of uh, of the of it yeah so all, all of them started to uh bear that name oh yoruba 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 and that was what uh, brought us to where we are today so i i, I just want to support your point that you made earlier that uh, there wasn't a uh, uh, Yoruba, it was uh, if uh, Calabari and uh, Edo, I mean, no, Bini Kingdom, yes. That that, that yes. was true. So, uh, you so, can continue. Um, I want to put this, I, I want to put people oh, this oh, one. Okay. Yes, uh, yeah, I want to go back to Fatai, but yeah, make, make your point, yeah. Okay, now, you see, all these things, we are not for the interest of indigenous people. It was, if you go to British, you will see administrative conveniency. And most of these British activities, for me, when I'm trying to talk about history of your, of the Ife, Yoruba, maybe Bini, I don't want to bring Britain in because this is like a, a, a recent event. We are far older than that. 
and except we start, we start looking into um, the way our ancestors live their life, being able to, you know, perceive it, we are not going to balance this history. Because the arrivals of the British is too new. We have talked about Portuguese trading with these people, a palm oil, even when the Royal Niger K a company came, according to what I find out, they did not even came when the British were, they came when the Portuguese were really in charge of business with the traditional people, because it was so cordial in that area. So I think they have done a lot of damages, but for we are the people, what we have to be conscious about is how to narrate this issue for unity. That's why there will be differences. I see no reason why somebody will point to this tribe is not a Yoruba, so therefore he must start fighting Yoruba. I don't know what that what they mean by that. This tribe is not an Edo tribe, so he must be anti Bini. So all this narration of history is creating a very big problem. And we need to start countering it, or else we are going to have serious problems. But this problem is created by Yoruba themselves. Because it was during Obasanjo administration, and I think Minister of Education from Eastern part of Nigeria then they truncated the history of this country. Instead of them to pump money, to make research. Okay, I was with somebody the other day. I, I saw a program to say, let me just put this. I think that, that, that the free... Midwest, was Midwest, there. please. Midwest, please. I will come back to you. Fata is, okay. is on the line before. I will come back ah, to you. Sorry, yes, sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't know. No, I thought it's here. Right. No, no, okay. that's all right. Yeah, I will come back to you. Thank you. Uh, do we have okay. Fatai? Fatai. Fatai, we don't have Fatai. Actually, yeah. Uh, Babala. Bo, ni bo. Ah, fan, ah, fan. I do. I do. Ah, yeah, I do. Ah, yeah, love you. I do. Yeah. You were speaking before. The original. The original Michael. Original. You were speaking before. Ah, my, ah, my co. <laughs> Baba Jan to carry kote niwa ah te claim pe we are not even claiming ah claiming pe eh, ten generation of collage eh awa gbele ko na ni si ko do anbe awa soro na ni yeah yeah awa ko so de fe ma fi o de fe ma saku around be ni pe ko si ko to sele ati mo mi eko ati mo mi eko ti wa ninu eje ko si ko ah no 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 that's all right that's all right i don't understand the thing you've been speaking all through fatai you be you are speaking and before your network drop out yes yeah can you just uh, yeah, yeah, conclude yeah i was speaking i was speaking about hey, but, but before no ah uh, fatai before you go on yeah, please um i've been listening to you guys all the way through um it's, it's been uh I, I have a lot of question yeah and uh, maybe i should just pick it up with you then you join it with what sure. you want to say okay sometimes when there is reaction people forget the action before a reaction yeah. i've been hearing now on many platforms that they are trying to kick the Southeastern are from Lagos, and I don't think so. But what I've been hearing lately now is that some people are peddling this false narrative that um, Lagos, forget about Lagos, is no man's land. Fine, we've dealt with that. It's still recurring. Fine. But some people are saying since they are attacking the Southeastern in Lagos, some people are claiming that in South Eastern is the one even holding the economy of Lagos. So when some Westerners, which is Yoruba, hear those things, they are now reacting back to them that if you are the one holding the economy of Lagos and you want to go, go now, leave our <laughs> space, then let's see maybe Lagos we. Maybe, mm. Let's see, maybe Lagos will collapse when the Southeasterners leave Lagos. So that is the action that brought out the reaction. But I, in fact, I do understand what I mean. You know, no, I because this you, has, I you yes, this has been in news that some people are saying they had the backbone of Lagos is nothing if the if the Southeasterner business is not in Lagos. So. Just, I just want you to, to react to that. I don't know, maybe you've been saying that lately on internet because 
we we we, we, we saw through the internet very well. Even though we may not join their platform, we listen to people. We need to we we listen to different opinions. So just someone that with what you're saying earlier. Thank you. Baba, Baba I mean, there is nothing you do you cannot win. If you turn like this, they go twist them against you. If you can't turn back to the other side where you did before, they go twist them against you again. If you can't turn front, they go twist them against you. If you turn back, they go twist them. If you sit down on your own, they go still twist them against you. Now that's what is going on. What have we not heard in the last few few months, few weeks? We have heard everything now, right? You know, even even if you say you don't want to go, to, you, you don't want to go there and speak there. They will drag you there, and then they will label you tribalist. And you can't speak. You can't say this. Yeah, this is Lagos. So this is the, they will say you are tribalist. They will say you are APC. Eh? Me and Babajan Lekoko, we are the same thing, except we two love we like different people. Me, I don't care about APC. I just say ah, this is my guy, yo. This is my guy. Yo. I mean, this guy, me, I like him. That's just the only difference. Daleko likes all that. Me, I like Tinubu. Who cares about APC? Who cares about uh, all the movement that is going on? You know, we just join, we speak. And about Lagos, you know, like I said, my brother, my generation, 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 they didn't come from Lagos, so, you know. And even when the debate of Lagos was going on, I didn't join, you know. The only time that I joined in when, there was, when I listened to the uh, video, when this guy was saying, the way he was calling it, called that. And it's just a question, we just speak. Nobody will go there and remove his name from the ticket. Nobody say he doesn't have a right to contest. I never I never even mentioned the, a sentence about his, uh, whether he's a Yoruba or not. You know, but I just think I say Yoruba, even in the foreign countries we have, you know, no that is even the the what I don't even get. All these people, they are all in America. If they don't speak English, let them tell me they will become governor of New York City. Irrespective of where they come from, irrespective of anything, tell me they will become uh, governor of New York State tomorrow if they don't speak English. Tell me they will become mayor in Germany if they don't speak German. Even these uh, places, before uh, we speak uh, now, they, they will want to compare us to other places. These other places, tell me that you can become important something, all the position there, if you don't speak their language. Uh, Thomas, can I interject, please? Why is the standard too much for, oh, us, yeah, for uh, us? Yes, Fatai, uh, let's, uh, yes, ah, Akim, you've been there, just quiet. How are you, my brother? Yeah, bro, thank, thank, uh, yeah, thank, you, thank you, daddy. Thank you, daddy. Yeah. Thank you, daddy. Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Go on, daddy. daddy. Yes, daddy. <laughs> Go on, yes. daddy. Is, <laughs> no, no, daddy. Go on, daddy. Uh, is, he, so, is this this daddy is the new trendy now? Thank you, daddy. Uh, uh, pa, pa, daddy, daddy Patai. Daddy Patai coming. Daddy Patai. Daddy. daddy Progressive coming. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. So what I want to say is this. <laughs> what I want to say is this. Uh Fatai, your your comparison does not match. I understand that uh, I understand where you're driving a bit. To use America as an example, America is an English speaking country, right? And Nigeria as well is an English speaking country as a nation. Our <laughs> official language is English. So if you are able to communicate in the English language, that is all you need to be a governor in any state of Nigeria. Don't forget, Fatai. Just imagine if uh, Badebo could only speak Yoruba and he couldn't speak English. Would he, would he be accepted as a governor in Lagos? Can you? I just wanted to learn, brother. But I, I yeah. would have helped him. I would have helped me if I'm permitted. I think, I think you are from Edo State. I'm also from Edo. I yeah. would have helped him a little bit. Listen, my dear brother, there are countries in this, many countries in this world, they design their system just the way it is peculiar to the makeup of that country. Canada, you must speak French and English or else you can't hold such position. So now look at Nigeria very well and look at what is going on in Lagos. Are you not worried about your own land? If it escalates and is not controlled, how will you identify your own people? Okay. Nigeria is not uh, and, 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 and in yeah, addition, sorry, understand. in addition, in addition, before you go on progressive, now this narrative you are putting out there, first look at where you also come from. Like your your brother said, you are from Edo. Let's say you are you have somebody 
that is contesting for that governorship in your Edo and cannot speak the local language of the people? The local language. If, if the people, people know, if, they will resist it. And the people know it cannot speak. Do you they think will never vote for people will vote for that person? Badipo was brought into that governorship, uh, was brought in like that because there are some people behind him, they want to hijack the power by all means. Yes, and because look, they want a presidential look, candidate, Patai, presidential Patai, election. Patai, Patai, every uh, other excuse. <laughs> every, <laughs> every other excuse, every other excuse you want to make, it's not qualified. It's not, uh, yeah, I, I, I understand. But that of uh, no, 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 but no, it's not a you are not it's not excuse. You, are not, you are not objective. You are the one that is that of la that of language, I don't think because the man is not going for the position of a traditional ruler. No, you are he's not going for the office no. of a governor. Akim. Just Akim. And in Lagos State, Akimo. every state Akim. in Nigeria, you don't have only the indigents, you have every people, everybody from this state. No, so I'm asking you now, no, you should not I'm make mistake. You should not make mistake. Who speak is a Yoruba language and he couldn't speak English. Would that, that qualify him to be so a Akim, governor? I want to. Well, Akim, you are not qualified. 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 Please. First of all, he will not be qualified. Fatai, hold on. Fatai, hold on, please. Akim, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Since Lagos State has been a Lagos State, apart from when military take over and they appoint administrator, can you tell me any governor in Lagos State that has been of extraction of Igbo, Ausa, or any other tribe that have ruled that state? Please answer that question objectively. Ruling now. No, the no. No, there's not been any. Yes or no? no? Yes or no? No. Okay, thank you. So what does that what does that mean? My brother, my brother. That shows look, you that the let, let, let me ask Akim a question. Can can can, can a person who cannot speak Edo language be a governor in Edo, Edo state? Of yes, course. Why he not? Can. Hmm? But, but, but let me tell you, you no, no, it's not yours. Yes, let me explain it. Let me explain hmm. it, please. Hmm. You see, if you cannot speak Edo, you speak Isha. Okay. Afema. You see, oh, Oshomole okay. cannot speak Edo. You must be able see, to speak wait. one local language. And, and those language is local. common. I have not been to Oshomole land. When he's talking and I listen to their music, I can't spend more than four months there before we start understanding what they are saying. I've listened to music from that particular area. So, the only governor that has ruled us who has not been able to come out and address Edo people with indigenous language of Baseki. How did it happen? The influence of Oshomole, who cannot speak Bini, but he speak a dialect from there. And I think nobody that cannot but speak that language... But at least he can, can, um, can speak one you local see, language. When in, somebody in, cannot speak the language, it means some of them don't have orientation of the culture. With the circumstance we, we find ourselves, there are a lot of jobs that have to be done. There are a lot of things that you have to protect. Sometimes you will uh, lose focus. Uh, um, Midwest, hold on, please. Hold on. Ajali Koko, I thought you, uh, hold on, please. I thought you had advised us to abandon this guy. Why are we bringing it up again? No, I no. Don't want to go My there. brother, it's light conversation. It's light conversation. No, 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 no. I no, no, no. no. Ajali Koko, I, I, you are the one that said we should abandon that side. Okay, 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 daddy, okay, daddy, okay, daddy. Okay, daddy, we've heard now. Okay, daddy. <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, okay, um, I, I, to, okay, to be, oh, hold on, everyone, please, please, to be, yes, to be kind think, with you. At, that yes, is the that space is we can't abandon. That space we have to address it. Yes, Maybe but, we should address it politically. But, you know my reason not for saying try. not. The, my reason for saying we should not even talk about a revival is that it is out of place now. Revival and lost the election. Yeah. Why must we? continue to talk about him. He cannot be governor. I don't know for the but, so, but, but sometimes we can learn from it. We can't kick it aside. We are raising children. Most of have, them can speak have, no language. We have said, we have said have you, a lot. Ajane Koko, please. Have you perceived a situation where one day somebody will say a king that have to be in a place in Europe must come from London? <laughs> and he cannot speak the language. You're right. Ajane Ajane Koko. Ajane Koko. We need to, we need to wake up to reality. You know why? You know why I? You know why I said? Ah, that please! Too know. much voices! Too much voices! Let uh, Ajali go please. You, you know why? You know why I um, suggested that we should not uh, uh, raise any issue or say anything about this guy uh, anymore. Is because it's always uh, degenerating to 
um, a, a serious uh, back and forth. Cyber war. Cyber yeah. war. Oh, uh, okay. So in order to maintain peace, and let us have a real conversation on on real okay. issue. Okay. So right. yeah, yeah, let us just. Well, well, you you were talking you. like this during the election now. Would have, would have blocked if it, if it was to be election was still in place. Oh so yeah, look, yeah, yeah, guys, um, yeah. Before the election, I, I oppose. I oppose his candidacy on uh, on on two reasons. Number one, he couldn't speak the language. Number two. He have no no experience in anything, it, no CV. As he has no nothing to show that he have any capacity of leadership. And why must we hand over a, a, the fifth largest economy to such a person? You know, those are the two reasons. I, I'm not against him that uh, he's not a Lagosian or he's not Yoruba. No, he's a Yoruba guy. It's just unfortunate that he cannot speak the language because the terrain didn't uh, do their job right to raise him to speak a local language. So, but for those two reasons, cannot speak language and doesn't have the capacity to lead. That's why I oppose him. But, you know, I, I, I just, because every time we mention this, about continue talking, election is over. He has lost. Let us forget about him. Let us move on. Discuss other issues that uh, of relevant that are really current now. So that's my suggestion. Thank you, uh, uh, Daddy yeah. Thomas. Thank you, Daddy Thomas. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that is a propaganda. That is a propaganda, my brother. Maybe we just put that one aside, you know? Uh, pro yeah, 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 yeah. Look, uh, uh, before I, can before I, before I, I answer that question, please. please. Let me answer the first, address what you first raised now. So, okay. first of all, when it comes to this debate, there is too many non secretaries right? So if you say, ah, the guy, uh, he should be able to speak Yoruba, and then they they link they link it, they jump to the logic that, oh, then you are questioning his yoruba -ness. No, I'm not saying he's not from Yoruba. I'm just saying, ah, can he speak Yoruba? That's all. I don't say he's not from Yoruba. That's number one. And this is the same thing now, the progressive uh, made the question. I didn't say... I am not even going to, I think even one time we are even mentioning it. I said, I'm not even in Nigeria, I'm not going to vote. I just need to be able to ask a question. I say, ah, how is it terrible that this guy cannot even call a call? No, I'm not saying he's not qualified. You are saying he qualified to, if you don't speak, the only thing you need to qualify to uh, run for governor or to be governor in Lagos is to speak English. Okay, I don't have argument now. I'm not saying he must be, his name must be taken out of uh, the ballot paper. I'm not saying anything. Right. I'm all, all I'm saying is I, I can I ask a question? Can I speak? Can I say ah ha ah, ah, this is our our beautiful language? Oh, ah, why you cannot speak it though? What is the what is the problem there? Why should I shut up for that? Why? It's just a question. It's just talking, it's just debate. Why can't I speak? This is the question. It's not even this is the larger question. Why can't I speak? Why can't I ask a question? I'm not questioning his origin. I'm not questioning anything. And I'm just saying, this is Lagos. The name, just say, ah, the name, a call of where you want to be governor of. Obaseki, can Obaseki call Bini? Can Obaseki say Edo? Can he call the name Edo? Progress, the progressive. Can Obaseki, even whether he can even speak the language or not, can he call the name Edo? Of course he can call the name Edo. Hey, but Rosario cannot call a call. We cannot ask that question. Patai, Patai. Do you know before the, the can election? I, can, I can, you, can you please hold on, please? Can you please hold on? I'm in a, I'm in a conversation. Then you said you will come after me, please. Okay, okay. No problem, before, no the yeah, yeah. before the election. I'll mention him now and want, I want to go and verify as uh, Peter Obrid Joe said. Up time came here that he has a video of this guy speaking Yoruba fluently for 15 minutes, solid 15 minutes. I've been asking him now to bring the video of that video, 15 minutes straight video of this guy speaking English, our Yoruba rather. He hasn't provided to you now. Me, the guy is the Yoruba guy. Forget about anybody saying 
His mother is from Igbo. Fine. Anybody born of Yoruba man is a Yoruba man. Pure Yoruba man. I don't know. Maybe you born for Scandinavia. I don't. I don't care. So far, is that is our culture. But this Brother, guy cannot. Sorry to even interject. Language. Yeah, sorry go on. to even interject you. Even if he's Yoruba, even if he's Igbo, and they can even speak Yoruba. Even if let's even assume that it's ego, right? And he wants to be governor of Lagos. Do you think it's okay to ask him if you, you whether or not you are ego and you want to run for do and you but you've been living in Lagos for forever and your parents were in Lagos and blah blah blah? Can we ask the ego or Awusa person to speak the language? Can, can we ask the question? Ah, why you want to be governor of Lagos State? But I want to use you Europe as an example. I just remember something. I have so uh, what, is the, what is the deal? What is the Please, deal? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Midwest. Too much voices. Please. Please. Okay. Uh, I want Ekene to come after Patai. Patai, I like that point then. Ekene will come in. Thank you. Please. Yeah, okay. So you, okay. I will, after Ekene and uh, Midwest, or who you want to, to, I'll come back to my, to my time, Abby. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's hear so, from Ekene, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's just what I want to say. I say I will, I'm just asking about I'm just, and I'm just even talking. Why should I shut up from talking about language? That is the one I don't get. I'm not I'm not saying if I say language that is not from it's not a Yoruba. I'm not asking about whether it's from Yoruba. I'm not in, I'm not in that conversation. I'm not in that in the conversation is whether it's Yoruba or not. So, so you're not, I'm not saying in that conversation it's, it's whether it's Yoruba Yoruba. because you cannot speak the language. I didn't say it cannot be a governor. If they vote for him, he'll be a governor. But we have to okay, debate that's, it. Okay, there's no case then. We, the, let's move on. There's no case now. You know, it's not the people they are making non secretary they, they want to link. They want to link this and drive this and dribble here. Who are they dribbling? We can see all the dribble now. Who, who are not hey, let's, let's hear from let's hear from Mekene. Mekene, come in, please. Thank you. Uh, th thank you, my brother Thomas. Um. Uh, yeah. Before I say, before I start, uh, before I say what I want to say, I want to appreciate everyone here, especially this platform, uh, one man and other, everybody. The opportunity be, being given to us to lay out our mind on how we want the country to move on. And that's, that's what I'm always concerned about. How can we make this country better? So... I want to say that uh, Femi Babaji Amela has been confirmed as the chief of staff of uh, um, Balamedi Chinobu. Really, brother? Hey, everybody have to, yeah. my predictive, I pre, I'm the only one saying that it's going to be good. I mean, like, you don't, you have to, uh, oh my God. How, how, could it, 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 how could it be confirmed yeah. as the chief of staff when they have not, when they are not in government yet? Come on, my brother. They're not in government now. No, the, the, interview was, no, no, the, interview no, was, the interview was held this year on prime time. Mm -hmm. right. it could have been but been this man called, uh, this man, mm -hmm. eh? I heard that, um, but, but you know, is uh, the chief of staff. And yeah, the man did not deny it. The man said yes, that that yeah, one has been confirmed. Yes. That they believe in him. He was talking about his about staff. One voice, yeah. please. Please. Hold on, he everybody. Please. Hold on. I said, hold on, please. If this many people the... are talking, hold on, please. Can you hear me? Yeah. If four so... people are talking, nobody's talking. Please. Hey, can you land your point? The irrational man will come in. Please, thank so you. So it, it was confirmed by this man called uh, Ajiboye, somebody that usually comes to arise with the Charles. So the confirmation was made uh, around uh, eight last night. So it's not a it's not a fake news unless they will let her. But can you, the can you wait? But it's going to it's going to Senate. So is it going to pop it? The senators, they will not have to settle that one, though. They will not have to settle it. Maybe they will give you, they will put a placeholder. After all, their chairman, the APC chairman, was a senator when he became a chairman. So the, the seat was given to a placeholder. So maybe they will still do the same thing. But I know that Femi Babaji Amela will be the chief of staff, according to the news that I got to see last night. So my only concern is how to talk about the issue around this government coming up, uh, the, the cabinet, and how it will move the country forward. I'm not this issue of uh, speaking language uh, is not promoting our interest. 
is how to hold our leaders accountable, make us bond together, live together as a one Nigeria. If Lily we believe, unless if any of us are doubting that we cannot be one, then we'd better speak it out that we cannot be one. But for me, I don't see the reason. I always, I always come on this platform and tell you that I want this country to work, and I'm one of the people that believe in this country, and that is my greatest concern. So we should be talking about the the incoming government, the narrative they are putting on, how will it help us? As a people, we are still young. Many of us are still young. We have future, and we are concerned about that future. We are not even going Somebody like me, I'm not, I'm not concerned about this uh, language, uh, this person come from this, this person come from this. I said in this platform last time that if a Senate president will be a Muslim and will defend my interest as an Igbo man, I will not care, unless if that person will go there and do another thing. But once he will be in that seat, and whenever I hear him speak, the world is speaking, or the, 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 the laws that he's making is affecting me positively. Why would I, why would I, why would I argue about him, that he's a Muslim, that the president is a Muslim, that the vice is a Muslim, but I know that the policies that are making are affecting a common man like me positively. So that's the issue we should be putting on as learned we are, as a great citizens to help our country grow. So I, well, I really want this uh, tribal thing to die down for us to, unless if really we believe we cannot bond together as a nation. So we should be looking at their cabinet now that they have confirmed this man now. Like uh, I know the next step now is their Senate president. So you should be, we should be looking at that angle, the people, the type of people. Uh, that sorry, sorry, that uh, who, sorry, who do they confirm? Femi Baba Jamila. Who confirmed it? Ajiboy, one man Ajiboy. If you are following our eyes, you know the man. Please, 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 don't worry about that. Please, don't worry about that. It's not, why would you tell him not to worry about that? Why, why, why do you talk like this? I, I am telling him that that is not true. Let him, let him bring his own narrative now. No, <laughs> let that, him bring that, his own that, narrative. That yeah. is not true. Please, everybody. I, I, like I, 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 I for like, once, hold on, hold on. I for one, I've heard it too. That yeah, I, am, I, I am. Let me talk then. Go, go on, talk. Please, everybody, exercise patience and calm. <laughs> May 29 is just next month. We are already in April. Everything will come to reality by that time. Jibowe, yeah, but be, before May Jibowe, 29, we should Jibowe, not Jibowe, yeah, let right. him land now. Let him Jibowe, land, my, please. My, my, my be sponsoring by Jamia Miller for that position. You, you never can tell. Anything that does not come from the party officially or from Tinubu himself, don't take it now, please. No, madam, no, madam, no, the, no, it was confirmed. It was confirmed on newspaper. It was confirmed on newspaper. Nothing was yeah, let me let me let me let me respond to her. Let me respond to her. Okay, okay. Remy, 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 Remy. Relative stories. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tell us not to believe in stories. We, we, what he's telling you is what he heard, and I heard it too. I saw it in the news, in the news space. Thank I, yeah, I know. Okay, I know but that you're that trying to tell him not to say it like Ativa is, is making it up. No, I'm not saying he's making it up. That's not that's that how you're sounding. That is always your problem. Please stop. No, no, that's you're not what I'm getting from what you're saying. <laughs> just, just hold on, let me hear me out, please. Okay, yes, yeah, so make yourself please more, hear more clear. Me out. All the stories in the newspaper are speculative. And anybody can speculate, and politicians know how to play their, their game very well. I can also go and talk to newspaper or TV station that uh, Rational Mind is going to be chief of staff to Tinumbu. And I can back it up with some stories ahead of No it. chance, no chance, no around. chance. And people no can chance. Okay, okay can, I, can, I, can I conclude? Can I conclude? Then I will go. No, y'all use, use Oshomole. You can use Oshomole in that position. Why are you saying Anybody no chance? Anybody will like. Even they can use uh, <laughs> Ojiz or Kali or Maya or whatever okay. they like. But what I'm trying then to say is that uh, I support you. Listen, it's the, all of this, at the end of this, not true. So, okay, you will see. Just now, okay, everybody should go ahead. Okay, let me. Place. Okay, the, the, the reason why I brought it up, I, I will not say maybe. The news that I had today, the man asked him, he come, and nobody, none of the APC members debunk it. The way I see their body language. 
You understand? So if somebody that can come out yeah, as, a, as, an, as, an, oh yeah, as an as an APC member, they ask you, this is the, the rumor we heard that uh, Femi Babaji and Amela have been confirmed as a chief of staff. And the, the man did not even say no, 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 um, no, no, it, let it, us know something Baja like Amila. this. The man, is, yeah, the man, Baja, the, the man Baja, 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 Okay, okay. The man did not argue it. The body language doesn't show that the man argued it. The man said categorically that they supported the move. That Femi is good to be in that position. He was talking about his uh, goodness and all this, what he was able to do in Sudele and all. So I don't see the kind of confidence the man is uh, disposing in uh, confirming the news. I don't see any APC member coming out to counter it. Because if they counter it... Oh, so I can... That's why you're wrong. Yes. The man said, I supported that Bajamea Villa is qualified for that position. Does not necessarily mean he has been appointed to be the chief of staff to Tinumbo. I'm telling you the truth, but you are trying to also... You don't say you're telling me the truth. Why are you so, telling so, you the say, truth? Say, 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 can the can I interject one minute? The man said, the I supported that Bajamea Villa is good for that position. Does not mean that Bajamea Villa... Oh, okay, it's February. Let me let me let me let me let me Well, I had a news in my... I had a, I had a news in my... I had the, I had the news in my con I had the news in my country this evening. I was able to put it out. Put it out. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that I'm I'm, I'm not spreading the fake news. I can yes. I support you on what you just said because I had it too. I'm here in America, but I heard oh, it. I don't know I heard that in the news space. I don't so, know. I had the news in my and I'm in the right country. Thing. What is the right thing? What do you know? What do you know is the right thing? Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know that in right the mind, mind, you are always rational mind. and your position is always on the negative Ra side. Ra rational <laughs> mind. <laughs> Whatever you say, I'm not going to take it and I'm not going to believe it. And I know I always understand. Remy, let me let me let me support you. Let me support. Let me support them. Um, let, let me let me support Remy. Let me support Remy. I think Remy is right, and why I said he is right is that um, if we want to go by practice. That nomination should be announced officially by the office of the president elect or by president elect or maybe by his media spoke people. They will announce it publicly that the president elect have appointed by Jabi Amila. But that statement have not came out, or let me say did not come out. This, uh, what we are hearing, I think is speculation. It is not an official statement from the media spokesperson of the president-elect or a statement <laughs> issued by the president-elect. So for now, I think it is still speculation. It is not official. I respect your opinion, but do you know? Do you know this, uh, Ajiboy? Do you know he? Do you know the type of campaign this man has put off for Tinubu? That is one of the most popular campaigns. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know the man? Do you know that man? Do you know the man? I'm telling you, they have confirmed this news. If you know that man, do you understand what Ajali Koko just said now? Yes, I understand what he said. One second. One second. One second. One second. Please, hold on. Please, not Patai. La Patai, please hold on. Guys, uh, this is my problem. When we are talking on each other, nobody is speaking. I'm hearing four or five voices at the same time. The people are not hearing us. We are just blabbing. Please, let's manage the space. Please, thank you. Patai, come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Koko uh, and my brother, Ekene uh, is not saying it's an official news. It's like uh, during the election day. If we didn't wait on before INEC and uh, announced before we knew uh, who who is winning, who is not winning, who has won this local government. People were reporting to us. We don't need to wait until May 29 because we can 
start to uh, at least in the minimum we can so say it's still uh, we've had based on so so speculation is 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 still speculation we should still regard and, it as speculation yes everything in life is a speculation well it's out it's of not an official got, um there's no official announcement yeah he's not saying it. official baba Dale coco he's not saying it's an official announcement we know apc has not announced it to no, he said it has it. been confirmed he said it has been confirmed he said he said it has been confirmed but we have not, uh, by we, have somebody, not um, by... we have we haven't got we have not got or seen any official statement okay. coming from the spokesperson, coming from the presidential um, um, president elect himself. So nothing yet. Well, when so, was the last time you had for the president elect himself? Okay, 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 let me okay. Do you know, <laughs> you know when that from Tinubu, no, when no. Okay, let me Tinubu? let me rest. Let me respond to. Let me respond. Do you know that uh, the man did not collect his certificate, certificate of return, and that was made me believe uh, all this news. He, he didn't go that. Look, he did not collect it. The man didn't even go that. One second. Okay, one second, please. One second. Look, uh, what you are saying, right? Everybody here on this platform, nobody is stupid. We all know that Bajamia Miller, Bajamia Miller is very is 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 probably one of the top choices when it comes to that position, right? So nobody is saying that, but what we are saying is, well, well, uh, just try to explain to you is that it is not an official appointment yet. We not, we understand that Femi is among the top runners to become the chief of staff to Tinubu. You can see that he's always everywhere with him. So we understand that maybe even within the inner uh, caucus, the decision might have been made. They, might, they probably have made that decision within themselves. But what we are saying is that a government has not been formed, so we cannot say authoritatively that Bajamia Miller is going to be the next uh, chief of staff. We can't say that because we don't have that information from the uh, from, uh, put out there by the by 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 the Tinubu campaign or by the government. So we cannot do that. So, so officially, so according to progressive, the progressive, so we should wait until May twenty nine before we can start. We should wait until May twenty nine. It, it doesn't work that no, way. No, you can you can speculate. It work that way. You can speculate. No, the, the reason why the, re the reason why the reason why I put out I put it out is for us to start discussing on how the their cabinet how it will look like. I'm not saying that uh, there, will, there will not be an official but, but, but pronouncement, but for the news, it's just for us for us to shift our focus and begin to see. The what the APC is putting on and how it will benefit us and how it will make the as in seeing the type of people they're putting in cabinets. I'm not objecting it to Kevin Bebajamela. It's not I'm objecting. It's all for us to be bringing our general mind on the cabinet okay, yeah. that are about yeah, yeah, to form yeah, 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 and be discussing on that issue. That's what I mean, and that is why I, 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 I put this. You know. Not confirmed. I, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can, yeah. You see, for me, for me, um, you see, uh, the progressive, it it will be wrong. I would say uh, to say that uh, uh, a president in waiting cannot form his cabinet before they enter the office. So the cabinet here would also include the chief of staff. He can announce the chief of staff earlier. We saw that in America here, where Biden announced his chief of staff even before he get in, he got in there. So um, when yeah. did he, when did they announce his chief of staff before he get in there? Why are you saying something that's not true? No, yeah, they do that. I mean, no, they didn't do, do it. Yeah. They don't Biden. do it. But, but, no, he didn't, he, he didn't guy, do it. Guy. If you don't know, say you don't know. No, you don't know. Say you don't know. Don't say don't oh, say something God. that is not true. God. People oh, announce... Oh, okay. So, who was Biden's chief of staff? Who was, who was Biden's chief of staff? People... Uh, Ajahn Lekoko is right. I mean, sorry, um, rational mind is right to uh, progress. It's not right. Is right. Rational mind is not we right. Who, 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 who was who was Biden chief of staff? Now. What are you talking about? Huh? We live in America. You live in Europe. Yes, I know, so who, who was who did Biden appoint as his chief of staff? Yeah, they, 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 I don't know. You say you don't, don't even know. No, 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 you did not no, even know. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. In America here. Before the president announced the cabinet, the Ajay, Koko, position don't of tell me that. Uh, hold on now. You don't I would live here with us. Rational man is telling whenever. you, you are arguing. No, no, both of you are wrong. Ah, Ron Klein, I, Ron Klein was Europe. never appointed chief of staff until Biden gone cool. into office. Ron Klein was the uh, was the chief of staff, and he was never appointed chief of staff until Biden gone into office. What ah. are you talking about? That they appoint, they, 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 look, the government don't appoint anybody until ah. they are sworn in. 
it's not it is not a parliamentary system of government where you have opposition government no it's a federal system of government one government at a time look when first thing they will set up transition team the moment the i mean at the very moment that the president elect is announced transition team it will constitute a transition team that will you know start to work with the outgoing administration and chief of staff if we appoint a chief of staff immediately that we start uh, Ajali Koko, you know, what are you saying Ajali Koko? Kilo <laughs> Sheyi you know. When just because I don't live in America, I can guarantee you, don't you guys don't understand we American politics and news. But, but, but the most the most almost the same thing that Mr. Jalikoko is saying here that they're already forming their they're already forming their cabinet so that they they don't want to wait. They don't want to wait. That once they once they swear in, they don't want to wait before coming. They are they are putting everything in order. The man confirmed it. Hold on, please. Yeah. If they are doing yeah. that, hold on, please, please. If they are doing that, that is in house. That is it's not, not for on. public consumption. Yes, that is in house. Yes, yeah. I believe that. Yeah. I believe that. It is, it is in house. It's not for public consumption. They can't no, declare trans, anything trans, until trans, until trans, they were swearing. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Thing doesn't mean they will be the they will be the cabinet. I can be in the transition so, team, so not be in the transition cabinet. team. Doesn't wait for inauguration day. Transition team will start yeah, but immediately. Go, go. But you, know, it, you don't have to be in transition team and still be in the cabinet. You can be in transition team, not be in the cabinet. Oh yes, that one you are right. You are right on that. Yes, so, now yeah. Uh, and, yes. And, so, and sorry, and in addition, it can be it can be very close to Tinubu now. But when they, they start appointing or selecting who's going to be minister, chief of staff, if Bajabi Amila was not chosen, what are you going to say at that time? Because you said it was a confirmed story. And when it got to that time mm -hmm. and he was not to, he will probably, I know, I'm so sure it's not going to be the chief of staff. So what are you going to say? So every of this thing I say is speculating. And we cannot have two chief of staff at the, at the same time. We have a sitting president already. And you cannot okay, he can be acting now doing some stuff that people go, oh, he's so close to Tinubu, that's why Kali they are positioning him to be the chief of staff. You can speculate, fine. But tell it, tell it it's a confound story. Uh, but, but really, it's not even constitutional constitutional to no, be no, no, no. no. It's, no. It, it, low, low. They don't have do to that. Wait. Okay, they can they can start an in-house arrangement now, you know. Yeah, but that is different, Ajali Koko, than what you just said before. That in America you can appoint, you can call. no, you can't do it because it's almost like you are having a, a two government at a time. You can't do that. Talking about progressive, is, is, is it everything somebody will have to explain to you when you? Say no, you don't have to explain to me because I understand it better than you. Let me explain something to you. When I say somebody appoint, does not mean he's acting already. They're already in office, but you can form your government. You can form. You can. I mean, start. You can start gathering your the people that will come in into office with you. Even before you get into office, that's what I'm trying to tell you. No, that was that not what you were trying to say. You were trying to make me understand. You House. were trying to make me that understand that they, they can, they, they, that Biden officially yeah, announced. Did. No, 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 Come on, stop no, it, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He announced, hold on. He announced it before he got into office. My brother, I know everybody that worked with Biden from A to Z. I'm you know that because Ron you live Ron Klain was never announced at any point until Biden was sworn in. It was never announced at any point. This is just semantics. You're talking about semantics here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 can you please uh, hold, oh, on. Oh, hold on, please? Everybody, hold on, please. Can we leave American politics, please? It's, it's, no, it's inconsequential. Yeah. No, 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 I don't. Uh, just, uh, no, no. Why I say that? I'll be short. Oh, hold on, please. I'll be. Hold on, hold on. I'll be shutting down in thirty minutes. And I want to hear from Majali Kuku and those people that just came in. It's inconsequential. To me, they can't do that. They can have in-house arrangements, not for public consumption. What the Kenny said now, I don't I regard this as fallacy to me. It, it, it is not done anywhere. 
it is not done anywhere. You say you say you don't. Tinubu can not invoke. Yes. Opinion. Yeah. Talk, no, talk, it's not, no, it's not done. Thomas, that's what I'm coming. You, 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 yeah. you, you would say you don't know to that contrary. It is done. Okay. Um, it is I, not I, done anywhere. Oh, done. Please. Oh, done. It's a, it's a matter of semantics here. I mean, you, how you understand the no, language? No, you cannot say it's fall. It's the news I had. Now I just put out the news I had. Okay. Uh, uh, I have to that man. That, that, that man. Oh, hold on, hold on, please. That man can have Benjamin Abila as his own preference. Tinubu self cannot say what you are saying now. Appointing a chief of staff when they haven't been in government. Come on, guys. Well, I, believe man, also, I believe the man because, anyway, of, the maybe, because of the type of defense. I believe the man because of the type of defense. He Hold put on. for Tinubu. Let's hear from the type of defense. Can we please hear from rational mind? Can we hear from rational mind, please? The point I'm making is, Mr. Thomas, I've not spoken. I've been in the case. Yes, yes, I will. Yes, I will bring you in. Let's hear from Mr. Thomas. What I'm saying yeah. is this: that officially, he will introduce his chief of staff to the whole Niger to Nigerians. That after, when he gets sworn in, this is my chief of staff. Same way it's done here. But before they get into office, there are announcements that could be made that this is my chief of staff. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. But officially, he start acting that capacity when they get into office. Well, like somebody said, yeah, maybe a point, maybe a point of reference. Before you can see, if you want to see Shichinubu right now, that is composition, I mean, he's trying to get out his uh, list of uh, minister, ministers and all the cabinet, then maybe it was his name. Uh, but Jabi will be, that's what I heard today from the news circle, from the news that but Jamia is the now is the well, that's what he said. But I don't know because one thing about the Nigerian press, you can't really trust. So what Ekene is telling you is that what is hearing the news. But like uh, Remy said, could that be that it's still fake? It's still speculation. Well, it, it, well, it could still be speculation. Last one, man. Last one, man. Can I tell you for fact today that uh, not not for fact. This is my own um my own opinion. Okay. But Jamia okay. Miller will not be chief of staff. Go and write it down. Okay. Uh -uh. Thomas. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No. Why are you so... No. <laughs> if it will be among the list, <laughs> it will not <laughs> be. This is my opinion. I said my why opinion. So specific about, uh, that I is said my said opinion. About, that is what you said oh. about um, 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 oh. Oshibajo. 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 Uh -huh. Oshibajo will never come out to contest. Oh, uh, I just that is, yeah, that's fine. Uh, that is my opinion. Because you, your opinion can be wrong, isn't it? Your opinion can be wrong. Yeah, that's my opinion. Because will never, we will never be the chief of staff. Okay, let it's me, between let me say. Or let, let me say. Let me say. Come on, well, I I heard something about it too. What I heard is that, um, but Jabia Miller has been chief for that position. And is in is currently in London with Tinumbu, putting some things together, helping him, you know, uh, to start organizing um, and preparing ground for appointment of uh, um, uh, what do you call it, assisting him on how they will appoint uh, um, uh, ministers or, or form his cabinet rather. So that is what I had, you know. But officially, we have not had statement from Tenumbu. We have not had statement from uh, no 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 press release from his uh, media uh, unit as well. So we, we can still regard it as speculation. But what the news told us is that it's been tipped for that appointment. I mean, he's been tipped for that position and is currently with him in London, you know, um, assisting him already. Another good point. Some, did you, did you yeah. see the video of him in France when he was walking down the street? In the street, I, mean, I think in, in Paris, I don't know. Who? Tinubu. Have you seen Tinubu, that video? 30 seconds. 30 seconds of video. Like that, some, about three seconds, something like that. Around that uh, few seconds, I know. I didn't see. I didn't see. Uh, yeah, but Jamia Miller was with him, and that other guy, I don't know if that guy's a DSS personal assistant, that other guy, uh -huh. that young guy. The three of them were walking in that. Maybe there are other people behind there, but that's just the one that the picture captured. 
I mean, the video captured. It's not a picture. It's a video. Oh, I was okay. walking down the streets uh, somewhere in France. I don't know where. So, okay. yeah. So, the point I'm trying to say is that um, Bajabi Amira is, is with him. I think the guy has abandoned his, um, his uh, position in National Assembly as a speaker. I don't even know why that is even allowed. So, well, then, well, that's just what I'm trying to say. And uh, maybe that is speculation that we're hearing or what the new sky circuit is announcing. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, but uh, then officially, if at all he is, uh, he is appointed, he only serve uh, officially in that capacity. Uh, so, but Rashulama, he can uh, take all the day. He can take all the day. He doesn't have to be in the house. House with see hold, isn't it? So, Thomas, so if somebody well, runs behind him, the the now, the other guy, or is somebody is beside from, him, 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 they're automatically the 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 But the thing is that, you see, we need to start asking these people these questions. And if you know you are not acting, we should be paying them as they, I mean, pay as you walk. That's what we should be doing to these guys. You don't sit, no pay for you. But these guys, you see, Nigeria, that country, I have one kind of So, that's what I'm like, don't, don't let us go to that side. Okay, no. so can I, can I just that side? All right. Okay, Thomas, can I add my own submission? <sighs> okay. Yes, yes. Let's hear for Remy. Then we'll go to Ajale Koko. You have to speak, oh. Ajale Koko is even not on the screen anymore. I, no, no. Ajale I'm, Koko. I'm, I'm okay. You can allow others to, to speak. I, I think Are I, you sure? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm good. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> what is wrong with Thomas? Yeah. Don't mind, don't mind, don't mind. <laughs> let <laughs> let um, uh, two Niger and others. You can I try to marginalize other people. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, hold on, please. Can I please moderate this section, please? Please. Please. Thank you. Okay. Let's hear from Remy. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. First, I will address the, the topic about uh, obedience, um, maybe protesting in uh, what do you call it, in the White House. It's their right to protest anywhere they like. Even after White House, they can also go to Buckingham Palace to also protest there. And after that, they can go to Russia to also protest there. Personally, I think the election has gone, has gone and the referee, which is the INA, they have declared the winner. They have taken a good position by they and they did not accept the result and they have they have, got, they have taken it to court, which is good. But overeating the polity, I don't really like it. When they accuse APC that they are propagating or they are selling some story, they started it first. And when you I don't want to go to this, but I have to talk about it. When you talk about tribal policies, will be started it first. Look at the pattern of voting in Nigeria. In the southeast, he got 94 or 95% of the vote. In the southwest, Tinubu lost Lagos, his base. That means the Luruba people are very liberal and they voted for him. But it is after the election, it is when at that time, a lot of people from the southeast now believe, oh, we can even take Lagos. So far, we defeated their king, which is Tinubu in Lagos. Why not? And they started insinuating, and uh, a lot of stories have been bound around. Uh, uh, Remy, Remy. Remy, I have a question for I'm I'm very I'm I, it's really paining me that I'll be signing out in 25 minutes now because I, I have so much to ask you guys. But let's go to the I've been hearing you guys speaking all the way through. Let's go to the audio release yesterday. Can okay. someone doctor? Can I speak? Can I finish, please? Can somebody doctor something that is not in place. Uh, I am not IT person, but I see I have my common sense. If you would doctor something, that means there is something to be doctored. If there is no audio or video, there is nothing to doctor. Let right, me do you understand what, what I'm saying. So yes, it's because I've listened all through people saying it's fake. But say they are saying it's doctored. Can you doctor something that is not in place? I think what you can doctor is something in place that you can manipulate around it. Am I making sense, Remy? And everybody Thank you, on the Thank you for your question. Personally, I think what really transpired that all these politicians, everybody sought for votes. And what Obi was doing in that uh, audio leakage is that he was sourcing for votes. Unfortunately, they leaked the uh, audio out, which I think that somebody close to him or somebody very close recorded that video. It might also be state, I mean, the federal government that is possible because they have access to all these things. 
But from the look of things, he was soliciting for vote. Whether the audio was decided or not, he was soliciting for vote. But what I feel uncomfortable about is because he used the, relig the word religious war. And personally to me, I also think that why you, you want to become the president of Nigeria? And why are you so kowtowing to all this political religious leader? I hate that one. Because I think as a man, you are also talking a fellow man. He's just a, a pastor or maybe an imam or a worker. I don't know why we are so gullible in that continent to that extent. That is my bone of contention with him. I don't care. He can suffer for any he likes. But Kato is, yes, that, what, what does that mean? I, it's so demeaning. I don't really like it because as a man, you must be firm and not be strong. And you must know exactly what you want. Because of vote, you are now bowing down for what reason? And you're also saying you will not regret it. What do you mean? Are you going to? So that particular aspect, I don't like it. But as you can see, I'm, I look at it objectively. When you look at the result of the old total election, it clearly showed there is a tribal voting. Article one in most part of the North. And why he won, Tinubu was very competitive. He was second. And even in the North Central, why uh, 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 Tinubu won, and uh, Obi was competitive in North Central, he was second. Um, but where Obi won in Southeast, nobody was competitive in that place. He won all the vote. And the people did not see it that way. They will tell you, we usually vote that way. When the people now see the result that come out from that presidential election, that come on, we voted for your son in our state. And then you are not rubbing it on them that this is a no man's land and uh, we are going to take Lagos. And there's so many videos, even they play it here. Nobody can deny it. There was a one Igbo that I say, we must, we must take Lagos. So that, that means you want to take their land from there. And the people restored that, they, they, they stood up. Any way they like, they also have to fight back. So that is what the result that came out. It's because of action that takes place in the Southeast. The reaction is what you see in Lagos. And that is the truth. Whether if, uh, and the candidate, look at it very well. Even that body ball guy, if he truly knows that he wants to cause why don't he just remove Chinedu from his name and just yeah, buy body ball? Why? Because you have, you want the Igbo sentiment. You want them to vote for you. But it was not popular before. It is after the presidential election that, okay, fine. Ah, okay, I can get all these evil people that can vote for me and I become the governor of legal state. So that, let's be objective. That is what pans out. The another thing that happened is that because of this tribal election in Nigeria, because three major uh, political, three major tribes, they presented a candidate. Everybody voted among tribal lines. And the election has come and gone. And your candidate has taken as he went to court to challenge you. I don't know why you are beating about the bush. And when they also said that so many fire incidents, you black people are doing this, are doing that. Uh, hey, yes, Remy, Remy, please. Remy, please. Um, Remy, I'm, I'm somebody that is, uh, when you are talking, I want, to back, I want you to back what you are saying. Yes. I've been trying to go on that space. Some days ago, uh, I forgot who I had. I was asking this question. Yes, Bartholomew. He said they were burning shops in Lagos. And I asked, who are these people born in shop of the southeast? I don't want to, I don't like to use the word evil. Yes, so that is, that, that, that is where I am. Who are these people? I want to make my own opinion uh, known about that one. Before the yeah. election, before the election, there were so many several fire incidents all over the country. And after the election, there have been several fire incidents in Ariara Market in Indonesia. There has been in Lagos, there have been in Bono, and several, even in Ibado, there have been fire incidents. None of this is there was attributed to, oh, it is Yoruba that is burning this, or we can say, okay, you are not from Anambra, you are from a boy, you are the one burning Ariara Market. I, I think people should just calm down Fire can happen because of so many reasons. That we, but if there is no case that have been proving that they host somebody that he's the one that put fire into that market. So let us just say fire happens and it happens. So the reason why this election panel this way is that to be to say the truth, everybody pans to their tribal and they voted tribal. And when you voted tribal, this is what you see. It will be very competitive. Look at other election we have had since like uh, since 1999. It has always been two major parties, PDP and EMPP. 
and then later maybe PDP with ACN or PDP with AC when they present Atiku and Rivado. It was just between two people. Um, but so no tribe at that time. And when you see Jonathan, Jonathan also won and the Southeast people voted for him, fine. But because now it's three candidates, so the tribal line will be drawn. That is why we are seeing all this thing. So we have the president elect. You guys have went to court. Hold your shit and let the court decide whether there is any, anything alternative. But if not, don't let us move on. The Igbo people have been with us for a long time. Fine. The Yoruba are very liberal. I serve in Enugu State, and I know that some Igbo people are also liberal, but majority of them are not liberal like that. If to say Lagos is as good after not the capital city of Nigeria, and it attract a lot of people to go and look for their Lagos dream. Why can't other states emulate Lagos too? And let's make a number, a number dream, Shokoto dream, and so many dreams. At least people that live in, in America, they can leave New York and go to Florida, and Florida, they can go to California. They can go to different places and realize their dream. Why is it that mm. I must go to Lagos to realize that dream? So I, my, my bone of contention is that the people that are killing that country, first thing is religion, second is our governors. Well, everything that happened in Nigeria, everybody there is the president. Who is the president? The president already allocated the money for the governor. What is your governor doing? Why not hold your governor responsible? If Anambra is super, super good today, what is Anambra people going to do in Ibado or Shokoto or we're traveling around to, 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 to realize their dream? They would have preferred to stay in their home, in their home town and, and live a better life. At least Lagos is congested, so many traffic. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, um, rent is expensive. To, to buy apartment is expensive. It's not easy. But if your state has been very productive and everything is okay, why are you moving? Why are you visited in Lagos? There's fire incidents all over the country. Why don't you say this Yoruba or Igbo or Aousa that burned that market? We shouldn't be very critical in our approach. We should be uh, uh, ready, ready, ready. Ready. to buttress. Can I put in something to you? Can I put in something to you? I think I voted in one. Hold on, I want please. To, uh, I want please. to respond to him as an assault and I saw that we Can you please hold on, please? Please. You will come in. Hold on. Say hold on, please. I'm even begging you. Uh, Remy, that grocery market was run November 4th last year. It wasn't attributed to anything. And we even then we are we are in the uh, we are already in the uh, election uh, cycle, isn't when? it? November, yes, November 4th, last year. What last year? What part is that of a Tejo market? At Tejo market, what Same part Tejo was born last year? Yes, okay. yes. Right. So, why are we not attributing it to is some people that went to born? I, I, Remy, Thomas, you Thomas, know what? I, don't, I, don't, I, want, I want to ask a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, please. I want us to put this narrative in 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 a graveyard today because it gets me annoyed every time that I hear it. it I, you can see my voice that I'm speaking now. It gets me annoyed. Market born every month, month, every year in this country. Come on, it's not about you now. Let no, me put it in my own video. Thomas, Let I me put it to her, Mr. Thomas. At least, Ekene, at least. You, you, you yeah. respond together now. Ekene, there was a fire incident after the election recently in March in the real market in Nisha. You know that. Everybody knows what happened. No, it's not danger. Can we, can we attribute, can we attribute that it's people from Eboni or Aousa or Yibo, or sorry, or Yoruba that went there and burned the market? <laughs> So what I'm trying, accidents can happen any here, any anyhow, any time. Let me let me respond to you now so that we balance the let me respond to you so that we balance the the issue. Uh, uh, I've, uh, I've, I, 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 I want to respond as an assault. Hold on, oh, hold on, please, hold on, please. Let's hear from McKenna, then my my so staff, what I want to come say, what I want to say, what I want to say is fire incident is fire incident. Even in that one nature, far, far years back, years back, there was steady occurrence of fire. Hey, Kene, we can't hear you. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. 
your net yes, uh, your network you. your network is breaking. No, your network is breaking. Can you say what you said before? Okay, okay can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? There yeah, was, I can hear you now. Five, yes. five years back, five, five years back when we are small. There, there is constant fire incident in our Chanja market almost every month. The one popular musician called Osadebe came out to use it to sing. One music, Okuo, Okuo, Oku, Oku, Maluo. That is fire. Fire has done us bad things. So, in terms of fire incident, it has been an accident. Even in that nature, mainly. So coming to Lagos, me, I did not see it as a different thing. But the reason why I want to respond to my sister is just for her to understand that our politicians are doing more harm. And that is why, if I always come to this platform, I used to beg that every one of us as a citizen, common citizen, should put all these men aside and discuss things that concern us personally and how to move the country forward. And that is yeah, but we can't do without them. We can't yeah, do without we cannot, them. We cannot do, but if we, if we, if we, yeah, if we, we cannot do without them. We, what our duty as a citizen is to hold them responsible. If you see my attitude, I know I campaign for people. I know I voted for him. I know I gave him a lot of vote. But that doesn't mean I'm going to die that he didn't win. I have to move on now. Uh -uh, but is the, what some, I'm, some people yeah. in your quarter they, they said over their dead body, Sinubu will not become your their president. Don't you hear that? <laughs> all the time? I, whether whether I hear it, whether I don't, whether I hear as I, I, there, are, there are things that you cannot. There are things I always say. You can never control the mind of millions of people in Nigeria. It is not possible. Yes, of course. Yes, you are right. Yeah, you are right. So if you find yourself in a position. To put out a message, put out a direct message that would suppress their own mind. That whenever they're even bringing up those, sorry, can I? Uh, hello, what is here? Objective. It will be meaningless I think to a common man. Advocate. If we can come in that direction, we can make our country better. So that our, politi our politicians will stop using us. My concern, what we are supposed to do and the, our responsibility as a citizen is to hold our leaders accountable. But whenever they come up and put out this narrative, this and that uh, ethnicity, and we begin to follow them, we begin yeah. to walk the same direction with them, they will continue to do the wrong thing and be killing the country. I'm not concerned about I'm not right, even this uh, even yeah, this uh, yeah, even this yeah, even this one even this will be going this this will be going to court now. My okay. mind is not there. Okay. What I what I even if they even if they announce him tomorrow, then glory be to God. If they don't announce him, my mind is now I know the the I know that May 29 will come and the president must emerge. Certainly, president elect. Then okay. if any other thing will come after, I don't care. If okay, the only you, thing is uh, what what is on board that time, what are we what are they doing to make the country better? That is why I began. That's why I brought up that uh, topic of uh, they did their cabinet and all these things. What are they doing uh, better? Thank you, thank you. 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 Thank my main reason why I'm coming is because um, I've been waiting since when a Midwest initially spoke. I wanted to respond to what he said and to ex um, explain some things. Uh, I tend so, uh, but I would uh, I would on the issue of the audio. I would I would still go back to Midwest on the issue of the audio. So from what I can see, it would be very difficult to, at this stage, you know, um, really say categorically whether it was doctored or it was not doctored so we can and then if 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 we cannot say categorically whether it was doctored or were not doctored then we have to also go by the facts what is available so you you cannot blame people when they take what they what is given to them and then they interpret it. you just as at least um uh, mr Kenny just said that we cannot control the minds of people so you can't say, okay, people are, um, uh, we can't get offended when people now interpret based on what is available. And like Mr. Thomas had already said, she, the only reason why something can be doctored is if there's the original. 
The only reason why we can have a counterfeit is if there's the original. So um, from my little experience in acoustics and the sound engineering, if, if I look at the audio itself, people saying, uh, how, can it, how is it possible to uh, do certain things because they have a, um, certain software that uh, is it possible for something to be ringing a ringtone? All of these things is very possible. Um, is it Mr. or Mrs. I don't know. Um, Remy has already said that the, the government itself has the capability to do it. It's not something that is without, it's beyond their purview. And the funny thing I'm even, what is even funny to me is that there's even a publication that was released yesterday where they even pinpointed the likely place where this thing leaked. It's on, it's on the dailies. But I, I'm trying to, because I can see that this thing is a very touchy subject. I'm trying my best not to uh, offend anybody. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. It, my my um, you, yes, There's something on this, our platform. You can say anything you want to say. Ah, so far, ah. you are not cursing. You are not... No, no, no. My brother, calm down, please. So far, you don't curse people. You don't say any derogatory word. This is a free <laughs> platform. We are not a echo chamber of Peter Obi or Tinubu or Atiku, we don't, I, me, I don't care about them. We speak on to the issue. So if any, you want to say anything, go and say it. Don't, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I know, but you know, I don't want to, be, uh, especially with what a uh, rational mind, you know, went through, you know, the thing he echoed today about how people were deleting comments. If I, I'm trying, I don't want to offend anybody. That's, that's the, the thing. I don't, I, 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 because, Actually, let me okay, let me mention it now. In, if you go to, if you are not ready for, if you are not ready for insult, don't forget about platform. If you talk, you go to. If you are not ready for insult, don't go to platform. Okay. Can, can I just ask something? Is it not interesting that Thomas? Um, you know, I heard people talking about how some people were insulting uh, Tinubu because he, uh, you know singing about him and all the rest. But look at the image Thomas is using of an elder too. But you see, this kind of hypocrisy that we do, we don't see that we do to other people. But it's okay. This is what Nigerians do. Okay, okay. Uh, um, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, please. What is the image? What do you mean? You can't see your like profile that? picture. You can't see your profile picture that you are this. Uh, this uh, is, uh, do I care? Do I, are of you, course, you are don't you, care uh, now, yes. but, but you care when it's your. I don't care. When it's your, uh, I, don't care. Your, uh, I don't care about Tinubu. Drag Tinubu. Roll him in the mud. I, I, I don't you care about no, I thought you were one of those people that were against the father. They were mocking him. No, I don't care. I, I'm against it because I'm a Yoruba man. We don't mock elders. Ah, but you are mocking, even, you are mocking even, you are even, an even, elder even, right now in that even, image you have there. But uh, it's, 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 no, but even, hold on, please. Hold on, please. Hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, please. My habata is Peter Obis crying. Did Peter Obi cry? Did he cry for you? You did are that make, him. Did that make it up? Yes, you made it up because Tinubu was actually ill. If you want to, oh, yeah, that's fine. Right. Do I care? No, wait. I don't Even care. Tinubu nah, said nah, they, they Tinubu himself said they insult her. I do of me. I don't go yeah. to social media. But, but, but the, the <laughs> point is that they were criticizing <laughs> the other people for doing it, but they he does care. it himself. That's the thing. I don't That's fine. That's fine. I don't, don't care. care. They don't complain when other people mock uh, somebody. That's from that's I don't tribe. complain. I don't complain because I don't okay. care. That is balanced then. If that's what you that's fine. No, no, no. I don't care. care. I don't care. care. One question. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. Let's ask a question. Tuna, yeah? I'm going to ask you a question. My ASAP, continue. My ASAP, please. Let's hear from my ASAP. Okay, please, please, um, ma, please, miss. Um, sorry, I'm sorry that I, have, I know you have a train of thought already. I just want to just quickly get through to this. And, and I think the thing that has just happened just now echoes one of the things, one of the reasons why I'm trying to be very sensitive. And that's why, Mr. Midwest, you notice that I, I was trying not to go into some detail when you were mentioning, you know, certain things. But what I would just say, this is just like a kind of a encouragement that, um, what you echoed, you know, what things you said about the um, the mingling of the of the of the tribes at some point. Yes, it happened. But you remember in my in my in my speech earlier, I had mentioned that if we go back to ground zero, 
if we go back to the beginnings of the beginnings, those minglings actually took place, but they took place, you know, after an encounter. So the question is, what when they when the, before the mingling took place, when during the migration, who did they encounter people there or not? Yes or no? So once you can answer that question, then then we now know okay why it can seem you know now for example now see how uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, two two Ninja was pointing about something that could be you know offensive. So if somebody, if people can have things that um, people have a right to be offended in certain things. So if people can have rights to be offended about certain things they have, then how is it so much difficult for us to imagine when someone else sees a you know ancestry is being questioned? You can see there will be reason for people to react. So I think what we should what we should do is to try to uh, you know find a way of not of the, watching. I mean, I'm not talking to you now. I'm saying the people that are the people that cause all of these things, reactions to happen. Like there are certain statements and rhetorics that we can make that we make people feel like feel unwanted or feel like they are not appreciated or feel like as if they've been taken for granted. I feel that we should not be we should not make such, such certain statements. People, Yorubas, Igbos, Hausas, everybody can coexist in Lagos. And they've been doing that all this time. But when we start making certain statements that are avoidable, there's no need to do that. We just go about our business. So I think it's those statements that have now you know, snowballed into the things we've seen and into the reactions we've seen. And I think they are avoidable. But even but if it's in terms of the intellectual you know, uh, exercise, if we even go down to the nitty-gritty, you know, those people that you are mentioning that came, you know, they also encountered settlers that were there before they before they came. In the 15th century, the Awaris uh, 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 migrated, just like Baba and Jalako said, they migrated from Ife and they got down to a place that is currently known as a, uh, um, I, I, I forget, uh, I'll I remember, I'll remember very shortly. It's close to um, Idimu side, Isheri, yeah, Isheri, they got to Isheri. They were the first settlers there. That was in the 15th century. If you look at all the archives, all the authorities, they all date it back to that time. And then after that time, in the 16th century, the people you are talking about came what, along. What archive are you making reference to? Sorry, sir. Where where, I come? The archive. Where, where, where is this archive you're talking about? Um, I, I, I just mentioned one of the I mentioned one of the books, sir. I mentioned uh, Christine Mann. Uh, do you have the, do you have that, sir? I've not heard about that. See, okay, I, I mean, you're talking about certain uh, archive, like we, we, like we keep archive. If I, can pick, if I can come in, yeah, because uh, I did learn before the shopping. Uh, uh, please, can, I, please, can I learn, can, uh, Mr. Mr. Can I okay. learn? I'm not denying yeah. what you've said. I'm only saying that this, those people that you've mentioned, yes, they came. And today in the Obership, the Benin Kingdom is there, is represented. And this is the thing, sir. Do you know that today, even if you even point at them, they can trace their lineage back to the Bini Kingdom, but they see themselves as Lagos. They see themselves as already settling there. And that is what we should strive towards. And that's why I was saying there is no. unity in diversity. But for example, uh, listen, no. I wanted to come in here. Look, the Bini don't have problem with Yoruba when they come to Ugun Lagos. The Bini has never addressed Yoruba as Lagos as no mass land. I know, yes, I, but, I agree. I agree okay. with you. Then we we our own stand on this issue is that we should not kill history. We Africans are not ready for knowledge any longer. Let me give you a clear example why I'm so pissed off with your system. I live in Sweden and I live in the southern part of Sweden. Now, if you go to common language school, they will give you brief history. Where I settled was Danish land. They don't have to teach you. But along the line, they lost it to the Swedish. It becomes Swedish territory. That is why just 20, uh, 20 minutes crossing of train, you are in Copenhagen, from where I live. So now, if let me go back to Jama again. Many part, large part of Poland were Jama land before the Second World War. Kindigrad, where Russia, you see one territory that is, it has a surely boundary with Poland, is owned by Russia, where Jama land. At a particular time in history, land do change. But that does not mean 
when we want to narrate history, we not base it on superiority and supremacy. Then we confuse people and listeners. Very we good. don't have problem with Eurovars. Yes. And this I issue think, is not being well, issue. Think the, I think the issue here is that you and I are saying the same thing, but from a different okay. perspective. Okay. So because if you look at the chrono chronologically, what sorry, uh, Mr. A Mr. Asep, sorry, I just came because of I've been I've been on this show off and on. I didn't want to speak on some okay. issues, Please. but Can I just, just hear what you are saying okay. about your, that your worries came from Ife to find. I, I don't know. I don't know where they came from. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's remove the word Lagos. Lagos is big. They have, they have it. No, we are talking about Eko. Eko is very important. We're not talking about, We're not talking about no, them. Yeah. And I don't even if know the territory. If you're not ready to speak about history, the way it is, then don't speak about it at all. When you try to con it from the way you read it from a white man, and you are creating a vacuum to let other people write different stuff about history. First of all, the book we just called never existed. And it really exists. It's so, it was so, written in 15... Hold on. It was written like in 1950s or 60s by any white person that feel like writing anything. Okay. First of all, a co is an island. There's no way there are worries. We use a paper raft or bamboo raft to say a sea to go to the island of Nico. It's not okay. possible. Okay, Eko can I, can was I respond? Founded by, hold on. was founded by Baoruba and the Portuguese with big vessels, the ship type they have then in Europe. They found okay. it through the bite of Niger. Because the white man have constructed a bridge now, it makes it look easy. At that time, it was a Mago Groove area. Please, and it was not even in Nigeria territory. This is what they don't talk about. Can I, um, can, can I, I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Man, if, you want, if you want us to talk about history, we'll talk about history. We are okay. talking about um, Ojota and the rest. I don't speak about it. Those are I didn't mention, there they was one place where I mentioned Ojota. It's, because it's yeah. water land. Okay, can I, can I, you, you said that the book I mentioned. The book, you know, let me tell you again, let me correct you. Can, can I, you know, the you know. The code in was a mango group, was he habitant of nobody. It was an inhabitant of nobody. Nobody could okay. have lived there. And you can even come from mainland, for example, from Mikeja to come to Eko. First of all, that river area is, a kind, of, is kind of a hill. You cannot, you cannot say, look at, go look at Ikeja to, to, to the sea. It's on a high sea. There's no way anybody, even the Mayhem people or the Ijebu River Nile people in Ogun could even say there with a rap. I, My okay. brother. Would you let me respond? You said that, and I quote, you said that the book I mentioned does not exist. Yes, and that. if it does exist, it's written okay, by, now, please, um, by how, anybody, uh, anybody, anybody that is, anybody that is, okay, can I, please, can I, okay, yes. So, okay, now, anybody that is there, please kindly um, check. Number one, that's, I'll first address the second thing you mentioned. Now, the things that have been mentioned now, they are also not directly from that book. They are also by other authors. I mentioned, I said other authorities. So I didn't mention that book alone, but it seems you, and, the, and, and I told see, you, brother, hold, on, hold on, hold on, I'm not hold on, please, my... you were able to talk. I allowed you to speak. Now, anybody that is here, can you please uh, Google K-R-I-S-T-I-N space M-A-N-N. Then the next thing, write um, slavery and the birth of an African city. Let's see if that book exists or not. My brother, listen. Oh, no, no, like hold, on, hold on, sir. You, you actually told me. You said um, you, you made it look as if, and it's to me, listen, I've been trying to be I I've been, hello, 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 I've been trying to be respectful. It's written by a, a British been... in 15, either 1950 or 90, it's something. Who this book was not written by a British. And uh, listen, you, know, you see the complication we have. Brazil got their independent 1822. Benin was already a country, and they were so able to the sovereignty. We gave them their sovereignty. We, we, we gave them their sovereignty. sovereignty. Nigeria I, I, history, I, I, eh? I, I, Listen, I, I, my brother, Mr. Midwest, this Mr. country, Midwest. you know Mr. why Midwest. these certain people, Mr. Midwest, lost, I want to Mr. quickly Midwest. put this one before you, because when we are... mention our history, mm -hmm. we don't like to distort other people's history. History, like okay, Ife, now. Ife has been in existence Listen. before anything over. Before you know, that, Bini has been in existence before anything over. Mm -hmm. You understand me? We have it very clearly in the Benin narration. But one thing, our ancestors who keep this 11th century event or 10th centuries and names and places away in effect, we should praise them. 
we that are educated, what are we giving to our children now? It's and nonsense. Mr. Mr. Midwest, I think you have huh? I think you are, I think you have misunderstanding. Let me answer this number one, guy, in Mr. my Esa, discussion Esa, today. Mr. Esa. Can I please can I respond to Mr. Midwest, please? In my discussion today, did I make any quotation about Edo's history. Did I talk about that? I'm talking about Lagos Eco history. Yeah, the Lagos, yes. your narration, we cannot agree as well as an Edo person. Okay. There is no way, what, what, you know, is, the problem what, what we have. There, Listen, what no. is there that you do not agree with in my okay, narration? Look at where, where did, we did, don't did I, agree. Did, I, did, I, did, you, did you hear me when I said that? Did you no, hear me look at areas. Look at areas. I don't so much agree with the histories when Yorubas are presenting it. Okay. When we want to talk hold, hold about let me, let me, let me, let me, to talk, I want to quickly question. put this one where make, I have some little question. problem. Let me put my question across. Let me put my question across. Did you hear me when I mentioned that they were, there was the mingling and that the Bini cannot be written outside, outside of the history of Lagos? I had it. I had it. So now, okay, See now. where the error. So, see where, see is, where is, I want is, to point to you. Look at where yeah. I want to point to you. There are histories that we want to talk about. There is no need of bringing Britain or Portuguese in. Please, sir, you I see, did not bring. You see the Eurobars, for example. I want to give you. Wrong. I want to give you an I did not bring in, Okay, who, where Wait. did I bring in? Where did I bring in Britain in my discussion? Yeah, because of book. Uh, and most so of those books, Nigeria Benin was already giving. Benin was already recognizing independent and giving independent to countries, giving an ambassador before those books were. Are you saying that? Are you saying that we should go by oral tradition? We're not telling you about oral tradition. Listen, Mr. Esa. Yes, Wait, not only aura, but we mm -hmm. must point to some fact and event. Okay, so now yeah. you know, when, a country, when a country if got an independent, to, wait to up to today, the ambassador to, to Brazil mm -hmm. still pay homage to the Benin. They know what happens. Okay. But the, now, the thing is this: if, we are narrating sir, history. How would I know? How would I know that what you are saying is is a fact? Is a fact or not? If there is no okay, because wait, wait, let me land. If, okay. if you and I are having a discourse right now, and yeah. we, are, we are saying certain things, do we just talk... Uh, please, let me land. Do we just talk from our head, or do we appeal but, to certain authorities? But, 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 Mr. Esa, and, this and is what I don't, I don't like when people refer to any book written by British yeah, papers. Let, let, let me answer this guy. Now, now, if I, hold now, on. I have given you... Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, now, okay. Mr. Is that Esa, the problem? Is that the problem? Is that the problem? There's another book again. There's another book again. Relax, Mr. Esa. Relax and listen to what I'm telling you. No, no, please. Let me address. Let me address him. I don't want to be... I don't want to lose my train of thought. Now it seems that no, see, uh, it seems listen, that listen, my brother. Okay, listen. let's give him a, let's you give him a chance. Let's, 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 let's give him to talk. Let's let give talk. him a chance. He no, has no, never said that... anything much wrong. But when yeah. we bring the British book in, my let dear brother, the British were not interested in back. The book, the book I'm mentioning, the book I'm referring to, is not a British book. So it's even wrong. It's not even a British book. It was written by an American. And when you bring America, when America was created here, what, what, hold when on, was America created? Please hold on, please hold on. When America created here, okay, let's okay. encourage okay. Hello, see hello, my hello, brother. Hello, hello, see. hello, 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 hello. Please, if you are saying that I should not, I, then I'm not, I'm not okay. I'm not giving you another book. This one is written by a Nigerian, a historian. Is the word is the word authority in history, in African history? Please, you can Google it. As it, his name is Toyin, Professor Toyin Falola. He's here in the United States. My brother, States. please uh, hold, hold on. on. Hold I don't want to talk about you. But can you just let me tell you this? You, you, said, you said that. Is, okay, you said Listen, that. Please, the question brother. is now. Are we brother, not going to go by? Are we, can I, can I please, Esa. brother? Why are you saying? Why are you saying? Why are you saying? Are you saying? Hold on now. Hold on. You are telling a Benin history. This is not your own history. I'm not telling Benin history. Hold on. Hold on. There's something you are getting wrong. Hold on, hold on. There's something you're getting wrong, Hold on now. Let, let's, just hear each, let's just hear each other out a bit. I am uh, not telling Bini history. Let, let him land. Let, let I am not telling Bini. There's some, please, there's something. Please, 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 my, please, my, please, hello, 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 please, let me land. Let me express okay, my please, you are landing. You, okay, hold on, hold on. Me, me as we do 30 seconds so that he too can respond. That way, you're not talking over each other. Yeah, don't let me tell him what I'm not telling him. Don't worry, just give him 30 seconds. He's going to let you talk. Okay, just do 30 seconds, please. Please, don't say what I did not say. I am not talking about Benin history. This is about Lagos history. I am not talking about Benin history. And I'm, I'm telling you now that based on the accounts that I, and it's not, it's not, these accounts are not only just by, there's not like a British book. It's also a British book. It was an author who did the finding, who did the research. Not only one author, 
two, not only two, three. There are also journals I've read, articles I have read that also support this same knowledge. And I'm saying that, okay, let's based on, based on the timeline. In the 15th century, the earliest dating we can ever find possible, the first settlers, that is everywhere you go to, are the Aoris. They migrated from Ife down to the current place where we call Lagos today. That is in that is a not contestable fact. Then after that, okay, after the can, can, please, hold, hold on, please, please. Let me land. Now. You have to respect the timeline. He has been okay. patient. You have to always respect each other sometimes. Okay, can I, can Otherwise, you'll just be talking over each other. Okay, okay. I'm, I was. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm sorry, I was thank you, too, Niger. Let me answer yeah, the, let, let, let him let the let world peace give world peace a chance to just please, uh, please. my brother. You are telling me my history. It's very, it's, it's very, very, very. How am I telling you uh, your history? I hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. Me, 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 just give me a chance. Please. Please. Let me talk Let now. You keep talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. Where are you from, sir? Me, he hold was on. quiet now. Come on. You just Let calm me... down now. Okay. You'll be talking about your uh, Let's separate history. Me, yeah. You miss, you miss Lagos and the coast. They are two different things. If you are talking about Lagos, as in Ojota and the rest, but I don't speak about it. When you're talking about Eko. I will tell you to hold on, share your sword. You don't have any history about it. It's like a leaf telling the branch to tell the, ask the stem where is the root is. We okay. is our history. Who founded that place? The generals yeah. that found the place, the, the Obas, the, the people that found it, they are all there in Lagos. The Badulayes, who are the Bazaar in the Benin Kingdom, the Abanikoro, uh, who are uh, the Abanukau. These are, are Benin names. A Nicaro. Hold on. So hold on. Can Let me talk to this guy. I'll give hmm. you names in okay. Lagos. Family. Oshodin. Hold on, you said my brother, I you... Epa, hold on, Epa, hold on. let me land. 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 Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, okay, hold let's do what we do 30 seconds, then he can ask the question. Targeting me, targeting me. If if not because the British took our glory away from us, but they, 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 will, they will tell you the man that found uh, King, uh, they will write an English man in that found King, uh, found King, uh, what they call it, King Tut's uh, uh, tomb or whatever. The people that actually discovered the map of the lagoon that led to Lagos was the Obarogba and the, and the Portuguese uh, explorer Avaru. Have you gone to Jaica in Portugal and read about it? It's a national museum. Can, can, I can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? As a fellow. And he's studying in Portugal. In Portugal, he's in Lisbon as a fellow. What, 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 His name is still there. And he's studying in Portugal. What, what, me, can I ask you a quick question? Can I just ask a very quick question? Because I think sometimes this history is more complicated than we think. Do you think that the when the, uh, this in the Benin people got to Lagos, they didn't find any natives there? No. They just, they Listen, just, they just Lagos, established they, on an they, empty they land. Let not Lagos, you. not Lagos. Say a, 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 a Lagos we are made of many people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Listen, yeah, let's yeah. say something. Often then. they said people settle in where they, they no, are. No, let, let me they don't settle you, in uh, empty spaces. Two Niger, two Niger, two Niger. A, now this is about claiming a co, a co, a co, a co. Ask them before I answer your question. Can they put a date to the date I always move to Lagos? I, just the I, I just think see. from what I, I gather, they said it's around the 16th century or so. Listen, hold on, hold on. Before you come in, let me ask the question. Hello, what is what is what you are claiming now? Is what you are doing? What you are claiming is what you are. Let 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 me let let hey, go ahead, go ahead. Respond. Yeah, go ahead. Let me respond. Now, I will. I will. This is the thing. You, Esap, Esap, Esap. You've been talking a lot now. Let me let me talk. I mean, you've been talking and then let other people talk. You see, I understand. Oh, uh, uh, oh, 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 yes, that's what I'm coming. Yes, I understand your argument, uh, ASAP, and I know you've not said anything. I don't know why World Peace is. Uh, is yeah, I don't, I've not said anything that is even said anything. Uh, all you're just talking about is Eco, which is that Eco part, Lagos Island, Eco part, and how it came to be, how it was founded. And you were making references to some of some of this uh, archive that I don't even know where they exist, but anyway, it's okay. But then, uh, <laughs> but then. But, but have, you, have, you, have you tried checking? Have you know, checked? Have you checked to see what does this uh, exist? Have you checked? Have you checked to see? Have you checked? What? Sorry, what, what, have what, you, what, have you, have you have verified? So as as in, I said, have you be verified whether uh, what I said is whether those books I mentioned are true or false? No, I'm not talking about yes. those books. You're talking okay. about a certain archive from 15th century, 16th century. No, I wasn't. Where I didn't do mention archives. There's no place where I mentioned archives, sir. Oh, okay. There was no place. Okay. It's okay. If you don't I mention said, it, it's okay. No, you know, okay. Let's, so, so let me go to my, the main point I'm trying to make. Okay. I don't see anything why um, uh, 
uh, my brother, uh, what piece and the other guy, Midwest will be challenging you. But the only thing, I, the only angle I'm thinking they, they are coming from is because your own narrative of how a coup came to be is different from their own narrative. But then I don't know why uh, my brother, what piece and Midwest uh, wants to. Piece, uh, Russia, my, please let me respond. No, I was I was actually actually on, on course to respond to you. Uh, See, you. this is what you guys do in Nigeria. That's what Nigeria has this problem. We've tried no, to don't, correct don't say, don't say this is what we do. This is hold on, hold on. Wait, let me finish my <laughs> so you understand. So you can um, counter me. I, I we have tried to own version of how I know to you, hold on, have your, you have your version, it's okay, but just listen. This is what we try to do, is in power politics. We try to correct one wrong with another wrong. If we go, go on this country like this, we can never fix anything in that country. You can't try to fix a cop uh, history by telling me on that wrong history. You are you you were never in that boat that found a co a co I'm saying, and yet you're writing the history for me. It's wrong. I will not accept were it. You, you're were you me, there? Were you there? Hold on. I have, there. Wait, wait. I have families out there. Wait, I have families out there. Excuse me. This is the issue. Can I ask you? Let me, let me respond. Let me, this, he, he, what piece is talking to me? So I have a right to respond. And I really appreciate it. Hey guys, you know what's about Echo History? Thank you. Tell the truth about Echo History. What piece? What piece? What piece? What piece? What piece? What piece? You are misunderstanding me. I choose my hey, words. Sorry, before you move forward, Please. I'm not misunderstanding you. I understand okay. what you're trying to say that Benin have stick to Lagos and this. Yes. No, I'm saying, listen, let me tell you. I say, fine, listen. Okay. Okay. You know, you still interjected me hold on, again. Brother, listen to you, me. Hold on, hold on. Do you oh, oh, stop. Everybody you know you still hold on, me. Again. Everybody you hold on, please. Please, hold again. on, please. Hold on, please. Yeah, let me um, land your point. Uh, okay, so. But yeah, my ASAP, land your point then. Um, yeah, so now, what, um, piece, what, piece, just, yeah. what piece you are mistaking certain things? I never, when I was mentioning the Awaris, I said they came to the place known as Lagos. I did not say they came to the place known as Eko. I didn't say that. The place known as Eko today, the Benin got there. But before they got to Eko, it's like, you know, if it's like if you are passing a route. The Benin took that route and they got to Eko, the same place we are talking to, like I said, the, the shores. Yes, they did. But before they even got there, the Awaris went not to Eko. That's where you are misunderstanding me. That's why you're misquoting me. I said the Awaris went to Lagos in the place called known today as Isheri. Isheri is not Eko. But, they are, but now, if you look at it geographically, that, that's what, what that's where rational mind is not coming from. The angle rational mind is not coming from is that okay, if we not even look at it geographically, the place we know today, not as Eco, but the place we know today as entire Lagos, whether Greater Lagos, whether Lagos Island, which is also known as Eco, the place that we all know that you and I know as Lagos today. If we now want to go back and trace chronologically that who first set foot here would be the Awaris. That's I what don't, I'm saying. I'm not, 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 not disputing no. you. I'm not disputing okay. you. And now the upper ship itself can be tied directly to the Benin Kingdom. And we know what happened. Why that's what what no, is my brother, me. my brother, my brother. Sorry to interject. I'm not trying to disrespect you. Okay. Please. I'm not trying to see. You see that man, that man, what Midwestern. Anytime I open my mouth, it's saying the same thing, the same thing I'm about to say. That's what tell you about the Benin's history. You cannot tell us about history. You cannot tell us I, about... They are not just support what you just said. I just supported you. So why should we argue when I'm... Why should we argue? Why should we argue? Why should we argue? I'm not saying I made a teller. If I made you, please respond to him. Okay, make a quick say something, my brother. Mr. Midwest, before you talk, Mr. do you understand what I said? I did not reveal. Yes, I understand you. I understand you. actually took my words out of context. Yes, I can say to that point because yeah. I think it puts something there. But the thing is this, eh? we must try to unite ourselves because with history, we can achieve much. It's very important. You know where I start? I say they cause a lot of damages. The British were not interested in indigenous people, whether in Yoruba or whatever you call any tribe in the South. All the ones, if you go to their book, is administrative conveniency that led us to this not where we are today. Look, in that 15th century, if we go to the Benin history, Obarogwa reigned within that era. And that was when he found out that echo. But we cannot say Africans were not there or a Benin's were not there. This one come, this one migrate here. So then when we trace where people migrate, error will start coming in. 
It might hello, have hello, like hello, sir. hello, sir. Hello, sir. Let me now. 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 Let me now chip in See, something. Let me chip in. Let me chip in something. Yeah. To let's say, to, oh, to bring, no, to, to, I wanted that, to quickly. Let's let him let him I wanted land. to quickly run that. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I, I worry. Yeah. I worry. I worry, I worry people or, or worry people. It's also a, a complex, a uh, tribe narration because that pronunciation even boiled down to many part of Nigeria. That tribe when you. When you are trying to in ancient time, so now when they founded the co, it was purposely for a route of water for trading with the Portuguese because this Oba returned from Portugal, he has traveled, he has studied with them. You see it now. So perhaps that lead to maybe many people coming together. It is very unfortunate that when we when we narrate history of how these people were connected. We cannot even assume or imagine how we're able to communicate. No English. And they were all diverse in some tongue. That means these people communicate in some certain languages to be able to function. And there are days of ubership. It's not the Oba of private jail you are seeing today or limousines. It was a throne that was so spiritually connected to the people. They also suffered disease outbreak in their times. Farming, crisis. And they were so spiritual also. And it's not about weight. It was a throne of responsibility of leadership. And we misunderstand all of them in modern day of what we are saying. Please, one thing is this. Many tribes are living in that place. But the Portuguese, or who name it later, after they have established, whether they call it Lagos, the land fell from beneath to the British. And it was called British West Africa Settlement. And I want you to make research about this. Because the French managed to create their own French West Africa Settlement, uh, 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 West, uh, West Africa Settlement in this today, uh, Tumba Tum, something of that nature, that side, in Mali. So it paved a way for them to be able to fight, put army on ground, you know, when they were trying to, you know, all this North Africa. So the British also had that vision. And they saw a Lagos as a very good place for them to achieve this. And this, when they took that land, then there was nothing like colonization. The citizens and indigenous of that place, they call it British West Africa Settlement. And they were able to try to develop it to their own standard. And they need blacks to also work for them. And these people were good enough in moving people from one place to another. Sometimes abandon some. We don't go to those history any longer. So they came. And that is when the whole thing started changing. And most of the indigenous people, they were British citizens. Even when they went to Benin, uh, Berlin Conference to start sharing Africa to solve their problem because they were fighting themselves. The British need a place where they can reinforce. The French need, the German need. That's why you see history of Cameroon, some part of Nigeria in Cameroon and all those places. These are settlements for these people for their military purpose. And the call was very good because when their ship is coming, you have a place to land. But one thing is this. There is no way anybody can tell me these people were not relating. Is it a, a kind ethnic nationality you want to talk about? You're going to trace Bini presence there. Is it Urubo? Uh, uh, is it mi mi Midwest? Mi mi yeah. Midwest. I'm, I'm very sorry. Is it the sorry. Europe? I'm very sorry. Midwest. I, I'm very sorry. I'm, 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 guys, I'm very sorry. Can I, 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 I have to talk about that. I have that Midwest has I, uh, taken. Number one, Midwest. I, have I, did, not, I did not. Hold on, me. please. Oh, okay. don't please. I have to shut down the section, please. Okay. I have to shut down the section. Yeah, we don't need to. I don't want to do the same Me, come on, hold on now. You've been stopping oh, forever. Don't. Oh, don't. Please. Why are you not shutting down? Oh, don't. Why am I not shutting down? We don't pass eight hours. I have a meeting to catch up with. I know oh, you guys I, are enjoying Can, the can you let one man know that I can moderate it for a shorter period? No, period. that is not possible. That is not possible. Uh, I have to let him know. Midwest. Yeah, I can't let him know. Mr. Thomas, I just want to yeah. uh, respond just a few minutes to Midwest. Midwest. Um, and I, I want you, hold on, please. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. I have to shut down. I please, I said, one please. One. I said, please. Okay, we'll hold on. Look in the background then. Then. He said he wants to shut down now. Let's just let him go, man. Uh, please, let him go. Let him shut down. We can talk on the background. Let him show yeah, that. let him let yeah let let uh you come in make that comment, 
I haven't heard from two Niger. I want to give two Niger like three minutes to say anything you want to say. They will call it a day. If you guys want to communicate in the background, I can put you in the background. But I have to yeah, shut down. The the Let's talk. All right. Let's talk to. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk to. Yeah. 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 That's fine. Yeah. You can put us in the uh, yes. My my yes, up. Uh, say what you want to say. I will give um, thank to you, Niger thank you. not more than thirty minutes. Then thank I will shut down the session. Thank, thank you thank so you. much for your. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. So, but I think I feel I've been misunderstood by um, Mr. Um, Midwest and by um, um, World Peace because the things I've not said, they've extended it. I've, you see, I've been particular about the beginning, the very, very, very beginning. I'm not particular about the things he's talking about, the things of, uh, um, I'm talking about the things that if we go back to the point where everything started from. You cannot write off where these people. All these things he's talking about, about um, um, we, we, these people are not mingling. I even said they are mingling. I said these people come together. And I'm after the, the unity of, so it, because I'm getting an impression as though I'm trying to bring a division. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that they, 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 there's a relationship between these people. And that there was at one point, you know, the, the same word, the same um, thing he was talking about that the British came in and the, that same thing also happened between the indigents too. If he, if he's, I mean, if, if we want to go by history, it also happened between the indigents. And so that is not what we're after. We're not after what transpired, maybe the fracas that transpired. If we're going to stay on the fracas, we will keep um, re re bringing up old wounds. But what I'm trying to say is that these people have been coexisting and irrespective of the fact that Someone got to the same place where we call today, not Echo. They have in particular about Echo. I'm talking about what we call today as Lagos. The Echo, the first settlers of this, let me put it like this the first settlers of a, a place that we call Isheri are the Awaris. The first okay. settlers of the place that we call Echo are the Benins. And that, I'm, all this one is talking about this. So, but if we now look at the timeline, the Awaris came in the 15th century. The Benins came in the 16th century to Echo. So, and I if you look at it, it's wrong. We have, we have to we to the 16th century is wrong. Please, sir. Eh? It's not 16. The okay, old mother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, we can't, let me give you dates you don't know now. We came okay. 15, 15, 15, um, 15, uh, 1552. Oh, yes, Bantu, that is uh, when the Obarogwa uh, reign in Benin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, 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 hold you are misunderstanding me. When I say 15th century, I'm talking about 14 something. When you say 1552, that is in the 16th century. You see now? That's the 16th century. You oh, just mentioned yeah, yeah. 1552 um, is the 16th think, century. Um, thank you. Thank you, please. I'm very so sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, I'm very sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Um, Thank um, you. Let me do this. You, so thank, I really appreciate yeah, you for the time. Thank you so much for, for everything. No, thank no, that's that's fine. It's because I'm yeah, it's, uh, you, I can go more than this time because because I want to catch up with a meeting. I have to leave. I'm very sorry, guys. Let me acknowledge the super chat. Then I will give to Niger three minutes straight. Three minutes, then you can speak or what? Because I know you came late, but you haven't said anything yet. Yeah. Let me acknowledge the uh, Kulata super chat. He's speaking to the award. Uh, he says, sir, ah. Uh, I will settle in Lagos first before the section of the highland was made the world uh, camp um, under Ashipa. Also, the also uh, and Hawori, Arumire initially settled on that land, make it a pepper farm. Um, don't listen to this <laughs> revision. <laughs> Akulata. I don't understand what you say, but what you say, you understand what you say better. But what I can just print out is I will reset to down in Lagos first. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Uh, I know you are keen to take that out. Uh, you even you have told us this uh, narration uh, before now. I don't know why people creep. I, I, maybe one day I will speak to one man in the house. Uh, maybe we can have a section. I think this topic is a topic that we should dealt with uh, properly because I know war peace, when we are talking of war peace, Midwest, 
all of them they are very uh they, they know much better about that space uh, um, guys, I'm I'm really learning from you guys. You can see I just mute myself. I was just listening because uh, it's, it's it's a story that we don't have. I think you guys uh, were very vast in uh, all this history and uh, story. Uh, so thank you, everyone. And then uh, Olata came back saying again, another super chat. I will be settled in Echo and made it a pepper farm. So... Uh, Kulata, thank you for your super chat. Anytime Kulata is not with us, he always speaks to us uh, on super chat. Ah, uh, Tunaja, I'll give you three minutes straight. More than three, not more than three minutes. I know you you want can to you, more. Can you, you, what is wrong with you? Come on, let me talk before it, it, it knocking three minutes into my I, head. My brother, let I me just show you now. this thing. Everybody has been talking forever. Come on, man, stop being funny. Um, let me just show this uh, image and let uh, this people decide uh, whether they can tell me where the what part of Nigeria this person came from. I don't know if you can share this with them so that they, I I need to illustrate something now that is leading to all this confusion we have here. Um, let the, let everybody show me because when I showed it to people, they were able to tell me where this person was from. Can you can you show them this image, please? Which image? Um, I'm just sharing an image from my screen. You, you um, Thomas should be able to share it. Uh, you say the Thomas, so you can share now. I don't think he's seen it from your screen. No, he, he's, he's seen screen? it in the background. Ooh. I, I, I've image? shared the screen. It's in it's in your background, Thomas. You should be able to. We should see the image. The, the thumbnail with uh, the black person there. You can see it's two Niger. Two I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I can't do that now. I'm very sorry. I'm using my phone. I don't think I can, I can do that. I'm not okay, with my good. laptop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what was it yeah. about? Just, no, it's just the, the face of someone that um, when I shared it with people on a platform, uh, everybody ascribed that image to be a Northerner or somebody from Mali or somewhere. But it turns out that the, the person was an Igbo man. And um, because the reason why I say this is because the, all these debates we are having, it just shows how mixed our history is. Most of the time, it's more complex than it sounds. Just like we are speaking English now, does that mean that we are English people? It doesn't mean just because somebody is speaking Yoruba doesn't necessarily mean that they were Yoruba originally. Maybe they were colonized by a greater group. We know that wars happen all of the time. And there are complexities. And when I even, you see, you see people in the South, uh, this is Daniel Delta saying that they are not Igbo, even if they speak Igbo language. And recently, an Igbo man confirmed it to me, the reason why that is happening. Because you see, there was a time the Igbo people from the heartland of Igbo, or I think Anambra or somewhere there, went to Edo, and they were there for a while. They were, on their way back, they colonized those regions. And hence, those regions are speaking their languages. Till today, even in Nigeria, the Igbo people are expanding to the south. Uh, they are still expanding to the south. So the, 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 we are evolving all the time. Things are changing all the time. And our history is so modeled. They, they even said that the Ijaz came from Ilefe and the, 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 the Oru people came all the way from the Nile Valley. It's just all modeled up. We have not really bothered to even do our uh, this in, uh, uh, homework on this. The Europeans just grouped us and said, okay, these people are the Niger Congo group. And we like it or not. I, I, jo, Yoruba, all of us, we are all branches of the Niger Congo, Congo group because we, our language tree is similar. We all come from a similar tree. Look at this Yoruba governor, <laughs> just uh, uh, the, the Labour Party contender. His son is probably more Igbo than Yoruba, but he's going to be known as Yoruba. Tomorrow, he's going to get married and everybody would think he's Yoruba, but he's actually inside Igbo. How do you know how many of us are like that? And this is the thing, we all hug what we just, this Yoruba entity, that, um, identity that we have, or Igbo identity, most of all this is relatively new. It's, it's just relatively new. It's after the Europeans please. came in and they, they, they forged Na, them. Uh, to Naja, to Naja, yes. please, if I can help you here. The Yoruba, the Yoruba don't have problem with it. They have also made research on their Look, the Yoruba language is a language and identity they used to put, I can say, the Ife people or the Oyo people together. It was a British making. And he also attached Benin to it, although it did not work. Because when they came in, when we start giving them some histories of this over, they were so concerned within this colonization. Everything went and land in Ife. So, and they see us like one wow, Midwest. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Please, I'm very sorry. Please. 
okay. Midwest, I'm very sorry. Okay. I have to shut down, please. But if um, I wish... If it was on the background, you leave yeah, yeah, the background. You leave the background. You leave the background. Yeah. I can do that. I've said that earlier on. I don't... I said that earlier on. <laughs> we are, we are really talking about it. I leave the background. The background. <laughs> yeah, so please, don't make this work difficult for me. Yeah, two minutes, two minutes, please, and I will, I will shut you. down. Please. I didn't even yeah. know you. you know, thank you. Give me, thank you for giving me that. Um, yeah. So the the the, the point I'm trying to make is that we are all, it's already known. It's not like you can you know complain all you want. The the language the language tree when you check the evolution, they are all linked, even to the Bantus in South Africa and uh, uh, this in the West Africa. The Afroasiatic language is actually different which is the one that comes from the Middle East, which some of the Fulani speak and not the others. So we know we have a common culture. This thing that, this identity we are hugging today, we forget that we already have, we have another identity that we've had for about 100 years, which is the Nigerian identity that we have been forging forward with. And we always have to try to remember that all these other things, because given the current century we are in, people don't even care about tribes anymore. They are talking about race now. People operate on a racial level, on a billion uh, grouping level. And how do we, as young people today, forge our way in the world? Because if we keep hacking back to the past, we are fighting the wars of the past. You will never win that war. See, the past is already past. There, there you have is to no fight way the you, war of the no, future. What you said, sorry, I come in, is not going to work. Because, let me just tell you clearly. When I narrate history, I don't know where you are from Nigeria. All I want to do is to pin your ethnic nationality against another. You're going to rise up and correct it. And that is what we are suffering in the southern part of Nigeria. And this is particularly from the Easterners. Let me tell you, how come the Igbo language come into being? Have they make research? Is it not British that brought that language? No, they didn't bring it. They didn't bring it. It's, it's from the Niger Congo culture now. So Niger, can you please yeah. I, I kick him out? I don't I work on I, I said I want to shut down. <laughs> no, 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 you can shut down. You can shut down. I think, I think I'm done. You can, yes. let, let's carry on the conversation yes. in the please background. Bring, you can uh, shut down now. You're fine. Bring him back. Yeah. Mm. Bring him back. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, back I'll, no I'll, I'll put him in the background. I, you, what is, you know me. If I said, let's do this, let's do it and get it done. I no one you know what I mean. Yes, I will do that when we finish the section. I will do that when we finish the section. To Niger, one minute, not more than one minute, please. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, and also the, the, the talk about Lagos is, the, you know, there is a little bit of a confusion, whether it's Echo or the entire Lagos. Maybe the worry we are in Lagos, but the Benin people funded some part of Lagos. So it, this is the complex history and the mishmash. History is never straightforward. The point is, for me, the future is what we should even be more concerned about because we were never there in the past. Everybody is writing their own history. Uh, we should be worrying about how we are going to survive this century. Then we can worry about, after we survive it, we can worry about how we are going to go and investigate our past properly. And what is he going to tell us? He's going to tell us that we are mixed. Just like that Lagos governor, uh, Labour Party candidate governor is mixed. And it's not it's not a, a mysterious thing. So I just think that we should take this in easy. And uh, regarding the um, um, appointing of um, uh, ministers before you go into office, I don't think that is com uh, this thing. In the UK, it's not controversial. In the UK, they have what they call shadow cabinets. That you have to have your defense minister and all the rest ready to take over in case the other party falls. That is how it works. So it, it hasn't led the country to, it hasn't done the UK any harm. So I don't see why somebody cannot appoint his shadow cabinet. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I was in Nigeria, I would say every party should have theirs so that you know how they are going to look when they get into office. Thank you. Thomas. Oh, Tunaja. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, to everyone, um, I'll say uh, you have been the backbone of this section. Uh, from the super chatters, the our commentators, uh, comment section, even the panelists. Uh, I know you guys. This is a about uh, topic we should talk excessively about. But I'm very very sorry. I have to catch up with one meeting, and even we one man don't even like us to pass eight hours because for people to rewatch the program will be very difficult for them. But I just give it this, this extra one hour just for because I know people are in the middle of conversation, which is very important. But I just don't want to cut them off. So, I'm, guys, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry for doing this. Uh, Midwest, I'm very sorry. 
for for taking you to the bar to the backstage. I have to. I just have to do that. I have to show them. I'm very sorry. Thank you, guys. May God bless everyone. Uh, may God bless Nigeria. Uh, may God bless the uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria at large. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming. I will leave you.